Ezer. And make you a positive example in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever you have been knocked down by any wicked power, the Lord God of heaven shall arise and raise you out of that pit in the name of Jesus. And I declare upon your life that as the Lord liveth, and by the power of his fire, you shall arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus. The angels that will make you great shall locate you in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to dump your glory in the dustbin shall be wasted by the power in the blood of Jesus. And any power assigned to make you lose your greatness shall receive the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. The hand of God shall arise for your sake, and every challenge you are facing shall become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Sing this song loud and clear. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. What to say you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. What to say you will do. That is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies, the Lord. Blessed be my rock, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigned. Blessed be my rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. The Lord liveth. Blessed be my rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth. Blessed be my rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Thank you, Jesus. There are seven acidic, violent prayers I want you to pray now. It is important that you pray like a mad prophet. Because immediately the process of this prayer starts. There are people listening to me. You have been hearing strange voices. The strange voices shall be silenced. There are people listening to me. You have problems with your breast. As you pray these prayers, the arrows fired into your breast shall go back to the senders. There are people who listen to me on this line now. There is presently a chain of death in your family. As we begin to pray this prayer, sir, as we begin to pray this prayer, it will come to a stage, certain things will begin to run out of your head and that chain of death shall be broken. There are people listening to me now. The spirit of death keeps harassing you. 
you wake up in fear. You are tormented and harassed in your dream. It's like your dream life is a battlefront. You shall be delivered as you are praying this prayer. This is why you must pray the prayers with violence and with fire. As you are praying this prayer, those who have been suffering from sleeplessness, you find it so difficult to sleep. There are heavy loads laid on your head. The enemy is blocking your ways. As you pray these prayers, these prayers I want you to pray. There shall be a sudden release of the power of God upon you to get you out of this bondage. That leg that is swelling like balloon will be punctured by the Spirit of God as you pray this prayer. That lame leg, the lame hands shall be healed and the chronic arthritis shall be healed as you pray this prayer. Pray with fire and with power. Pray like a man or woman from another world. As you are praying the prayers, the power of God will begin to descend upon you. And all these cases shall be resolved by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shout this loud and clear. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Blood sucking demons. Fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Blood sucking demons fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Blood sucking demons fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Blood sucking demons fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Blood sucking demons fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Blood sucking demons fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Blood sucking demons fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Back fire in the name of Jesus. But fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? I vomit any strange material. Troubling my health in the name of Jesus. I vomit every strange material troubling my health in the name of Jesus. I vomit any strange material troubling my health in the name of Jesus. I vomit any strange material troubling my health in the name of Jesus. I vomit any strange material troubling my health in the name of Jesus. I vomit any strange material troubling my health in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Satanic birds. Covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds covering my glory. I said to a blessing in the name of Jesus. Satanic birds cover my glory. I said to our blessing in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every battle assigned to block my ways. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to block my ways. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to block my way. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to block my ways. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to block my ways. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Activities of silent destroyers in my body. Can you shout that loud and clear? Activities of silent destroyers in my body. Shout it again loud and clear. Activities of silent destroyers in my body. Shout it again loud and clear. Activities of silent devourers in my body. Perish in the name of Jesus. Activity of silent devourers in my body. Perish in the name of Jesus. 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 Activities of silent destroyers in my body. Perish in the name of Jesus. Perish in the name of Jesus. Perish in the name of Jesus. Activities of silent destroyers in my body. Perish in the name of Jesus. Perish in the name of Jesus. Perish in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus.
I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. I break every struggle that my parents passed to me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's the blood of Jesus. Recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, recover my glory from the sins of my parents. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You, that woman over there, every crying child, crying against your pregnancy, I command that child to shut up. In the name of Jesus, satanic worms feeding on the baby in your womb, I command the worms to catch fire in the name of Jesus. And you, that woman over there, every evil mark placed on your belly, to cause miscarriage. The blood of Jesus is clearing them away. The blood of Jesus is clearing them away. The blood of Jesus is clearing them away. That's, that's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That invisible spirit assigned to enter into your pregnancy, I command that invisible spirit to depart now in the name of Jesus. 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 The, of Jesus. the powers handing you over. To the problem of your mother's house. I command the powers to die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I see the power of God moving from person to person. I see the power of God moving from person to person. The power of God is flowing from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet. The power of God is flowing from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. The fire is confronting you now. It's confronting your body. It's confronting every plantation of darkness in your body. Makapota li karibo sopo leke yaboshanda. Ribo sepila katenda. Anything the enemy has planted into your body. I command the fire of God to change them out for the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places right there where you are from the top of your head to the sole of your feet receive the fire receive the purging fire receive the purging fire receive the purging fire receive the purging fire receive the fire receive the fire receive the fire every plantation in the head receive the fire plantation of evil in the eyes receive the fire every plantation in of evil in the heart receive the fire 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 in the name of Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In Jesus' name, Amen. Secret Roots of Infirmity. Today, we're talking about killing the sick root. Killing that sick root. Today's message is a message designed by the Holy Spirit to close the chapter of many problems in many lives. And any chapter that the enemy has opened against you shall be closed by fire in the name of Jesus. I'm reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 18. I just want to pick a short message from that passage. Deuteronomy 29, 18. Lest there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe, whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord our God, to go and serve the gods of these nations. Now listen to this. Lest there should be among you a root, a root, a root, that beareth gall and wormwood. That is a sick root. A root that beareth gall and wormwood, wormwood. Now in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 11, verse 16, Romans 11, verse 16. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. 
and if the root be holy, so are the branches. These passages are deep in meaning. The first passage talks about the evil of a worm bearing root to the plant. While the second passage talks about the fact that once the root has problems, the whole plant will have problems. Roots play an important role in the life of a plant. It anchors the plant to the ground. It supplies food to the plant. If that root is unhealthy, the effect will be seen on the whole plant. That root includes the foundation of your life. It is that on which you build your life. It is your spirit, that which is known as you. Unfortunately, the enemy has planted sickness in the root of many lives. This sickness is eating away the root. And there is no way a sick root bearing worm can grow into a big plant. The difficulties of getting inside the root of a plant to help the plant are quite enormous. So you just see that the plant is not growing well on the outside. But you don't know that the reason the plant is doing very poorly outside is because there is sickness in the root. I'm praying for anyone listening to me now. Every root of sickness, every root of bondage in your life, I command you to be uprooted, 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 to be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible said the axe is laid to the roots. It's the roots that the axe is laid to. And any tree that does not bear good fruit shall be cut down and thrown into the fire. So there are no more problems in dealing with roots. Is that should you uproot the plant? and cut off the disease root and plant it again, that may be the end of the plant. Such an action may lead to the death of the plant. Should you dig around the plant and pour in poisons that will kill the worms? The poison too may affect the plant and the fruit produced by the plant. Supposing the worm in the root has gone far and has almost eaten up the root before you know it, it becomes a serious problem indeed. However, whatever solution you carry out will at least ensure that the plant never catches up with its mates. It is thus a very great wickedness for the enemy to deposit infirmity, sickness, warm at the root of a life. The influence of a spiritual worm in a life is very unfavorable. It is slow problems. The Lord did not fearfully and wonderfully create man so that eating sicknesses will eat away his body. This worm in the root can extend activities to the body. It can come in form of cancer, fibroid, ulcer, hypertension, migraine, diabetes, all kinds of things. Just like a plant with a worm in the root, no matter how fertile the land, the growth will be poor. Likewise, no matter how powerful a meeting is, people with worms in their spiritual roots, they go home untouched. The plant will have stunted growth. Such people with that kind of worm in their root will not experience spiritual growth. The worm will be making them dry. The plant may even have yellow leaves and poor leaves. And the bad thing about a worm in the root is that it will eat up the best things. Those who have worms eating away at the roots of their lives and they cannot understand that something is at the root. Such people, miracles fly over their heads, pass under their feet, but does not touch them. Such people, their spiritual growth is minimal or non-existent. Such people, they have problems with what they are doing and always problem with the children. Such people, they have very poor health and they suffer from stubborn, unexplainable infirmities. Such people, they have very low resistance to disease. There is a worm in the root. Such people, they live unfruitful spiritual lives. Such people are sometimes confused and frustrated. They live life with fears, worries and anxieties. 
They live life filled with bad habits, addictions, and obsession of every kind. Such people are mostly unable to resist evil temptations, and therefore the enemy uses that as a ladder to torment them. Such people fail to experience real freedom or to pray in the spirit. And just as a worm in the root creates a big wound in the root of the plant, the worm in the spirit will create what is known as a wounded spirit. A wounded spirit. Such people go about with sorrow in their hearts and with sorrowful faces. They are customers to sicknesses and premature aging. Customers to continuous grief and sorrow. I pray that every wound in the spirit, every emotional wound, constituting the root to infirmity, will be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Such people could exhibit chronic hopelessness because there is a wound in the, in the root, lack of confidence in anybody. They withdraw from people. These are all signs of the wounded spirit, which is a root of many infirmities. Such people talk about dying and ending it all most of the time. Such people talk about walking among people who are dead to a place that is strange. Some people even think of walking, walking away totally from everybody. They abhor long-term bitterness and malice in their spirit. They feel that there's a deep wound inside their chest. The worm in the root is a serious matter. Many develop this worm in the root. Because as a baby, they were brought up by demonic parents who have unconsciously initiated them. A worm has been planted at the root of social, social life. Some grew up in a polygamous setup where there is open hatred. A worm has been planted in the foundation of social life. Some stay with occulted people as young boys and girls and they taught them all kinds of magic and sorcery. A worm has been planted. Some have mothers who are possessed with evil spirits and they give back to them another condition, a worm has been planted. Some were given troublous names, the bare names of strange children, a worm has been planted. Some had relationship with boyfriends or girlfriends who were into the occult, a worm has been planted. Some, when they were young, used to see very strange things that others don't see. A worm has been planted. Some have participated in all kinds of sexual perversion, oral sex, anal sex. A worm has been planted. Some have ordered and used magic materials from all kinds of demonic nations. A worm has been planted. Some were breastfed by demonic people who were not their mothers. A worm has been planted. Some were kidnapped and hypnotized with magic and all kinds of things. A worm has been planted. There are some people that just get missing for days. Nobody knows where they are. Eventually they are found. A worm has been planted. Some were subjected to demonic rituals on their wedding day. A worm has been planted. Some people were rejected by their parents as small children. Maybe they wanted a male or you came as a female, a worm has been planted. Some have sorrow in their heart because they were betrayed by somebody they trusted so much. And you still bear that bitterness, a worm has been planted. Some were sexually assaulted as children, a worm has been planted. Some were abandoned as children, a worm has been planted. Some have suffered every disappointment through a lover who jittered them. A worm has been planted. Some were delivered by demonic midwives, demonic doctors. A worm has been planted. All these and many others lead to worms in the root. Today is a day to attack these worms and repair the root. The worms must be removed and the wound must be healed. Unclean spirits are like spiritual germs which infect inner wounds. An injured spirit needs the action of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any evil thing deposited into the spirit of man will affect the whole of that life in its totality. 
It not only pollutes the spirit but sends poisons down the body. Beloved, this is the secret behind sorrow and restlessness. This is the secret behind so many things that are eating away people. But thank God there is a way out. Open your Bible to Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16. We are going to confess it together. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All the adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that pray upon thee I will give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Can you confess Jeremiah 30, 16 and make it personal to yourself? Therefore, all they that devour me shall be devoured, and learn my adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil me shall be a spoil. And all they that pray upon me, God will give them for a prey. For God will restore health unto me, and he will heal me of my wounds, saith the Lord. This is a promise of deliverance from all enemies. There is no enemy too strong, too evil for Christ to conquer. There is no enemy that cannot be overthrown by the power of God. How do you now deal with this worm in the root? Very quickly. Number one, search your spirit to see that you don't have any unforgiving spirit against anybody. For this is the strength of the worm. Two, ask the Lord to show you where things went wrong. Three, repent from all known sins. Four, Eject or expel the worm and command the worm to die. 5. Ask for spiritual or inner healing. 6. Pray that what you have lost through the enemy activity be recovered, be refunded. 7. Believe that God has done it and give glory to God. In case you have joined us in this program and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, don't delay. Use this opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Get yourself ready now. It's time to pray. And these prayers are not gentlemen's prayer. It's prayers that go into the root of the matter. As you pray, the hand of God will arise for your sake and open doors of great breakthroughs and great deliverance to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every root of infirmity in my life Every root of bondage in my life dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life, of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of of Jesus, every root of infirmity in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root in my life, every root of bondage in my life, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Every root of infirmity in my life every root of bondage in my life dry up and die in the name of Jesus every root of infirmity in my life every root of bondage in my life dry up and die in the name of Jesus every root of infirmity in my life every root of bondage in my life dry up and die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen arrows of captivity assigned against me Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Backfire.
backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Captivity are signed against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Back in the name of Jesus. Arrows of captivity are signed against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lay one hand on your head, one hand on your belly button. Don't say I pray this prayer before. Pray it today aggressively. And we're going to pray it three odd times. Honors of evil. Hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your mouth and pray again. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the third time. Shout it louder than anyone around you. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies. Father, let this hand become the hands of healing and his hands of deliverance. Your word says we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let the power of recovery fall upon this hand in the name of Jesus. And as this hand is used now, the enemy that has smitten shall run away from the hiding place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, if you have any sickness in any part of your body, you are going to smite it 21 times, shouting, carry your load by fire. In the name of Jesus, you smite it 21 hot times, shouting, carry your load by fire. In the name of Jesus, let's go. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Say any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power consulting darkness against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The powers of my father's house are signed to waste my glory. 
Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of my father's house, assigned to waste my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The battles of my parents become my battles. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. The battles of my parents eh, that have become my battles. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of my parents that have become my battles. Eh, what are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of my parents eh, that have become my battles. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. The battles of my parents eh, that have become my battles. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of my parents eh, that have become my battles. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of my parents eh, that have become my battles. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Power assigned to make me die the death of another man die in the name of jesus assigned to make me die the death of another man die in the name of jesus powers assigned to make me die the death of another man die in the name of jesus Powers are sent to make me die the death of another man. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to make me die the death of another man. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to make me die the death of another man. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to make me die the death of another man. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any power casting my days, let them fall down and die in in the name of Jesus, any power cursing my days, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any cursing my days, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power cursing my days, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power cursing my days, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power cursing my days, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power cursing my days, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pray this prayer. This next three prayers with fire and with power. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to scatter my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles assigned to damage my happiness. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Jesus name we pray amen so oh God give me power to destroy anything that destroy my parents in the name of Jesus oh God give me power to destroy anything that destroy my parents in the name of Jesus oh God give me power to destroy anything that destroy my parents in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen so blood of Jesus Flush out every poison from my system. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush out every poison out of my system. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush out every poison out of my system. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush out every poison out of my system. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush out of my system. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Finally, shout this louder than anyone around you. But I want me to go down where I am supposed to go. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles that want me to go down where I'm supposed to go up. Die 
in the name of Jesus. Battles that want me to go down where I'm supposed to go up, die in the name of Jesus. Battles are sent to make me go down where I'm supposed to go up, die in the name of Jesus. 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 Battles are sent to make me go down. Where I'm supposed to go up in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus. Battles are sent to make me go down. Where I'm supposed to go up, die in the Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, I'm praying for your children gathered on this line. Mosa tele care that any challenge that anyone is going to become testimonies now in the name of Jesus. The power of God arise for the sake of your children on this line in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall empower you to pursue any evil that pursue your parents in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall empower you to humiliate that humiliate your parents in the name of Jesus. And any power that want to cover your glory shall be crushed to powder in the name of Jesus. Jesus, receive your deliverance, receive your, your deliverance, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are most warmly welcome to the program assigned to move you from strength to strength and from glory to glory. A program designed by God to bury every power of the enemy. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we join us in this program, the God of Elijah shall arise and give you a miracle that will set to your case. In the name of Jesus, the God of Elijah shall arise and give you a miracle that will set to your case. In the name of Jesus, the God of Elijah shall arise and give you a miracle that will set to your case. In the name of Jesus, every power behind delay in your life shall die by fire. In the name of Jesus, the God of Elijah shall arise and silence your silencers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, powers assigned to make your enemies laugh at you shall be disgraced, shall be disgraced, shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. And I declare upon your life that within 24 hours, you shall see the hand of the power of God in your situation. In the name of Jesus, every power behind your testimony shall undie in the name of Jesus. And any power planning to turn your place of destiny to a place of battle shall die. In the name of Jesus, every book of the wicked carrying your name shall catch fire. In the name of Jesus, and any strong yokes assigned against you shall be swallowed by the miracle power of God. In the name of Jesus, your life shall be plugged into the set of the God of wonders. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of the God of wonders. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of the God of wonders. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. A sevenfold amen. 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 Sing this song loud and clear. We are gathering together unto him. We are gathering together unto him. Unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. We are gathering together unto him, unto the Lord. We are gathering together unto him, unto him. We are gathering together unto him, unto the Lord, unto the Lord. Shall the gathering of his people be? We are gathering together unto him. And we sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise him for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord joyful song i will praise his name for the lord is good hallelujah i will sing unto the lord a joyful song i will praise his name 
for the Lord is good. Lion of Judah has broken every yoke, giving us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke, has given us the victory again and again. With a very loud voice, I would like to make these confessions after me. Make sure that your voice is very loud. Remember, as from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Say, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Jesus took all my sicknesses and infirmities upon himself on the cross. The law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ has set me free from the law of sin and death. Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. So sickness and diseases have no power over me. Jesus bore my diseases on his body on the tree. Therefore, I'm dead to sin and alive to God. And by his stripes, I am healed and made whole. Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain in my life. For God sent his word and heals me, according to Psalm 107. He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. As God was with Moses, so is he with me. My eyes are not dim, neither are my natural forces abated. Blessed are my eyes for the sea, and my ears for the air. No evil shall befall me, neither shall any plague come near my camp. For he has given his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In my pathway there is healing and health, and there is no death. Jesus took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. Therefore, I refuse to allow any sickness to dominate my body. The life of God flows within me, bringing the healing of God into every part of my life. I'm redeemed from the curse that is lying in my bloodline. In the name of Jesus, evil growth have no right to my body. I'm delivered from them in the name of Jesus. Every organ and tissue of my body begin to function perfectly in the name of Jesus. I have a strong heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. The life of God flows into my blood and cleanses every organ of my body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command my blood cells to destroy every disease, germs, and viruses that try to inhabit my body. I command every cell of my body to be normal. In the name of Jesus, every cell that does not promote life and health in my body be cut off from the roof. In the name of Jesus, let my immune system disallow any evil growth to live in my body. In the name of Jesus. A servant for the man, amen, 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 
Amen. There are ten prayers to pray now. These are not gentlemen's prayers. They are prayers that will walk into the camp of the enemy and recover what you've lost. They are prayers that will grab whatever lion has swallowed you and get you out of the mouth of that lion. Let your voice roar like thunder as you pray. These ten prayers will address every profit paralysis, every evil diversion. It shall destroy bewitchment. It shall make you to capture your foreign benefits. It shall deliver from gradual dispossession. It shall heal dead organs. It shall deliver those trapped in the net of their father's house. It shall deliver those pursued by the spirit of death and hell. It shall deliver from the arrows of poverty. It shall deliver those that the enemy wants to be spiritual spectators. It shall deliver those who are unconsciously feeding their enemies to make their enemies fight them harder. It shall deliver those cursed by satanic prophets. It shall deliver those who have been struck with long-standing resistant infirmities. It shall deliver from spiritual blindness. It shall deliver from vagabond anointing. It shall deliver from verbal traps. It shall deliver from poverty. Arrows. It shall deliver from unexplainable loss of good things. It shall deliver from the mark of hatred. It shall deliver from the spirit of rejection. These 10 prayers will deliver from these 21 things. And therefore, it's not a time to joke or a time to negotiate with the enemy. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every power waiting to say to me, what a pity. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power waiting to say to me, what a pity. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power waiting to say to me, what a pity. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that is waiting to say to me, what a pity. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Strange glory. Assigned to replace my shining glory. Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Battles assigned to convert my sweat and effort to nothing. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles are sent to convert my sweat and effort to nothing. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles are sent to convert my sweat and effort to nothing. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So battles are sent to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Battles are sent to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Battles are signed to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Battles are signed to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Battles are signed to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Battles are signed to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. Battles are signed to waste my efforts. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers shedding blood to cover my glory. 
Die in the name of Jesus. Power shed in blood uh, to cover my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Power shed in blood to cover my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Power shed in blood uh, to cover my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Power shed in blood to cover my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Power shed in blood to cover my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Power shed in blood to cover my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray this prayer with boiling anger. Great things of my life concern to my dream life. Great things of my life consigned to my dream life. Hear the word of the Lord. Manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. Great things of my life consigned to my dream life. Hear the word of the Lord. Manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. Great things of my life consigned to my dream life. Hear the word of the Lord. Manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's a prison of delay in my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Prison of delay in my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Prison of delay in my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Prison of delay in my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Prison of delay in my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Holy Ghost fire. See I away every evil kingdom. Contency for my acceleration. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, tear away every evil kingdom. Contesting for my acceleration. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, tear away every evil kingdom. Contesting for my acceleration. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, tear away every evil kingdom. Contesting for my acceleration. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, power insulting my glory. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers insulting my glory. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers insulting my glory. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers insulting my glory. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers insulting my glory. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Powers insulting my glory. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. Carry your load and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, horns of the wicked elders are sent to scatter my star. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Horns of the wicked elders are sent to scatter my star. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Horns of the wicked elders are sent to scatter my star. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Makapo tali kayabo shandaraba. Ribosopole ketende kela kayabusha. Father, I'm praying for all who are gathered on this line. Who have been saying, when will my deliverance come? I'm praying for those who are gathered onto this broadcast. And the enemy has been pursuing you as, as long as you know. I decree by decree of heaven, sir, that it is written that the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Sir. I am praying that every harassment of the wicked, every harassment of the enemy, every power of the oppressor contesting for your life, contesting for your breakthrough, contesting for your marriage, contesting for your health, I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus right there where you are. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, let the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ begin to flow, begin to flow, begin to flow, begin to flow, begin to flow. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to flow, begin to flow as the resurrection power and the fire is flowing through you. Anything that is negative in your body, any plantation of darkness, I command them to go, 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 go. Go, 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 the one in the head, go, the one in the eyes, go, the one in the breast, go, the one in the chest, go, the one in the stomach, go, the one in the reputation organs, go, 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 back capota, la kaya bo shandara bosa.
Every spirit of oppression, lose your hold now. Every spirit of oppression, lose your hold now. The heavy load upon the head, lose your hold now. The heavy load upon the chest, lose your hold now. The transferred infirmity from the coven, lose your hold now. See the power of God is moving from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. You that sister over there, I increase that fire that is upon you now. Let the fire burn to ice every ladder of darkness in your body let the fire burn to ashes every plantation of the serpent in your body receive the fire receive the fire receive the fire receive the fire that is the power of god coming upon you where you are everything the enemy has stolen from you repossess your possession now repossess your possession and repossess your possession now in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name Amen. 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 Let's take our Bibles. I was going to be speaking briefly on May you encounter the God of Elijah. May you encounter the God of Elijah. Can I hear you shouting a threefold amen? Amen. 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 In James chapter 5. James chapter 5. From verse 17, James chapter 5, from verse 17. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as well, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth brought forth a fruit. He prayed again. And the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth a fruit. Elijah. The name Elijah means my God is Jehovah. Jehovah is God. The Lord is the real God. My God is Jah. That's the meaning of the name Elijah. Elijah was a prophet of fire. A man who was invisible in approach. The man who towered above the prophets of Baal. The man whose prayers brought fire streaming from heaven. Elijah was not an ordinary prophet. He was a man of volcanic force. He was a man who had granite strength. Elijah was one of those who show up in history and lift themselves to an uncommon level. May God move you to an uncommon level in the name of Jesus. Elijah was a man of tremendous spiritual force. A man of magnificent strength, a man of noble courage, a no-nonsense type of personality. He saw things as only right or wrong, no middle ground. He was straight and to the point. He was a man of fervent prayers, a man of uncommon obedience, a man of unusual spiritual sensitivity. Elijah entered like a tempest and went out in the wild wind. Elijah was God's surgical knife. Elijah was a rod in God's hand. Elijah was God's mouthpiece. Elijah was God's priest, offering sacrifice for the sins of the people. Elijah was a man who organized the school of the prophets, a student in the God's school of faith. Elijah was a man who relied on divine provision was also a man who understood God's presence. Elijah was fashioned into an extraordinary level by the, by the living God. Elijah refused to conform to the evils of his days. Elijah was a man prepared to shame the devil. Beloved, there are three kinds of people in the world. Those who make things happen. Those who watch things happen. Those who sit back and wonder what happened. There are the spectators who watch things happen. There are the talkers who talk about what happened. The actors are those who call things to happen. Elijah was a man who made things to happen. Other prophets were measured by standard. Elijah was a man of enough is enough. 
May you encounter the God of Elijah. 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 May you encounter the God of Elijah in the name of Jesus. Elijah was the prophet of the mantle, but Elijah also advertises the resurrection power. Elijah wastes no words. Elijah demonstrates the protective hand of God. Elijah was credentialed by God himself. He has no official approval from the arenas of organized religion, but he had the approval of God. Elijah knew the time to take cover and time to take over. Elijah advertised the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I'm prophesying upon you, that person over there, that every organ in your body that is not working properly, let the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ fall upon you where you are. In the name of Jesus, let that limb begin to move. Let your neck begin to move. Let every area of your body that the enemy has silenced receive life now by the resurrection power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, a loud amen, amen. Elijah was a fearless reformer, the prophet of holy confrontation. Elijah, like Enoch in the Bible, never died. Elijah wrote letters that kill it. Elijah was in that transfiguration experience. In fact, Elijah has been described as the grandest and most remarkable individual that Israel ever produced. The grandest and the most remarkable individual that Israel ever produced the mightiest of all the prophets. He was mysterious in origin, introduced mysteriously, just like Melchizedek, an advertiser of the power of prayer, an advertiser of the providence power of God, the prophet of commitment. May you encounter the God of Elijah. May you encounter the God of Elijah. May you encounter the God of Elijah in the name of Jesus. Who is this God of Elijah? The God of Elijah is the God of heavens. Elijah locked up the heavens, put the key in his pocket and walked away. The God of Elijah is the God of providence. The God of discipline. The God of abundance. The God of prosperity. The God of resurrection. The God of prophecy. The God that answered by fire. I see so many people on this great physician are uh, God shall answer you by fire in the name of Jesus. The God of Elijah is the God that answered by fire. May you encounter the God of Elijah in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. The God of Elijah is the God that respects fervent prayers. He is the God of utterance. He is the God that shows no mercy to false religions. He is the God that loves his enemies to scorn. Elijah laughed his enemies to scorn. So will you laugh your enemies to scorn in the name of Jesus? The God of Elijah is the God who is omnipotent. The God that anoints with double portion. The God that separates Jordan. The God of signs and wonders. The God of supernatural strength. The God that promotes from zero to hero. The God of supernatural protection. The God who respects fasting and prayer. The God who can create a one-man army, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. The God who scares rulers. The God who respects holy altars. The God of strategic prayers. The God who respects violent faith. The God of Elijah is God that brings visible out of the invisible. It's God that performs dumbfounding miracles. It's the God who gives turning points. Dries up Jordan. Heal the sick. The God of angelic violence. An uncompromising God. The God of the still small voice that stops them before they stop you. That is the God of Elijah. Listen carefully, beloved. Some breakthroughs may not come until the judgment of God has cut off all the powers and the men and women who are causing interest to the breakthrough. A human being can disturb the heavens over your life, like Uzziah was the insulation and the umbrella covers Isaiah from reaching heaven. Your breakthrough may depend on the mandatory death of an enemy after the order of Uzziah. While physical death may not be the appropriate death for every wicked person, 
but some lands will never see their promised reign until some persons in the land are dead. The prophetic sword of Elijah may have to strike before the manifestation of some breakthroughs. A land may be unsafe for the manifestation of your star until the herald therein dies. When you want to counter and over my dead body enemies, divine executioner might have to go to work. Some forms of wickedness can only be terminated by death. That's why God says, suffer not a wish to live. For your David to manifest, your Goliath has to die. When a power is under an oath or covenant to kill you, the only option left is the prophetic sword of Elijah. May you encounter that God of Elijah. May you encounter the God of Elijah. May you encounter the God of Elijah. When do you call on the God of Elijah? You call on the God of Elijah when everyone is mocking you. You call on the God of Elijah when people are telling you to forsake holiness. You call on the God of Elijah when people are asking you, who do you think you are? You call on the God of Elijah when people are asking you, who asked you to marry this person? You call on the God of Elijah when they are telling you, did you not tell you that you are too serious with this your Christianity? Why are you not cutting corners? You call on the God of Elijah when those who want to mock you are larger in number than those who want to help you. You call on the God of Elijah when people are already concluding that you are finished. You call on the God of Elijah when you can see joy in the face of your enemies. You call on the God of Elijah when your enemies are jubilating over your condition. You call on the God of Elijah when your sole supporter is gone. You call on the God of Elijah when the last time you were blessing to anyone was when you went out of the place. You call on the God of Elijah when the enemy is about to broadcast your name for evil. You call on the God of Elijah when the enemy has issued their sentence against you. You call on the God of Elijah when you are surrounded by a satanic audience waiting for your downfall. You call on the God of Elijah when, like Paul, a viper has attached himself to your hand to kill you openly. You call on the God of Elijah when smiling has become a difficult job for you. You call on the God of Elijah when funds are low and depths are high. You call on the God of Elijah when you are confronting your own Jordan. You call on the God of Elijah when you either have a breakthrough or you are finished. You call on the God of Elijah when you know you must get out of your present situation or everything ends. You call on the God of Elijah when you have acquired an arrow of mockers. You have acquired an, an array of mockers who are bent on putting you to shame. You call on the God of Elijah when the prediction of the expert is that you cannot make it. You call on the God of Elijah when your hands are too short to box with your enemies. You call on the God of Elijah when you have come to your wit's end. You call on the God of Elijah when friends forsake you and you are all alone. You call on the God of Elijah when unbelievers are asking you to show them the God whom you serve. You call on the God of Elijah when no one wants to help you. You call on the God of Elijah when those who want to help you fail. You call on the God of Elijah when it is beyond human ability to help you. You call on the God of Elijah when you are in a total mess. You call on the God of Elijah when you are totally down and really need help. You call on the God of Elijah when confusion and frustration reign supreme. You call on the God of Elijah when you are at a standstill in life. You call on the God of Elijah when you are in a situation where nothing has been able to help you. You call on the God of Elijah when you are in a situation in which men's knowledge has become useless. You call on the God of Elijah when all helpers flee and you are on your own. You call on the God of Elijah when a situation arises when all seems to have failed. You call on the God of Elijah when a situation arises and your friends become your enemies. You call on the God of Elijah when a situation arises and your all incomes dry up. You call on the God of Elijah when there's a situation in your business which truncates your profit. You call on the God of Elijah when human wisdom and intelligence are terminated. You call on the God of Elijah when thinking of a way out has been exhausted. You call on the God of Elijah when satanic audience are waiting for your fall. You call on the God of Elijah when mockers are gathered against you. You call on the God of Elijah when unbelievers are asking you why is the Lord your God. You call on the God of Elijah when evil powers are challenging God in your life. 
you call on the God of Elijah when the enemy has sucked you dry. You call on the God of Elijah when depths and mountains and income is low. You call on the God of Elijah when the Lazarus of your destiny has been embalmed and buried. You call on the God of Elijah when your yokes are multiplying. You call on the God of Elijah when evil assemblies and occultic men are now saying, You better join us. You better join us. You call on the God of Elijah when you have been encouraged to be disobedient to God in order to move forward. You call on the God of Elijah when shedding tears has become a regular affair. You call on the God of Elijah when the road you are traveling becomes rougher and rougher. You call on the God of Elijah when you notice finishing fever in your life. You call on the God of Elijah when your nose is bleeding and your eyes are black in the boxing ring of life. You call on the God of Elijah when you are becoming an expert at finishing things that you should never have started. You call on the God of Elijah when you want to smile and crying comes. You call on the God of Elijah when you are expressing, when you are experiencing effort failure. You call on the God of Elijah when you are operating below your optimal standard. You call on the God of Elijah when the treasure in you has been stolen. You call on the God of Elijah when you are a treasure on a dungeon. You call on the God of Elijah when you notice that you are a beauty buried inside the coffin of slavery and poverty. You call on the God of Elijah when you notice that you are a greatness incarcerated behind the iron bars of injustice and blackmail. You call on the God of Elijah when you are lost in the sea of despair and hopelessness. You call on the God of Elijah when you are a golden greatness lost in the wilderness of frustration. You call on the God of Elijah when you are held in the permanent chain of fear. You call on the God of Elijah when you are blinded by the arrows of unbelief and ignorance. You call upon the God of Elijah when good things disappear unexplainably in your life. You call on the God of Elijah when the enemy put full stop on your moving forward. What are you going to do now? The first is to surrender your life to Jesus. Second thing is to repent from every known sin. Third thing is to know that with God all things are possible. And the fourth thing is to call upon that God of Elijah. In this particular edition, we are going to call upon the God of Elijah to do many things in our lives. And I want you to believe God as you call upon him. But in case you're on this broadcast and you're not born again, I want to give you that opportunity. Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray for you. Say that short prayers after me. Father, all these people have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let it be well with them. Write their names in the book of life. And not them by your mighty power. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to shout this louder than anyone around you. Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and bury every enemy of my next level. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and bury every enemy of my next level. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and bury every enemy of my next level. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and bury every enemy of my next level. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and bury every enemy of my next level. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change. In the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my story change. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Where is the Lord God of Elijah?
Arise and pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Arise and pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Arise and pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and silence my silencers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and silence my silencers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and silence my silencers in the name of Jesus. Arise and silence my silencers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and silence my silencers in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and silence my silencers in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I'm praying for all those who have joined this line. Makopo tali kayabo shende rabo kontia. Ribo sopo deke ten deke yabo shende rabo katanda la kayaba. Nakanda rabo sopo deke yabo shende rabo kasa. Boka ten de rabo sotonda kayaba. I decree upon you that any blood-sucking demons uh, that has been assigned against you shall lose their hold and die. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out uh, the blood-sucking demons. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out uh, the blood-sucking demons. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, uh, in the head, uh, lose your hold. Uh, in the breast, uh, lose your hold. Uh, in the womb, uh, lose your hold. Uh, every problem in the body, Every power eating up the flesh of the body, I bind you and I cast you out. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. I decree upon your life, right there where you are, that any power assigned to waste your destiny, any power assigned to rubbish your destiny, is buried now in the name of Jesus. Is buried now in the name of Jesus. Is buried now in the name of Jesus. And pray, O oh Lord, uh, on anyone here who is suffering from profitless hard work, uh, receive your miracle in the name of Jesus uh, and be delivered from the addressing of the oppressor in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm praying for all who have joined this line seeking for marital breakthrough. Receive your marital breakthrough. Receive your marital breakthrough. Receive your marital breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm praying for anyone on this line who is suffering from failure at the edge of success. Makapota li kayabosha. As I can't serve from here, the demon responsible for failure at the edge of success shall separate from you and disappear in the name of Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that is the power of God coming upon you. That is the power of God coming upon you. That demon of failure is separated from you. The demon of stagnancy is separated from you. The demon of delay is separated from you. In the name of Jesus, all those who are on this line, those who are on this broadcast, and you have been suffering from constant witchcraft attacks, Vase Katenda, receive your deliverance from the constant witchcraft attack. Any witchcraft attack holding anyone in bondage, lose your hold, 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 in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen. Amen, 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 amen. I'm praying for anyone join, joining this broadcast uh, who is suffering from the spirit of death and hell. You, the spirit of death and hell, I bind you and I cast you out. I bind you and I cast you out. I bind you and I cast you out. Let her go. Let him go. 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 In the name of Jesus, wherever you are hiding, for it is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Every 
stranger in the hidden place. Loose your hold, loose your hold, loose your hold, loose your hold, loose your hold. I bind you and I cast you out. I bind you and I cast you out. I bind you and I cast you out. You the power behind this affliction. You the power behind this suffering. Loose your hold now in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Makapota le kaya boshendera basanda. Ribo soponde ke ya boshendera bakatanda la kaya bo. Bakatende ribo soponde ke ya bosha. Bali ke tende ribo sopo. Bo kapila kaya boshendera bosanda. Let these evil powers lose their own in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand to the heavens now. As I pray on those hands. Father, let his hands that he stretch up receive the thunder power of God. Let it receive the thunder fire of God. Let it receive the anointing that break at yokes. Let it receive the power of the Holy Ghost. You this hand carry the fire of God. Carry the power of God. Carry the fire of God. Carry the power of God. Carry the fire of God. Carry the power of God. Carry the fire of God. Carry the power of God. It is written that we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. As you smite your body with these hands, you shall recover. Every infirmity shall flee in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Get yourself ready. Anywhere you are having infirmities in your body, smite it 21 times. Shouting, go back to the senders. 21 times. Go back to the center. Smite it very well. We're going to do this three times. So get yourself really ready. Every stubborn infirmity must depart. Every pain must go back to the senders. Every unrighteousness of the enemy shall be disgraced. Do it very aggressively. No matter how painful it is, do it aggressively. 21 times shouting. You smite it shouting. Go back to the sender. Let's go. Go back to the sender. Go back to the senders. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, begin to shake your head. Shake that head vigorously. Shake it. Shake it vigorously. Bakapon taribo sata. Dagita katenda. Any spirit of death and hell in any head. Be shaken off. 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 Any arrow fired into the head. Be shaken off. 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 Every chain upon the head. Be shaken off. 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 Get yourself ready again. 21 times again, you smite wherever you're having pain or trouble in your body, shouting, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Let's go. Blood of Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Now the third time. Makapota Likayaboshanda. Something is happening over there. That is the power of God coming upon you. The yoke of paralysis is broken. The yoke of deafness is broken. The yoke of fibroid is broken. The yoke of painful menstruation is broken. The yoke of heart palpitation is broken. The yoke of asthma is broken. The yoke of cancer is broken. See the broken yokes. Yes, they are going back to their senders. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Now do it again a third time. This time shouting fire. Do it more aggressively. Let's go. Fire. 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 Fire, 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 fire. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Now, you, the spirit of death and hell, 
you the spirit of affliction, you the spirit of oppression. I know you are still hiding there, but you cannot hide anymore. I descend on you by the fire of the Holy Ghost, and I order you to lose your hold from your hiding place. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold from your hiding place. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold from your hiding place. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I prophesy upon your life that every arrow of soul hunters sent against you shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Any power painting negative pictures in the heart of your helpers shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any ancestral curse making your life miserable, the fire of God shall consume the ancestral curse in the name of Jesus. All the wicked elders that are investigating your glory shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. And listen to this, the fire of God shall separate you from every curse of it shall not be well with you in the name of Jesus. And every goodness the enemy has stolen from you, the fire of God shall chase them back to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life that whether the devil likes it or not, whether it's convenient for them or not, every plan of darkness against your destiny shall backfire. In the name of Jesus, and every evil hand registering your name for tragedy shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of darkness that is withdrawing the spirit of your progress, I set them ablaze. I set them ablaze. I set them ablaze in the name of Jesus. Any wicked elders using your destiny to prolong their own lives, I command them to die by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against you to initiate lifetime battles, I command the arrows to go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, any power sent to resurrect any problem in your life, I command the power to be buried in the mighty name of Jesus. Any chain of darkness chaining you down, I command that chain to catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. And the weapon of frustration assigned against you shall be converted to the weapon of sudden death to the enemy in the name of Jesus. All the dreams assigned to disappoint your expectation, I command those dreams to scatter. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I prophesy upon your life that any power assigned to kill you before your prayers are answered, I command the powers to die in the name of Jesus. Your star shall arise and shine and disgrace your enemies. In the name of Jesus, your star shall arise and shine and disgrace your enemies. In the name of Jesus, your star shall arise and shine and disgrace your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Now shout this loud and clear before we close. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my problems destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my problems destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my problems destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and let my problems destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus then we pray. Amen. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise. Kill every evil tongue backing against me. In the name of Jesus. Why is the Lord God of Elijah arise? Kill every evil tongue backing against me. In the name of Jesus. Why is the Lord God of Elijah arise? Kill every evil tongue backing against me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise. Poison every power that wants to poison me. In the name of Jesus. Why is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise. Poison every power that wants to poison me. Why is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise. Poison every power that wants to poison me. Poison every power that wants to poison me. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for the wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you because of your promises, which are yea and amen. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as are gathered unto this program now, Lord, they are not gathered unto a man, they are gathered unto the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Father, meet each and every one at the point of their needs. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Confess this loud and clear after me. Say it with a loud voice. So powers negotiating for my head in the market of darkness. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Say my glory carry the fire of God and get out from the room of wicked elders. In the name of Jesus. Say that again. My glory. Carry the fire of God. And get out from the room of wicked elders. In the name of Jesus. Say my troubled glory. Receive the power of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Say any evil hand. Writing death. Stagnancy. On my forehead. Fire of God, burn the hands of ashes in the name of Jesus. Any evil hand writing death, stagnancy on my forehead, fire of God, burn the hands of ashes in the name of Jesus. Shout this as a powers calling my destiny to captivity. Sword of God, arise, kill them in the name of Jesus. Every boasting enemy. Oh God, arise and turn them to empty vessels. In the name of Jesus, join the stress sent against me. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. Join the stress sent against me. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. Say any satanic celebration planned against my life this year. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Any satanic celebration planned against my life this year. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Say, Army of Heaven, arise. Cage all my enemies in the name of Jesus. Army of Heavens, arise. Cage all my enemies in the name of Jesus. A tenfold amen, 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 amen. Sing this song loud and clear. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Men of the world may let you down, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fail, Jesus never fail. Men of the world may let you down, but Jesus never fails. Your father may let you down, your mother may let you down, your husband may let you down, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Men of the world may let you down, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Men of the world may let you down, but Jesus never fails. Get yourself ready now, beloved. We have some marathon prayer session ahead of us. And whether you feel you are concerned or not, I want you to pray really from your heart. 
as the process of this prayer is going on, a lot of signs and wonders will begin to take place. As the process of these prayers are going on, healings will take place, deliverance will take place, breakthroughs will take place. Those who have been suffering from the yoke of the enemy, the yokes have been broken off. Those who have infirmities that are threatening their existence, the infirmities have been disgraced. Just ensure that you create space for yourself and you pray as hard as you can pray. Make sure you clear your surroundings so that you don't fall on any sharp objects. Pray with fire, pray with power, pray with faith, pray with the spirit of reckless violence. Pray with all your strength, and the hand of God will touch you right there where you are. I soak my blood, bones, and flesh in the wonder-working power of the blood of Jesus. I soak my blood, bones and flesh in the water working power of the blood of Jesus. I soak my blood, bones and flesh in the water working power of the blood of Jesus. I soak my blood, bones and flesh into the water working power of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I barricade my body from every disease germs. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every disease jam. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every disease jam. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every disease jam. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every disease jam. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every disease jam. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost fire. Burn all diseases deposited into my body to ashes. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn all diseases deposited into my body to ashes. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn all diseases deposited into my body to ashes. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn all diseases deposited into my body to ashes. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, blood of Jesus. Laminate my life in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, laminate my life. Laminate my life. Blood of Jesus, 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 laminate my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let your voice be loud and clear to pray this one. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness. Speaking against my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus then we pray. Amen. Say so every arrow of terminal sickness come out of my life and die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of terminal sickness come out of my life and die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of terminal sickness come out of my life and die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of terminal sickness come out of my life and die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of terminal sickness come out of my life and die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of terminal sickness come out of my life and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So everything I've eaten or swallowed Presently working against my health, be dissolved by the power of God 
in the name of Jesus. Everything I've eaten or swallowed, presently working against my health, be dissolved by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, everything I've eaten or swallowed, presently working against my health, be dissolved by the power in the blood of Jesus. Everything I've eaten or swallowed, presently working against my health, be dissolved by the power in the blood of Jesus. Everything I've eaten or swallowed, presently working against my health, be dissolved by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so my body, resist. Reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus. My body resist. Reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus. My body resist. Reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus. My body resist. Reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus. My body resist. Reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus. My body resist. Reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any organ in my body. Performing below expectation. Receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any organ in my body performing below expectation receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every organ in my body performing below expectation receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any organ in my body performing below expectation receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any organ in my body performing below expectation receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any organ in my body performing below expectation receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every satanic device to terminate my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic device to terminate my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic device to terminate my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic device to terminate my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic device to terminate my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic device to terminate my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every snare of death set up for my life. Catch your owners in the name of Jesus. Every snare of death set up for my life. Catch your owner in the name of Jesus. Every snare of death set up for my life. Catch your owner in the name of Jesus. Every snare of death set up for my life. Catch your owner in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray this with serious violence. Every tree of untimely death in my family line. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Every tree of untimely death in my family line. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Every tree of untimely death in my family line. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Every power announcing my name for death. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power announcing my name for death. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power announcing my name for death. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power announcing my name for death. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power announcing my name for death. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power enforcing terminal sickness upon my life. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power enforcing terminal sickness upon my life. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power enforcing terminal sickness upon my life. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power enforcing terminal sickness upon my life. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power enforcing terminal sickness upon my life. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power enforcing terminal sickness upon my life. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God in the name of Jesus. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God in the name of Jesus. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God in the name of Jesus. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God in the name of Jesus. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 
all arrows of infirmity. Fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmities fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmities fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmities fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmities fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmity fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmity fired against me. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmity fired against me. Go back to the senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to the senders in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus, thou power of the wasters, my body is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every evil link between me and the spirit of untimely death be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every evil link between me and the spirit of untimely death be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every evil link between me and the spirit of untimely death be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every evil link between me and the spirit of untimely death be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every evil link between me and the spirit of untimely death be cut off in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any decree of untimely death hovering over my life Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any decree of untimely death hovering over my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any decree of untimely death hovering over my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any decree of untimely death hovering over my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any decree of untimely death hovering over my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall not die but live. The number of my days shall be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but live. The number of my days shall be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but live. The number of my days shall be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but live. But the, num the number of my days shall be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but live. The number of my days shall be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I speak life into every organ in my body and I command them not to malfunction. In the name of Jesus, I speak life into every organ in my body. I command them not to malfunction. In the name of Jesus, I speak life into every organ of my body and I command them not to malfunction. In the name of Jesus, I speak life unto every organ of my body and I command them not to malfunction. In the name of Jesus, I speak life unto every organ of my body and I command them not to malfunction. In the name of Jesus, I speak life unto every organ of my body and I command them not to malfunction. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every arrow of untimely death fired at me in my dreams. Come out and go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of untimely death fired at me in my dream. Come out and go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of untimely death fired at me in my dreams. Come out and go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I remove the control of my life from the hands of any dead person. In the name of Jesus, I remove the control of my life from the hands of any dead person. In the name of Jesus, I remove the control of my life from the hands of any dead person. In the name of Jesus, I remove the control of my life from the hands of any dead person. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let your voice be louder. 
led to aggression be more. The power of God is moving from person to person. I see infirmities disappearing. I see yokes being broken. Say any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against me. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so any satanic ladder supply evil current into my body. Break away in the name of Jesus. Any satanic ladder supplying evil current into my body. Break away in the name of Jesus. Any satanic ladder supplying evil current into my body. Break away in the name of Jesus. Any satanic ladder supplying evil current into my body. Break away, break away, break away, break away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I receive divine tonic and vitamins. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive divine tonic and vitamins. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive divine tonic and vitamins. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive divine tonic and vitamins. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive divine tonic and vitamins. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so blood of Jesus. Sanitize my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Sanitize my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Sanitize my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Sanitize my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Sanitize my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus. My immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus. My immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus. My immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus. My immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yokes and covenants of infirmity Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. Yokes and covenant of infirmity. Break in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any program of death in my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus. Any program of death in my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus. Any program of death in my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus. Any program of death in my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus. Any program of death in my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus. Any program of death in my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Witchcraft sponsored infirmities will not come close to my camp. In the name of Jesus, witchcraft sponsored infirmities will not come close to my camp. In the name of Jesus, witchcraft sponsored infirmities will not come close to my camp. In the name of Jesus, witchcraft sponsored infirmities will not come close to my camp. In the name of Jesus, witchcraft sponsored infirmities will not come close to my camp. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I speak woe. Unto every trouble of my body.
In the name of Jesus, I speak woe unto every trouble of my body. In the name of Jesus, I speak woe unto every trouble of my body. In the name of Jesus, I speak woe unto every trouble of my body. In the name of Jesus, I speak woe unto every trouble of my body. In the name of Jesus, I speak woe unto every trouble of my body. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise. And let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. And let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. And let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Let your enemies, my body, be scattered. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, by the power in the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ, I chase every infirmity out of my body. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ, I chase every infirmity out of my body. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ, I chase every infirmity out of my body. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ, I chase every infirmity out of my body. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, garment of infirmity. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of infirmity. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of infirmity. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of infirmity. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of infirmity. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of infirmity. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I drink the blood of Jesus. And pass out of my body every demon of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out of my body every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out of my body every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out of my body every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out of my body every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus and pass out of my body every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I inhale the fire of God and I pass out every deposit of infirmity in my body in the name of Jesus. I inhale the fire of God and I pass out every deposit of infirmity out of my body in the name of Jesus. I inhale the fire of God and I pass out every deposit of infirmity, infirmity out of my body in the name of Jesus. I inhale the fire of God and I pass out every deposit of infirmity out of my body in the name of Jesus. I inhale the fire of God and I pass out every deposit of infirmity out of my body in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every anchor of wasters. Vanish from my body in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of wasters vanish from my body in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of wasters vanish from my body in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of wasters vanish from my body in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of wasters vanish from my body in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of wasters vanish from my body in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, let the power of the Almighty overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Almighty overshadow me in the name of Jesus. When the let the power of the Almighty overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Almighty overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Almighty overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Almighty overshadow me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Lord, make my body too hot for every demon of sickness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, make my body too hot for every demon of sickness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, make my body too hot for every demon of sickness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, make my body too hot for every demon of sickness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my blood 
be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, my blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, my blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, my blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, my blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, my blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so diseases unto death. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Diseases unto death. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Diseases unto death. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Diseases unto death. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Diseases unto death. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Diseases unto death. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I render my body undivariable to eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In the name of Jesus, I render my body undivariable to eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In the name of Jesus, I render my body undivariable to eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In the name of Jesus, I render my body undivariable to eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In the name of Jesus, I render my body undivariable to eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Reign of divine immunity. Envelope and soak me in the name of Jesus. Reign of divine immunity. Envelope and soak me in the name of Jesus. Reign of divine immunity. Envelope and soak me in the name of Jesus. Reign of divine immunity. Envelope and soak me in the name of Jesus. Reign of divine immunity. Envelope and soak me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so anything I've eaten or swallowed. Assigned to attack my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed assigned to attack my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed assigned to attack my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed assigned to attack my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so Holy Ghost fire. Secure my defense against infirmity. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, secure my defense against infirmity. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, secure my defense against infirmity. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, secure my defense against infirmity. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, secure my defense against infirmity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The arrows of prayer we are praying now is going into all kinds of directions, whether open infirmity, closed infirmity, cryptic infirmity, and is disgracing them. Can you shout this loud and clear? I crush every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I crush every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I crush every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I crush every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I crush every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I crush every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, detoxify my body in the name of Jesus. E G. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Every dark prayer and prophecy against my well-being 
I dash it to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every dark prayer and prophecy against my well-being, I dash it to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every dark prayer and prophecy against my well-being, I dash it to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every dark prayer and prophecy against my well-being, I dash it to pieces. I dash it to pieces in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So power, drinking the blood of my health, Die in the name of Jesus. Power drinking the blood of my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Power drinking the blood of my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Power drinking the blood of my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every altar of affliction assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction has stand against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction has stand against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any evil association against my health scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Every agent of disease in my body, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me whole in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Set down balm of Gilead. Be administered into my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, thou balm of Gilead, be administered into my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, thou balm of Gilead, be administered into my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, thou balm of Gilead, be administered into my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, thou balm of Gilead, be administered into my body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I reject every killer disease. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I reject every killer disease. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I reject every killer disease. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I reject every killer disease. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I reject every killer disease. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I reject every killer disease. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, Oh God, arise. And let every program infirmity be scattered. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and let every program infirmity be scattered. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and let every program infirmity be scattered. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and let every program infirmity be scattered. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every altar. 
speaking sickness into my body catch fire in the name of jesus every altar speaking sickness into my body scatter in the name of jesus every altar seeking sickness speaking sickness into my body scatter in the name of jesus every altar speaking sickness into my body scatter in the name of jesus scatter in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen so every abnormal production and uncontrollable behavior of any cell in my body stop in the name of jesus every abnormal production and uncontrollable behavior of any cell in my body stop in the name of jesus stop in the name of jesus every abnormal production and uncontrollable behavior of any cell in my body stop in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen so stubborn health arresters be arrested in the name of jesus Stubborn health arresters, be arrested in the name of Jesus. Stubborn health arresters, be arrested in the name of Jesus. Stubborn health arresters, be arrested in the name of Jesus. Stubborn health arresters, be arrested in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, rage of vampire spirits walking against my body. Die in the name of Jesus. Rage of vampire spirits walking against my body. Die in the name of Jesus. Rage of vampire spirits walking against my body. Die in the name of Jesus. Rage of vampire spirits walking against my body. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, parasites, virus, bacteria of infirmity, I'm not your habitation. Die in the name of Jesus. Parasites, virus, bacteria of infirmity. I'm not your habitation. Die in the name of Jesus. Parasites, virus, bacteria of infirmity. I'm not your habitation. Die in the name of Jesus. Parasites, viruses, bacteria of infirmity. I'm not your habitation. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, let the redemptive power of the blood of Jesus. Deliver me from the power of disease in the name of Jesus. Let the redemptive power of the blood of Jesus deliver me from the power of disease in the name of Jesus. Let the redemptive power of the blood of Jesus deliver me from the power of diseases in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I drink the blood of Jesus and I command the root of sickness in my life to dry up. In the name of Jesus, I drink the blood of Jesus and I command the root of sickness in my life to dry up. In the name of Jesus, I drink the blood of Jesus and I command the root of sickness in my life to dry up. In the name of Jesus, I drink the blood of Jesus and I command the root of sickness in my life to dry up. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Collective infirmity. I stand against my family. Die in the name of Jesus. Collective infirmity. Assigned against my family. Die in the name of Jesus. Collective infirmity. Assigned against my family. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Louder than anyone around you. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Burn every infirmity out of my system. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn every infirmity out of my system. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn every infirmity out of my system. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn every infirmity out of my system. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn every infirmity out of my system. In the name of Jesus, burn every infirmity out of my system. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every mark delay my healing. Die in the name of Jesus. Every mark delay my healing. Die in the name of Jesus. Every mark delay my healing. Die in the name of Jesus. Every mark delay my healing. Die in the name of Jesus. Every mark delay my healing. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Any weapon fashioned against my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Any weapon fashioned against my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Any weapon fashioned against my health. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, bewitchment of my flesh and blood. 
be terminated in the name of Jesus. Bewitchment of my flesh and blood. Be terminated by the blood of Jesus. Bewitchment of my flesh and blood. Be terminated by the blood of Jesus. Bewitchment of my flesh and blood. Be terminated by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A tenfold amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Check your body. Do what you could not do before. The power of God has come upon you mightily. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Let's take our Bibles as we open to the book of Psalm. Psalm 133, verses 1 to 2. Psalm 133, verses 1 to 2. So behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bed, even Aaron's bed, that went down to the skies of his garment. Before we pray our closing prayers. Let's look at another deep root of infirmity troubling mankind. I call it relationship infirmity. Relationship infirmity. It is good to dwell in unity. It is good to dwell in joy. When relationships are broken, spoiled, damaged, stressed, it can lead to all kinds of evil conditions, including terrible sicknesses. Relationship represents one of the deepest areas of healing and deliverance, and is one of the most difficult areas of human needs. It is one area in which a lot of counseling failures have been experienced, simply because of spiritual ignorance, stubbornness of men, departure from divine order of relationships. What is relationship? Relationship is a mutual sharing of life, or some aspects of life, or some parts of life between two or more persons. Relationship is normally mutual, it's mutual, and so each party must contribute to it. The contribution may not be the same on both sides. The contribution too do not need to even be the same. But if there is no contribution, there is no submission, there will be no relationship. There are four major elements of relationship. One is understanding. This involves knowledge, listening, openness, encouragement, insight, communication, and discernment. The second element is love, which includes care, liking, kindness, attraction, affection, service, generosity, and passion. The third aspect is respect, which is the acknowledgement of the person's worth, of value, honor, recognition, admiration, affirmation. The fourth element is trust, which includes confidence in the person, loyalty, honesty, courage, dependability, and consistency. Once all these four are broken down, all kinds of situations develop, and this has resulted in many dying untimely. There are many marks of relationship damage or failure. Many, many marks upon which prayers are needed, upon which we need to really, really examine ourselves. What are the marks of relationship damage or failure? Cruelty, physical cruelty or psychological cruelty, dislike, rejection, withdrawal, coldness, ingratitude, jealousy or envy, neglect, indifference, betrayal, disloyalty, unfaithfulness, dishonesty, unreliability, inconsistency, moodiness, carelessness, thoughtlessness, moral weaknesses, infidelity, inability to withstand pressure, failure, inadequacy, incompetence, irresponsibility, 
selfishness, criticisms, nagging, fault finding, dishonoring one another, embarrassing one another, putting down one another, pettiness, domination, manipulation, being ignored, being disregarded, lack of communication, inadequate communication, shyness, feeling of inferiority complex, self-deception, insensitivity, unwillingness to listen effectively, inability to listen effectively, misconception, miscommunication. When relationship breaks down or are damaged, a lot of things go wrong. And these are marks of damaged and failed relationship. When there is relationship breakdown or damage, the inner mind will suffer, the outside man will suffer, the spirit will suffer, and this could result in confusion, sadness, loneliness, depression, hostility, anger, jealousy, fear, dread, anxiety, strife, avoidance and all kinds of sicknesses. But the major trouble is that relationship failure is responsible for a lot of infirmity. It's a secret root of infirmity. What do we do, beloved? We must render our lives to Jesus. We must acknowledge that we have sinned against each other. We must acknowledge that we have gripped the Holy Spirit by the bridge in our relationship. We must acknowledge that we have sinned by acting or reacting unlovingly against each other. Some cases, marital vows have been broken. We need to make up. Some have been guilty of covenant breaking. They need to make up. We need to repent from this sin and ask God to forgive us. We need to repent from this sin and ask God to forgive us. We must also ask for forgiveness from each other and give forgiveness to each other. We must accept by faith the new beginning in Christ Jesus, which also acknowledges that there are ways in which we need to change. We must accept and receive each other just as Christ accepted us. And we must subject ourselves to mutual prayers and deliverance. And this will result in relationship deliverance. And the infirmity that we have been binding and casting out will just leave out of their own accord. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are on this great physician line and you are not born again, I want to give you that opportunity. Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. If you said that short prayer with me, the Lord will continue to uphold you and keep you standing by his power. Thank you, Jesus. Raise your right hand to the heavenlies now as I pray. Father, let your anointing fall upon these hands. Let these hands become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance and power. Use this hand to break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have any sickness in any part of your body, smite it 21 times, shouting, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Let's go. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, check your body now, beloved. Do what you could not do before you find that the healing power of God has come upon you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, all eyes closed. The
prayers I want you to pray tonight is not primary school prayers. It's not gentleman's prayer. It's not the prayer that you pray and your body does not know you are praying. It's not the prayer you pray and hell does not know that you are praying here. The first three prayers has helped millions of people. If you pray it well tonight, it will certainly help you. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Strong man! At the edge of my breakthrough! What are you waiting for? Death! In the name of Jesus! Tonight is tonight. For kete se tele ke ya bo shende raba. Boli ke tende ra bo ka ya bo shende raba. Riba pote ni ka tende ke ya ba. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus is here. Mo kataria ni ka tele ka taraba. Jesus name we pray uh -huh. see what is happening now concentrate concentrate don't worry about any trouble the enemy is bringing your way pray with fire with power with assurance now you will mention any particular area of your life where you think progress is not satisfactory you can say marriage career you can say business that area you don't you are not happy with the way it's going you need to now shout this prayer loud and clear. Strong man! Assigned to my career! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Jesus Mokate setele ke yabosha Bali kadara boso pole ke yabosha Ntera boko yaba Aha, 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 aha See, see what is happening Continue, 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 continue This is not a day to negotiate Jesus name we pray I wish you could see what is going on now yes yes strong man assigned to damage my happiness Damn. Open them out, open them out. Jesus. 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 Aha, 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 Open them out, open them out, open them out, open them out. You cannot damage my happiness. Amen. Silence. It's happening. It's happening. Bakapoto sopila kida. Nakindeleka. Baka Dixitin Dekia. You the strong man from the waters. Hear the word of the Lord. This life is not your candidate anymore.
Get a strong man from the trees, from the forest, from the sea. Your time is up. You cannot control the torment. Release the brain. Release the brain. Release the heart. Release the chest. Release the womb. Release the legs. Release it. 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 Yes, release it. Because in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand to the altar now. Makampoto Sophia. Father, let your anointing fall upon this hand. Let every yoke tonight upon anybody's flesh be broken. Let this hand become the hands of healing. The hands of breakthrough. The hands of fire. The hands of power. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you brought any infirmity here, 21 times you will smite it and begin to shout, Strong man, I bind you. Strong man, I bind you. As I smite in the place, smite it really aggressively. Anywhere you are having trouble or pain, let's go! Smite it well! Yes. Yes. Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Put your faith into action. And begin to do what you could not do before. Once the sickness has disappeared, don't say I will go and I will wait till tomorrow to check it up. Run quickly to the altar here. So that the devil will not put it back. Check your body very well now. Once that headache has gone, that my migraine has gone, that plantation of darkness has disappeared, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. These three prayers, it has helped millions of people. It will certainly help you today. Something has happened to that sister over there. Yes, it's, it's gone. It's gone. Don't be afraid. Just find a way to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Strong man that destroy my parents. Your time is up. Death in the name of Jesus. strange prayer in Jesus name we pray this is number two let your voice be the loudest here strong man that has vowed to make me suffer. You are a Lord. The name of Jesus. Yes.
Yes, 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 yes. Jesus name we pray this is number three please I want to beg you be more aggressive strong man of delay in my life Jesus, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord said, as many. As we pray this next prayer, three hot times, they will certainly experience the God of breakthroughs. Strong man that wants me to go down where I'm supposed to go up. Can I hear you saying it? Your voice is not aggressive enough. What are you waiting for? Death! In the name of Jesus. Open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth. This is a serious matter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, open your mouth and pray. Strong man assigned to make me go down. Where I'm supposed to go up. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the final time. Oh, pull your mouth up. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Be released. 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 Jesus name we pray thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus amen bring out your mana water beloved and let your amen roar like thunder father in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus Father, in the name of Jesus. In the beginning, in the Spirit of God moved upon the water. Let your Spirit move upon this water in the name of Jesus. Let it become the water of healing. 
Water of deliverance. Water of fire. Water of power. Water of glory. The water that will break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of grace and power. The spirit of might and strength. Enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Let the water cause deliverance to happen. Let it cause breakthrough to happen. I sanctify this water in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. As you go into this month, it shall be well with you. Any tragedy, disaster left in this year is minus you and your family. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You are ready now. Don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow your voice. Plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes. Plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes. You cannot afford to keep quiet. And can you afford to be sluggish now? Say, eyes of darkness assigned to monitor my life. We die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Masati Lakatanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power. Taking my name to the coven. Die with the coven. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah. Overthrow the wicked in my life. In the name of Jesus. Command the wicked to be overthrown. Overthrow them. Overthrow them. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Every altar of darkness walking against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the altar of darkness. Jesus name we pray so every power challenging my moving forward you are a liar in the name of Jesus something is happening here this morning the power of God in the name of Jesus, move. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic wind blowing against my prosperity. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God of favor, appear in my life. In the name of Jesus. As for the favor of God, appear, 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 appear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
every charm walking against my life catch fire in the name of Jesus such the charms ablaze by the power of the Holy Ghost thank you Jesus 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 in Jesus name we pray silence now you've cried to heavens you have already cried to heavens let there be silent that woman over there your children were initiated into witchcraft in order to divert your destiny but beginning from this morning service the gate of admission of those children into witchcraft has been closed forever that person over there at a dying person in your family who was confessing to witchcraft mentioned that they had destroyed your life something is happening to you where you are standing that which had been destroyed you have recovered them all that's the person over there that's right ha ah. there are some people here this morning the lord said the problem is that your virtues have been buried but right there where they are buried wherever it is in the world there is an angel that has been dispatched through the avenue of your prayers to recover those things that have been buried and it's coming back to you 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 every program serpent serpents in the chest serpents in the womb serpents in the backbone serpents swallowing pregnancies serpents swallowing blood I address those serpents now by the power in the blood of Jesus for it is written that as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places let these serpents now begin to depart and go back to their senders in the name of Jesus silence beloved let the serpents go that's right the serpent of infirmity under the armpit the serpent of infirmity in the heart the serpent of infirmity in the head the serpent of infirmity in the intestine in the kidney in the liver in the womb in the legs the serpent of infirmity that place is not your habitation lose your hold now get out of that hiding place by the power and the blood of jesus that's the first person over there that's number two that's number three that's number four that's number five that's number six check your body now you find that that infirmity that you brought here has completely vanished but we're still praying we're still praying i see a brother over there they have been blocking your way all these years but there is a command from heaven that they should let you go and your way is open now in the name of jesus Aha. say dark chains let your voice be loud your time is up Great! in the name of Jesus yes thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus dark chase your time is up break Ah. 
¡Ajá! In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence. Perfect silence. Maseka tenda la karabushe. Ribasea le kantanda. You that person over there that you have been taken into the forest when you were having some troubles and you thought you were looking for a solution but they just mounted more problems on you right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and the problem the enemy has arranged against your life is being separated from you as a person over there father anyone in this service now being remotely controlled by evil powers let your power go to such people one by one one by one one by one wherever they are and begin to break the hold of this evil control break break still going on you that woman over there i command the spirits of your dead mother to come out of you now in the name of jesus yes that is the power of god coming upon you the powers that have been diverting your money and stealing your prosperity something is happening right now there is a separation between you and that evil power aha, aha. i told you that's some awesome thing something that's going to happen here today you the problem in the bone receive the healing power of jesus in the name of jesus check your body now if you brought any sickness here and you find that the sickness has disappeared i don't want the devil to put it back on you run quickly to the altar here so that you can cover your miracle with the blood of jesus and affliction will not rise again come very quickly that is you check your body you find that you brought a, a particular infirmity here it has vanished everybody will shout this loud and clear where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Advertise your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Silence. There are some incisions between the two breasts of a woman here. Some incisions. The incisions have been troubling your destiny. Fire is coming upon those incisions so that they can let you go. Yeah, that's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Things are happening here today. The power sitting on your document of miracle and your letter of miracle. I see them being uprooted now. Thank you, Jesus. Say, strong man of financial embarrassment. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Jesus Baseta la kaya boko shentera basa Daria poli katanda la basanta Opu ya mato pu ya mato pu ya mato
Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this morning. There is a satanic stronghold detaining and delaying your blessings. Once you pray this prayer, the prayer will connect you to the God of 24 hour breakthroughs. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every power delay my blessings. Your time is up. There! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Maso Pia Likata. Daribo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba. Makantanda Rabo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba Santa. Just receive your 24 hour. Miracle, receive it, 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 receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray and the powers of the night have been troubling your dream life and the powers of the night have been stealing from you and the powers of the night have stolen your destiny stolen your virtues right there where you are in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ is son of the living God receive your deliverance now receive it receive it Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Makate Satendaya Bosha. That's right. That has the power of God coming upon you. Something is happening to you over there. That's right. That has the power of God. Masikatenda yaboshende rabaka. Daribo kapiali katanda. Every wicked mark put on your forehead in the night. Let the blood of Jesus begin to wipe them off. In the name of Jesus. The swelling in the neck, the one in the armpit, the one inside the throat, the one inside the nostril, the one inside the womb, the one on the backbone. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you to receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you have any sickness on your body, lay your hands there now. All the forces of Goliath, the forces of Herod, the forces of Sambalat and Tobiah, troubling the body of anyone here, the spirits of infirmity, I bind you now. And I cast you out. Get out and enter no more. Get out, enter no more. Get out, enter no more. Get out and enter no more. Get out and enter no more. 
Get out and enter no more. Get out and enter no more. In the name of Jesus. Silence now, beloved. That sister over there, you have been seeing yourself being pursued, being harassed, being tormented and afflicted. Right there where you are, the blood of Jesus is being poured upon you to remove you from the cage of torment. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's right. You long term problems, long term infirmity, long term condition. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written that every tree that my father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. I command you to disappear. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Every power that has been blocking the way of your complete joy. I command the powers to scatter in the name of Jesus. Receive your testimony by the power and the blood of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And every power that does not want to let you go, I command the power to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. silence now beloved you the powers moving about in the body causing discomfort I cut off your power in the name of Jesus aha that's right all the heaviness in the legs the heaviness in the neck region the pain in the head the migraine the breathing difficulties I bind your power in the name of Jesus aha thank you Jesus thank you Jesus if you brought any sickness here check your body now do what you are not able to do before do it now check your body very well I don't want the devil to put the problem back on you. So once you check your body and you discover that you have been healed, quickly find a way to the altar here. I didn't say you should come out if you want prayer. No, 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 no. You check your body. You, you brought a condition here. It has vanished. Find a way quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put, that, put back the problem. Everybody will now shout this loud and clear. Please, this is not a day to negotiate. Powers of the night troubling my habitation. Can you shout this loud and clear? Death! In the name of Jesus. Makato Sopola Kayabo Shandara. Jesus something is coming out of somebody's womb it was the enemy that put it there in the dream yes that's the fire of God burning in that womb let's be released from that bondage right now 
Dakatela Bokombo Kandera Boson Tondeke Yabushin Teraba. Every power searching for my face in demonic mirrors. Can you shout that loud and clear? Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is supposed to pray this one with violence. Don't keep quiet. Basikate sepende ke yabo shanta. Aha, 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 aha. Just. Masakaya Bushendera Boko Sentera Ba. Just. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this week. Every day of this week will bring you mighty testimonies. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? We cut nights of the night. A sign against my life. Expire in the name of Jesus. Command the wickedness of the night to expire. Something must happen to your life today. Jesus. Jesus. Aha. 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 Every load of darkness. Every luggage of darkness. In anybody's body, in the soul, in the spirit, catch fire, 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 catch fire. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Tonight, my father, provoke your violent angels to fight for me. Can I hear the sister saying that one? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud and clear. I think the sister should try a little bit more tonight. Let me hear the brothers roar like thunder. Let your voice roar like thunder, brothers. Everybody should get out of In the name of Jesus. Baseta kapola kandera basanda. Enough is enough. There must be a fight. The violent angels of God must fight for you. Jesus name we pray Say tonight Every witchcraft bird Fly against me Shut down In the name of Jesus
In Jesus name we pray. That sister who has been having trouble in the breast. Check it very well. Because the arrow has gone back to the senders. Don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Find a way to the altar very quickly. That's right. The powers that have been sitting on your backbone and physically pressing your wound. Look at what is happening now. That evil hand has withered. <laughs> Father, I thank you for your children that you have healed. I cover their testimony with the blood of Jesus. Cover their miracles with the blood of Jesus. Your word says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. By the word of your testimony, you are set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat now unless you have a testimony to share with us. Those of you with testimony, remain where you are. That's right. But don't hide what God has done for you so that the enemy will not bring it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Three prayers. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came with violence and with fire please don't negotiate with these prayers every enemy that came while I was sleeping your time is up in the name of Jesus pray this prayer beloved Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That person that came out with the issue of blood, go and check your body now. That evil flow has stopped. There's somebody here today who you quite a large sum of money. The last one I should tell you that before next Sunday, they shall pay up what they are who you. That's right. Say this again loud and clear. Pharaoh of my father's house, sink in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. Command the Pharaoh to sink. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now with your two hands raised up, you will now decree this. Anti-prosperity chains. I and is not your candidate. Break! In the name of Jesus. Break it! Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. It's a woman here. Your fallopian tube was cut off, but a new one has come into position. There is someone here tonight. Those powers that have been frustrating you. Have been completely destroyed. Yes. The power of paralysis that has been harassing somebody here. That arrow has gone back to the senders. Yes. Makate Satende. Riba Sapira Katenda. Aha. with a voice that is louder than that of anyone here it is time to kill some powers say power behind my problem what are you waiting for yeah! 
in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. Repeal the katasatanda. Receive the touch of God. Receive it. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Silence. The power of God. It's about to fall on 40 percent right there where you are there are witchcraft sponsored infirmities in your body but when i count seven from here which is a sign of perfection the supernatural power of god will fall upon you your body will begin to shake and the infirmity will disappear in the name which is above all names i order all these problems to depart in the name of jesus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Whatever you cannot do before you got here, you need to do so now. The power of God is falling on that person over there. That's right. Every arrow in the brain, the arrow in the chest, the arrow in the eyes, the arrow in the womb, they are going out, they are going out. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, yes, my papa said in the Silence, silence, silence. I'm going to count another seven from here, and five things will begin to happen to those who are experiencing the following strangulating powers strangulating your life strangulating your health strangulating your finances the agenda of stagnation and spirits controlling your life in a negative way and the circular powers that is circulating you around the problem and blood polluting powers all their five arrows will go back to them the power of god will fall upon you you may not be able to stand on your feet in the name which is above all names jesus christ the son of the living god receive your breakthrough now one two three four five six seven yes that's the power of god coming upon you aha Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Many stubborn situations have disappeared. Check your body now. If you find that the healing power of God has touched you, run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the enemy put it back on you. If you have checked your body very well and you are sure, if you are not sure, they will send you back to your seat. Find a way quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put it back on you now you will now pray this prayer which also has helped millions all over the world every owner of evil load hear the word of the lord carry your lord in the name of jesus
Jesus. Look at this, look at that. That's right. This is not a debt to negotiate. Don't negotiate at all. That's the amazing power of God. Amazing power of God. Amazing power of God. Amazing power of God. Jesus. Jesus. Look at what is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Who is Bola Day here? Your name is Bola Day. If you are Bola Day, find a way to this place. You have lived in the place before. This is how you are going to know yourself. You have lived in the place before where there was a well at the back of the house. You don't live there any longer. But all your virtues are in that well. Right there where you are. Your virtues that have been stolen by the demon in that well is restored back to you now. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Aha. The powers that wants to make me a laughing stock. Can you shout it loud? Before we share the grace here. In the name of Jesus. Yes! Powers that want me to be a laughing stock. Deal with them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, day you may go back to your seat. Before 10 days, all your sorrows of the past will have been wiped away. Make sure you share your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have seven prayers to pray for all who are gathered here today. And don't go home until you have received those seven prayers. Meanwhile, pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Peace and the Lord of Lords. Point your two hands to this altar as I make these seven prophetic proclamations. Make sure you connect your life to it, and when you begin to experience the manifestation, make sure you testify. I'm praying for somebody here that beginning from now, they will be hunting you around for money and business. In the name of Jesus, they will be hunting for you to give you money to give you business in the name of jesus i'm praying for somebody here the toiling powers the hard labor powers that has been escorting the journey of your life is buried completely tonight in the name of jesus I'm praying for somebody here that divine favor shall arise and bombard you. In the name of Jesus. Every part of the body that has stopped working in anybody's life. Come alive now! In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for somebody here. From the hands of those who are saying, over their dead body will you prosper? Over their dead body will you marry? Over their dead bodies will you do well? Receive your breakthrough now in the name of Jesus. Light your ammo, roar like thunder. Center. I'm praying for somebody here. The God of suddenly shall arise for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Every manipulation against your destiny shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Silence now. A surgery is taking place in the brain of a young lady. You were very bright before. All of a sudden. It's as if you can't remember anything. As if your brain has been taken out. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And your stolen brain is coming back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I say, man, I call Rufus. If you are Rufus, find a way quickly to the altar. You are going to know yourself because you are from a polygamous home. All the witchcraft powers of the polygamy of your father's house, they are buried in any virtue you may have. But thank God you are here tonight and it's working in the supernatural. Beginning from tonight, that which has been stolen is coming back to you now. If your name is Rufus. Find a way to this altar. Be on your knees. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the final prayer you are going to pray before you go home. Pray it with fire and with power. With fire and with power. Shout this louder than anyone here. In my dream tonight. Oh, heaven. Appear. In the name of Jesus. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Amen. Now, with boiling anger. Sisters, are you here this morning? Let me hear the sister shouting, amen. amen. Sisters, say this after me. Say, Kovum powers from my place of birth. Can I hear the sisters shouting that? Sisters, are you afraid to pray this prayer? Let the brothers roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Open your mouth, open your mouth. This is why you are here. Makapota Satila Katanda Yaba. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Destroy the covenant powers. Scatter them in this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By fire, by force, I am moving forward. By fire, by force, I am moving forward. 
by fire by force, I am moving forward. By fire by force, I am moving forward. By fire by force, I am moving forward. Oh yes! By fire by force, I am moving forward. By fire by force, I am moving forward. By fire by force, I am moving forward. Yes, yes. By fire by force, I am moving forward. By fire by force, I am moving forward. Can you raise up your right hand and shout this louder? The louder, the faster the Almighty will fall upon you. My real me. Hear the cry from heaven. Manifest in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say. It. Mapata satilaka Riba sopanda kaya bo shancharaba Balakatanda rabo sopola kaya bo shancharaba My real me Hear the cry from heaven Manifest, manifest In Jesus name we pray Raise up your right hand in anger again Say wicked devourers Expire in the name of Jesus. Let your voice roar like thunder. Command them to expire. In Jesus' name we pray. You will raise up your voice like thunder and like fire. Please don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Go lie out of my father's house. Your time is up. Die. In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up. In Jesus' name we pray. Enough is enough. Say this louder than anyone here. Wicked power. Confronting my destiny. I stone you dead. In the name of Jesus. Stone them dead. Stone them dead. In Jesus' name we pray. Any evil bird. Carry 
carrying message against me and my family. Can I hear you shouting this loud? In the name of Jesus, kill the birds. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every cloud sign to bring wicked rain upon my head can you say that loud scatter in the name of Jesus that's right Jesus name we pray now you now decree the Bible says any tree that the father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire you will now say this loud and clear every load of the enemy in my life go back to your sender go back to your sender Open your mouth and pray like that. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray these prayers. Pray it from your heart. My life. Hear the word of the Lord. Go forward by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for your life to move forward. Go forward by fire. In Jesus name we pray. So every power. Holding my instrument of advancement. Release it now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to claim your instruments of advancement. In Jesus name we pray. Any evil hand. Pointed at my destiny. Dry up. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree that one too. Makate sete ya In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of shame backfire. In the name of Jesus, masikatende ya boshenda rabakanda. In Jesus' name we pray. So every power planning my demotion. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Jesus is here. In Jesus' name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Alright! Let my story change! In the name of Jesus! Command your story to change! To change! Ribo Piali Katandaraba! In Jesus' name we pray! Say this after me loud and clear. Every power, Every power that hates to see me laugh. Die! 
In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Something must happen in your life in this morning service. Ba setin da kali kaya bo shendera ba santa. Yes. Spirit of the living God. By the power and the anointing that break at every yoke. Move. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every power attacking my dreams. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bakate sateli kayaba. Daribo kapanda kente ya boshente. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every dark power targeting my star. In the name of Jesus. Piata Satila Kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you raise up your right hand? And shout this for as long as your voice can carry you. Powers of my father's heart. Assigned to bury my star. In the name of Jesus. Basantila Kate Yaboshenda Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. As I ask you to pray. There must be no negotiation. The time for negotiation is gone. They must release you. Your star must shine. And it must shine on time, on time. It must shine on time. What's the use of building a new house when you are already 90 years old? For how many years will you live inside the house? With violence in your spirit. And with merciless cry, shout this loud. Evil wise man, pursue my star. Down! In the name of Jesus. Batasa ilikatendia. Ribo sopende keya bo shente rabaraba. Yes. Bakapota satandaka. Ribo sopende keya bo shente raba. Barika tanda kaya ba. Ribo piyala kaya bo shente. Yes. Jesus name we pray I like you to double your aggression something's about to happen now something that will change some people's life forever it's about to happen now 
every power padlocking my star. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Riapasati la katanda. Yes. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Uh-huh, that's better. That peppery feeling you are having all over your body. The arrow has gone back to the center. There are 25 persons here. As a result of the prayer you are praying now, money is rushing into your hands. In millions. Yes. And you are going to give this testimony. Aha. There are those who are here. And you are not dreaming at all. Because the enemy does not want you to remember those dreams. The evil cloud upon your spiritual monitor. The prayer you are praying now has cleared them away. There is a group of people here. Anytime you have a good dream, it does not happen. But when you have a bad dream, it happens. You have been delivered right now. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, sister over there. The demon behind your painful menstruation and that lower abdominal pain is coming out. Every power attacking my star. Run mad in the name of Jesus. Yes. Something is happening over there. Yes, enough is enough. But Santa Kaya Bosantara Bosanta. Jesus name we pray Amen There is someone in this meeting There is a person somewhere Who is praying satanic prayer Against you every night naked If the person does it again tonight The person shall die Star swallowers of my father's house in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
now prophetically prophetically the bible says i've given unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and to tread upon every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you as you are praying this prayer if you want to trample trample if you want to jump on, on their head jump on their head as you are praying this particular prayer but this prayer will bring great deliverance to you shout this louder than anyone around you stop assassins assign against me I crush your head in the name of Jesus open your mouth just open your mouth and begin to pray begin to crush them that's right crush their heads Something is happening now, something is happening now. Crush the head of their serpents and scorpions. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Sing this song louder than anyone around you. Sing it loud. Who is like unto thee? Oh, oh, oh. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, I am the God who is like me. You are glorious in holiness and fearful in truth. Always do be wonders I eyes closed a lot of transactions are taking place stars are being recovered it is my turn to shine it is my turn to shine it is my turn it is my turn I will arise and shine in Jesus name Jesus name right on I will arise I will arise I it is my turn hallelujah oh yes oh yes it is my turn it is it is my turn. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yon, 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 yon. It is my turn to shine. It is my turn to shine. It is my turn. It is my turn. 
I will arise and shine. In Jesus' name. It is my turn. I will arise. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let these hands that are stretched here become the hands of recovery the hands of fire the hands of power the hands of glory in the name of Jesus lay the hands upon your head and begin to bless your life with all kinds of bless bless your life with all kinds of blessings thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bakate la kate sente. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say so every hour. Fired into my star. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. So every power toying with my destiny, you are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, they must not toy with your destiny anymore. Enough is enough. Jesus name we pray now pray this prayer every witchcraft altar in my compound every witchcraft altar in my compound catch fire in the name of Jesus Masanda kiyabo baka sente yabo shanda riba sapi ali katanda baka tenda yabo shente raba. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I'm also praying here for these sisters. Their name had been written down for greatness. But the virtue to make them great has been captured by water spirit. Those sisters, Lord, instantly now, by the fire of your power, let them begin to receive deliverance. In the name of Jesus, be set free, 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 be set free. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Silence. You, that spirit, arguing there that it was her mother that handed her over. Shut up and get out. In the name of Jesus. (laughs) 
Say this loud and clear. Say powers mocking my prayers. Down in the name of Jesus. Mapiali kasatia naribo kopande kaya boshanta. Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Ah, uh-huh. wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying for anyone here who, although you don't know, has been tied down in the spirit realm, and they are feeding you with all kinds of evil materials by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive your freedom now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. It is a tragedy to be a commodity in the market and you don't know. It is a tragedy. A major disaster. For someone to be using your problems to make money. I pray that the power of God will arise and frustrate any power trading with any soul. <laughs> Father, arise in the thunder of your power and tear down every marketplace trading in anybody's soul. <laughs> marketplaces of darkness! <laughs> Trouble in my life! Catch fire! In the name of Jesus! Let your voice roar like thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Yes or no? Yes. There is a satanic industry of soul enchantment. The human soul is a priceless treasure. It is the real you. The Bible says, your soul is more valuable than the old world. So what shall it profit a man? Gains the old world and loses his soul. When your soul has been traded in the market of the merchants of the earth, you'll be having noisy ears, seizures, blinding headaches, expectations always cut off. Sometimes you feel lifeless. Sometimes when you wake up, your body gets draggy as if you should not stand up on that bed. Then you notice that those you taught how to do some businesses, they are doing better. Those you taught to pass exam, they are doing better. You are behind. You find that you are losing important things unexplainably. Like multiplication of yokes and uncommon abuse. Find good roads just closing and closing. You wake up in the morning feeling used and battered. Tragedy occurs and road closes when something good is about to happen to you. Sometimes you are sleeping and you are talking and people are hearing you, but you don't know you are talking. The person will be qualified for a high position, but they will relegate you to the background. The person will have plenty of blessings from the Lord that should make him surrender his life to the Lord, but the person will not surrender to Jesus. The person comes to church, but there is no steering of the Holy Ghost. The person will be seeing slow, slow animals in the dreams, snakes, tortoises. Such people find it difficult to detach themselves from a former boyfriend, a former sinner friend, a former girlfriend, though they are now married. Concentration becomes difficult. Or the person begins to see somebody looking like them in the dream, a twin substitute. And you find that they are summoning you to all kinds of meetings and courts in the dream. It shows they are trading with you. How do we get out? You need to make God your friend by surrendering your life to Jesus. That's key number one. Key number two. You need a diagnosis. Know that something is wrong somewhere. When you have a good diagnosis, then you can get good treatment. Admit that something is wrong somewhere. Then number three, address the soul merchants. Four, set their markets ablaze. Five, repossess your virtues they've stolen. Some they have started stealing since the person was in the womb. And last one, you barricade your life. That's the way out. And that's the way to deliver yourself. One man got born again in Mountain of Fire many years ago. He was an occultic man before he got born again. And normally when he comes to services, he's always very happy, jumping up and singing praise worship. 
But that day he came to the service, he was looking very down. I said, why? What's the matter? He said, when he was coming to church, he met a boy under Ido Bridge. Then he remembered that when they were naming the boy as a small boy, that it was in the occult then, there were seven stars on the head of the boy. That himself and his colleagues who were there, they took away the stars and shared it. That now he could see the boy under the bridge, he felt bad. Rise up on your feet. Tear their market down. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this day, and you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, you cannot be delivered from any soul trader. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, don't waste time because we need to go and pray. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Run quickly to the altar here, or any of the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you here. Make today a day that your destiny will never forget. Run quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Jesus is waiting for you. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. Hold it up, hold it up. We want to go and pray. The gift of love, the crucified, the love that shines in my sin. of you at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just close your eyes. Bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. I know that you sent Jesus to die for my sins. Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Lay your hands upon them. Keep them standing by your power. The decision they've taken to let it be permanent in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. The counselors right there where you are will address you. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord at anything in your life that will make the merchants of the earth to prosper that the Lord should forgive you talk to the Lord quietly Hey!
Let's rise up on our feet, please. Pick any song of praises in your mouth where you are and sing it loud and clear because of the great deliverance you are going to experience. Any song of praises, sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. If you have any infirmity in your body, this is the time to lay your hands on it. If you have more than one infirmity in your body, lay your hands on your chest. If you want to stand a gap for somebody who is not here, lay your hands on your chest too. And let your image be dynamic as I pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is written 
that you yourself bore our infirmity and took away our sicknesses. The chastisement of our peace is upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. Every spirit of infirmity, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every tree that the Father has not planted into anybody's lives be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. The curse of infirmity be broken to pieces now in the name of Jesus. The infirmity in the head, the one in the eyes, the one in the breast, the one in the womb, the one in the legs. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Check your body now. Do whatever you are not able to do before. Whatever organ in your body you cannot use, begin to use it. If you cannot bend, bend. If you cannot hear, hear. If you cannot see, see. If you cannot walk, walk. Let the power of God come upon you where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Can you shout this louder than anyone in this auditorium? Oh God, Allah! Is that the loudest you can shout it? And let every power trade you with my soul. Die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare Yes. Aha. Aha. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is about to happen. Some people that have been written off by men, they are about to possess their possession. Some people who are always having bad luck. They are about to possess their possession. <laughs> Any market place of darkness. <laughs> Toy with my destiny. <laughs> Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Masika tenda yabo shende rabo somponde ke yabo shente Yes. Jesus. 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 Louder, 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 louder. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power behind my problem. Your time is up. Death. In the name of Jesus. Masapi ali katanda kaya bo shenteraba. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your hands upon your head. Any arrow affecting my brain, can you shout it loud? Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.
many years back when you were small an evil decision was taken to ensure that you live in poverty all your days but once that wind begins to blow now and it strikes you you may not be able to stand on your feet but that is bye bye to poverty forever your virtue that was transferred will come rushing back to you your money that was stolen will come running back to you your children that were stolen will come rushing back to you the wind of the holy spirit Yes, as the wind of the power of God. He's blowing now, he's blowing now, he's blowing. Yes, he's blowing. Aha. That's number one. Number two, number three. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Enough is enough. Fifty, sixty. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say, powers blocking my laughter. Damn! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm praying. For anyone in this gathering now whose soul is in any market of darkness, I am praying right now for any parent here whose children are in the market of darkness by the power that delivered Daniel from the lion's death. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Anyone here that there are some other people using your virtue to prosper? Collect your virtue back. Collect it. Collect it. Collect it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Aha, that's wonderful. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now stretch forward your two hands. Then you will issue a command. Make sure the command is violent and aggressive. Say, blessings of my life. With the merchants of the earth. Come back now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Seven Jericho destroying, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this loud and clear. Powers of the night. Assigned to waste my destiny. Can I hear the sisters shouting this loud? Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. Let me hear the brothers shouting it now. Everybody together now. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Something is happening now. There must be healing. There must be deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. 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 The power of God. In the name of Jesus. Mapotari Katalaka Ribosom Pondeke Aboshanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, My Father, have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus. Ask for divine mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this like Jabez in the Bible? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Alas! Enlarge my coast. Can you shout it loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and ask for the enlargement. Bopari kasa alikanda, ribo saponda kaya bo shanta. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Jesus name we pray things are happening now miracles that will shock doctors happen now new set of organs are getting to the body all that attack you have been having the attacks are going back to the center that breakthrough that have been denied for a long time which has made you to be fasting since two days that breakthrough has come into your hands now. That's right. The mark of hatred upon your destiny has been wiped off. Every power that hates my happiness. Can I hear you shouting that? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. Dad! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Patasila Kaya Bushan. Deal with that power now. Deal with that power now. Something is happening here. Something is happening here. Every power that hates my happiness, die. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Silence. Father, I'm praying for those who are here this morning and they are laboring under curses. Let the power in the blood of Jesus fall upon such people now. Let the curses be broken. Let them 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 be broken. In the name of Jesus. Now with your own mouth. With your own mouth. Not allow anybody's voice to be louder than yours. We now shout this prophetic prayer. Powers behind my problems. Hear 
the word of the Lord. Can I hear you shouting that? Say it again. Die. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Move. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, ah, that cancer has just dried up. Yes, thank you, Jesus. The powers that have been polluting your body, those powers have been sent out now. Say, so every power digging a grave for me, enter by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and put them into the pit. I intend to the grave you are digging. Jesus name we pray can you shout this after me loud and clear my father contend with them who contend with me can I hear the sister shouting that sisters your voice is not loud enough Brothers, let your voice be loud. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Contend with them who contend with me. Contend with them who contend with me. Aha! Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Jesus is here. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha! That's better. That's better. That's better. Satanic surveillance over my life. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Die by fire! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the surveillance of darkness. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. This is Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry. Masikatende Kayabo Shandera Basa. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, 
visible and invisible wall against my breakthrough. Can you shout that loud? Let your voice roar like thunder. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bakapata Santa la Kayaba. E Jesus name we pray thank you Jesus can you shout this loud and clear every rage of darkness of my father's arm of my mother's arm can you shout this loud Your voice is not loud at all. Your voice is still not loud at all. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Jesus Ma katenda ya bo shentera bo sotonde ke ya ba Aha 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 Yes Thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Wakapada katanda rakayaba. Riba sapanda kayaba shantaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Rage of household wickedness. Against my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here this morning. Bo sente kaya bo sente ra bo kopola baraba. Da sente ndi katende kaya bo shanta. Riba sopali katende kaya bo shanta. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh huh. Yes. Wickedness in my dream. Can you shout that loud? Fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. That's why Jesus brought you here. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your healing now. Jesus. Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say powers. 
shedding blood to catch me. Can you shout it loud? Can you say it louder than this? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. That's good. Say so powers carrying sacrifices to catch me. In the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive them. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now with a voice louder than anyone close to you. The Lord said this prayer. Within the next 10 days. Will bring multitude of breakthroughs. Can you shout this loud and clear. My stolen virtues. Come back. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus. Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Say any power, power. fly to arrest my progress. Power. And you shout this loud. Fall down and down in the name of Jesus. Yes, today is today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, uh -huh, that's good. Say, thou power of reproach. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. I'll put your mouth and declare Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So any problem programmed into my life to ridicule me. Can you say that loud? Backfire by fire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Backfire by fire. Backfire by fire. Backfire by fire. In Jesus' name we pray.
This next three prayer points, you need boiling anger to pray them to conclusion. It's not a prayer of gentleman. Agents of the grave appearing in my dreams. In the name of Jesus. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is happening now. Say, vision killers. I stop you before you stop me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that I want you. Kill the vision killers. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Say anything buried to bury me. Can you shout this with only anger? Your voice is not loud enough. There is a man over there who needs to shout this loud. Bury your honor in the name of Jesus. name we pray say my father perfect everything that concerns me in the name of Jesus perfect everything that concerns me in Jesus name we pray pray this prayer on your head your head every power anointed to waste my head shout it loud Die! in the name of Jesus Something is happening right now. Jesus. Jesus. Masepela Kayabo Shantaraba. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you see what is happening now. I told you. Grab your head, grab your head. Arrows of untimely death. Fired into my brain. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. This is not a day to negotiate. We are not here for negotiations. Come out, come out, come out of the head. Come out, 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 come out. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Silence, beloved. You, the arrow of darkness, of infirmity, of death, already fired inside any head here or those watching us anywhere. I release the volcanic fire of the Holy Spirit into such heads now. And I pursue out those arrows by the power in the blood of Jesus. Get out now! 
in the name of Jesus. Grab the head, grab the head. Say, my head. Hear the word of the Lord. Our lives are shine. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray seven persons who pray that prayer before the next palm of changes they shall have testimony of uncommon promotion thank you Jesus uncommon promotion thank you Jesus now a lot of people are fighting some problems they cannot master it they cannot understand it once you see a problem you cannot master it you don't understand it it's likely you are operating under a curse as you pray this next prayer any curse under which you labor shall be broken to pieces thank you jesus Say every curse walking against my head. Pray in the name of Jesus. name we pray silence that thing that has been crawling along the lower abdomen of somebody is coming out now I prophesy upon your life here this morning any power opening the door of your life to the enemy shall die let your amen roar like thunder I prophesy upon your life every ladder inviting the enemy shall die. A sevenfold amen. Every enemy that wants to terminate your life, they shall destroy themselves. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say, I receive the anointing to become untouchable by the power in the blood of Jesus. I receive the anointing to become untouchable by the power in the blood of Jesus shout it three times I want you to sing this warfare song. Warfare song. Don't negotiate with the enemy as you sing this song. Don't care what the enemy thinks. 
If you have an enemy that wants to bite you without remnant, you too should use your most potent weapon to address those kind of enemies. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Fall down and die in Jesus' name. Stop on Goliath. Fall down and die. Fall down and die in Jesus' name. Stop on Goliath. Fall down. Hallelujah. Fall down and die. Oh, yes. Of Elijah, send down fire. What of Elijah, send down fire. What of Elijah, send down fire. What of Elijah, send down fire. Hallelujah. All shakeable must be shaken. All movable keep on moving. I'm serving a God of fire. All shakeable must be Hallelujah. All shakeable must be shaken. All movable keep on moving. Hallelujah. I'm serving the God of fire. Yes. All shakeable must be shaken. Hallelujah. All shakeable must be shaken. All movable keep on moving. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. ready now. Say any power assigned to use me as sacrifice. Can you shout this with only anger? Your voice is not loud enough. Damn! In the name of Jesus. There must be no negotiation. In Jesus' name we pray. Say any sickness assigned to waste my life. Please, if you have any sickness in your body, this is your prayer. Don't negotiate with the enemy in this prayer at all. Can I hear the sister saying, Any sickness assigned to waste my life? 
Let your voice be loud. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the sickness now. I refuse to be wasted. Yes. Makate setende ke yaboshende. Yes, receive your healing. 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 Aha! 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 Jesus name we pray. Aha. Uh-huh. Check your body now. Find that that infirmity has gone back to the senders. Say, Pharaoh of my life. Is that the Lord is going to shout? Run to the Red Sea. Perish. Can I hear you say that again? Let your voice be louder than that. Let your voice be even louder than that. In the name of Jesus. He will the Pharaoh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody said with a lame hand and a lame leg, the injection of the wicked that has made the hand lame and the leg lame has come back to the senders. You, that person, use that hand. You have not been using it, use it. You have not been using the leg, use it. And immediately the hand and the leg begins to walk. Use it to run quickly to the altar here so that the enemy will not put it back. There is somebody being healed from internal rotting bone. The enemy has been eating your bone. Fire is falling upon you where you are. And the yoke of the enemy inside your bone is broken to pieces. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. That concussion that you have swallowed, that has been working against your destiny, is coming out. It's coming out. Aha, aha, aha. Matanda bosapia. That's right. That cloudiness in your eyes. Cloudiness in your eyes. Power of God is falling upon those eyes. And right there where you are, even if you could not see us here at the front before, as you open those eyes now, you shall see us clearly. The power of God is coming upon you. If you are that person, your eyes are now are now clear. Run quickly to the altar here. That's right. You powers that have been waiting for this person at the embassies and disgracing you there. The days of disgrace are over. You the spider of darkness and cobweb of darkness on the body and soul and spirit of this person. Clear away by fire. In the name of Jesus. That person over there, the enemy has been stealing your ear. That is restoration taking place now. Now this particular prayer, please I beg you, if it's the final prayer, we are going to pray it today, I don't mind. But pray it with reckless abandon. Don't let the voice of the next person to you be louder than yours. If you can hear his voice, it means you are not praying yet. This is a very, very serious matter. Can you shout this loud? Powers of my father's house! Can you shout it loud? I sign to waste my destiny. In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Botala kaya bo shende rabo sopola ba, bo katenda rabo sonto ya bo shente. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, dark power! Assign to redesign my destiny. Can you shout it loud? Dark! In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be redesigned by dark powers. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray that's wonderful at the count of seven from this altar the demons attach to your family name the demon attached to your family idol that has been troubling you if they are around you they are by the time I say seven they will pack all their luggages and depart from you instantly it's possible that in their departure you may not be able to stand on your feet don't worry whatever happens to you is healing for you in the name which is above all names jesus christ the son of the living god all powers attached to any family idol any family name troubling anyone here at the count of seven which is a sign of perfection you have to pack all your loads and depart from where you are hiding. For it is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they are afraid out of their close places. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I don't care whether they are from the waters. Let her go. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. It's happening. Aha. I'm not asking you whether you are the spirit husband or not. Or whether you are the spirit wife. I say let go. In the name of Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, they can't hide anymore. Shout this prayer louder than anyone around you. If you are looking for a financial breakthrough, pray this prayer well. Even if you don't understand it, pray it well. The psalmist said, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. The Bible says, For the Lord that God has anointed you with the oil of gladness. There is a divine oil that is a satanic oil. Can you shout this loud and clear? Satanic oil upon my head, dry up in the name of Jesus, dry it up. Jesus, aha. Jesus' name we pray. Ah, ah, that's better. That's better. The concussion that you drank as a baby that is controlling your destiny is coming out. Aha. Uh-huh. 
negative dedication upon my life. Death! In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Number four now. Dedication that swallows virtues. Can you say that loud and clear? Dedication that wastes opportunities. Dedication that swallows virtues. Dedication that waste opportunities. Can I hear you shouting those two things? Uh huh. Say it again. Break in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha! 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 Bakate seke! In Jesus' name we pray. Dedication that invites untimely death. Hey, I want you to shout this one loud, oh! Let your voice roar like thunder! Death! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is happening now. Dedication that speaks against my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray idol power of my father's heart blocking my breakthroughs can you say that loud you are a liar Dead! in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Perfect silence. There is a lot of freedom taking place. That's right. That's right. You infirmity assigned by witchcraft. Come out. Through the mouth. Through the nose. Through the womb. Out. In the name of Jesus. All those who are here and the evil dedication has assigned you to the tail region of life. You are receiving your freedom now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray prayer now. And you shout. When I say, say amen, you shout a sevenfold 
amen. Sevenfold amen. Father, I pray right now that every dedication by evil spiritual parents, every power of unconscious evil name, every power of unconscious hidden name, every dedication dragging anybody to the tail region, every dedication that speaks against breakthroughs in any life here today, expire in the name of Jesus! Sevenfold amen. Another sevenfold amen. Now pick a song of praises and begin to sing it to the glory of the name of the Lord. Any song of praises, just sing it to the glory of Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How great is our God, how great is His name, how great is His love, forever the same, He will back to the all times of the night red sea, and He said, I never leave, I should trust in Him. Amen. Calling my name in the coven. Can you shout it loud? Before 24 hours. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Bapata sente la kaya boshanda. In Jesus name we pray. Huh. That's better. Every serpent anointed by witch doctors against me. Can I hear you saying that? If you are not afraid, can you raise your voice like thunder? Bite your sender! In the name of Jesus! Mapata certain de Kaya Boshende Raba. In Jesus' name we pray. So fountain of sickness in my body. I kill you now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Kill the fountain of sickness. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power waiting for my obituary 
can you shout that with anger? You are a liar. There! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, as I shake my head now, I shake back to the sender every arrow of death. Can you say that three times? Mm-hmm. Say it the second time. Shake back to the sender. Say it the third time. Now begin to shake that head. Check it vigorously. Check out the plantation of darkness. Amen. Now with a voice that roar like thunder, to every killing power. Sign against my destiny. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Every power assigned to kill my wife. Death in the name of Jesus. Yes, prophesy. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, with this offering, I possess milk and honey. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and possess the milk and the honey. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, let this offering bring your children on common breakthroughs. In your arms upon your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, powers of my father's house. Blocking my laughter. Can I hear the sisters shouting this loud? Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. <laughs> Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. <laughs> Everybody together now. <laughs> Die! In the name of Jesus.
Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Let anger boil in your spirit as you shout this loud and clear. If you don't understand the prayer, don't worry, just pray it. Every covenanted problem. Can you shout his loud? Break my fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray you will pray one of the most powerful prayer in scripture oh God our Lord. your voice is not loud enough have mercy on me in the name of Jesus open your mouth and ask for divine mercy Mercy, mercy, mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Inherited spoilers. Your time is up. And you shout it loud. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me very carefully, beloved. Everything you want to do here, you want to do it in a military fashion. The arm of God has been stretched forth. It is now for you to put your hand in his hand. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. You have a lot of work to do here that will bring you a divine turnaround. Raise your right hand to the heavenlies and declare this loud and clear every power assigned to derail my destiny you are a liar Day in the name of Jesus I refuse to be derailed Jesus name we pray there are many kinds of families there are some families who are under the curse of nothing is going to work there are some families where all the women there must marry wizards there are some families when the men get to very high level something brings them down there are some families they have inherited back with wounds there's no matter how much money comes into their hands they will eventually relocate themselves back to poverty. You will shout this loud and clear. Shout it louder than anyone around you. I receive power! 
Don't you write my family history for good. <laughs> Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Power to the right it. to rewrite your family is to for good. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this one. I want you to pray with violent aggression. The Bible says, Thou shalt be the head and not the tail. Say, thou shall be above and never beneath. Meaning that the two positions are available. You will shout this with boiling anger. Power of the tail. A sign against my life. Death. In the name of Jesus. With the power of the tail, Masika tenda kaya bo shendera bo konta la baraba, banari bo sopo da kaya bo shendera ba. Yes. Show your name loud and clear. Daniel Olukoya. You shall arise above all the unbelievers around you. In the name of Jesus. You shall arise above all the unbelievers around you. Masika poya bo shendera bo In Jesus' name we pray. I have a message for somebody here. The Lord said you are here. They are laughing at you now that you are down. The Lord said you shall bounce back. You shall bounce back. You shall bounce back. You shall bounce back. In the name of Jesus. Every tree of darkness. Holding my money. Can you shout this loud and clear? Jesus. That's right. Masekaya bo shendera bo kosenta. In Jesus name we pray. Marim warehouse. Kajin my blessing. Can I hear you shouting it loud and clear? Release them by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, Masekaya Boshenderaba. Right. In Jesus' name we pray. The early chain binding my finances. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Break the chain. Aha. 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 Break the chain. In Jesus' name we pray. Say 
ladies louder than anyone close to you by your power of signs and wonders visit me can you say this loud and clear in the name of Jesus by your power of signs and wonders oh God arise and visit me and visit me and visit me in Jesus name we pray Raise up your right hand and shout this with powerful aggression. My project of prosperity is all the loudest you are going to shout it here today. If I have abandoned you, come back in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And this prayer will begin its manifestation even right away. My project of prosperity will you appear in the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 name we pray you will shout this with boiling anger my father if I have missed my way bring me back in the name of Jesus name we pray a boy a small boy was given 500 naira note but an adult wanted to take the money away from him he now held a piece of biscuit which is less than 10 copper I said take give me the paper take the little boy dropped the 500 naira note and he took the biscuit he traded his wealth for 10 cup of biscuits. Why? Ignorance. Ignorance. The enemy oppressed a primitive trade by battle. There are some spirits that deceive people to exchange their virtue. They exchange it. Many have lost their own since they were little girls, little boys. There were some, even as they were born, they used to see so the spirit realm, but they don't say anything again, it's been stolen away. Some, when they were younger, if they say, I want to sell Logi, I want to sell this, immediately they bring their works, their wares out. People buy everything up very quickly. Now that anointing has disappeared. It's been stolen. Somebody who saw it in them was able to get it out of their lives. Every power that has stolen from me. Yeah. 
in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it we pray now there are these three prayers I want you to pray if you love yourself please pray this very well the first prayer is for us to tell the Lord to hook our head onto his destiny for our lives so that your head will not escape from your divine destiny so, my father Connect my head to my divine destiny. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let my head be connected to it. That's right. Connect my head, connect my head. Connect my head to my divine destiny. In the name of Jesus. Connect my head to my divine destiny. Jesus name we pray that is the end Say, my father connect my legs to my divine road map in the name of Jesus let my legs be connected to my divine road map in the name of Jesus Ah, 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 ah. In Jesus' name we pray. Now the hands. My Father! Connect my hands to my divine functions. In the name of Jesus. Declare it loud and clear. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be a connection by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. There are testimonies attached to each prayer. I beg you to pray from your heart. Oh God, arise! let my story change in the name of Jesus let there be a change of stories from better to best from bad to good in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray stand stop letting powers Program into my heavenlies. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Deal with the start getting powers. Masekaya Moshenderaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Those who are to help me lose your sleep until you help me in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah. In Jesus' name we pray. Making good progress, I told you. Every power closing my book of remembrance. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus' name 
them we pray now this louder than anyone around you every power anointed to bury my wealth can you say this with boiling anger you are a liar Duh! in the name of Jesus Say it with only anger. Last rites. Masekaya boshente raboko sente. Ribo sopende kaya boshente yaba. Yes, say it. Jesus is here. And his power is able to deliver you completely. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say this after me loud and clear. Louder than anyone around you. Foundational poverty. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Morapo da kaseta da kayaba. Mani robo sopende kayebo shenta yaba. Speak, speak from your heart. That's why Jesus brought you here. Don't negotiate with the spirit of poverty. Bless your life. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. My wealth buried in the earth. Can you shout this loud and clear? Come forth in the name of Jesus. Command it to comfort. Yes. Spirit of the living God. Move. Move. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. My words buried in the ground. Buried in the heart. Comfort. 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 Mashika ribo sopondeya. Rabo kosoponde ke yaboshenta. Maribo kosoponde yaboshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. What a strange vision. A strange vision. The Lord took me back to when somebody here was born. I could see the midwife. As they brought you out of the womb, they instead of washing the blood, they, they were licking the blood because they were told that you carried wealth. They were licking the blood. You will say this loud and clear. Every hour of witchcraft fired into my prosperity. Jesus. Look at all this happening. Look at all this happening. Masekatenda kaya bo shente yaba. Barre abo kosente de kaya bo shente. Aha, 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 aha. 
something is happening. Something is happening. Masopokoya bo shente rabaka. Rebo sopende kaya bo shente yaba. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. I'm happy now. I see many dead businesses coming back to life now. Aha. Show this again loud and clear. Garment of poverty. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. The garment must catch fire. It 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 must catch fire. Aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, you financial killer of my father's house. Can you shout it with only anger? I am not your candidate. Devil! In the name of Jesus. Deal with them. Tonight. Pop! Tasakata! Riboko! Bekeshente yaba! Manareabo kosoponde kayaba, Maribo kosoponde kayabo shente yaba, Marabo koponde kapora bosapa, Boribo koponde senta. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say expected and unexpected financial breakthrough. Locate me by fire in the name of Jesus. Name we pray. Poverty activated dreams. A dream comes, it brings in poverty. It's an attack on the kingdom of darkness. Poverty activated dreams. In the word of the Lord, scatter. Jesus, deal with the poverty activator dreams. Yes, yes, yes. Today is today. Something positive must happen in your destiny. Something positive must happen in your destiny. To the glory of the name of the Lord. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your right hand to the heavenly beloved and say this loud and clear. Every imagination against my breakthrough. Can you say that loud and clear? From the Evelis scatter in the name of Jesus, scatter the imagination. Masikaya Boshende Raboko Sente 
command the imagination to scatter in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray making good progress anywhere which is a gathered to stop my progress can you say this loud and clear catch fire in the name of Jesus command the place to catch fire oh yes Jesus, then we pray. Oh God, alive! And let the wild and strange wind in my life scatter. Make it louder than that, beloved. Masotakapo, ribokase. In the name of Jesus, command the wild and strange wind. Don't be scattered, don't be scattered. Scatter the world and strange wind. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say my glory. Arise. Shine above the imagination of my enemies my glory arise shine above the imaginations of my enemies in the name of Jesus my glory arise shine above the imaginations of my enemies Masenteya kaya bo shende rabo santi. In Jesus' name we pray. So every evil sacrifice that I have made with my body expire in the name of Jesus. Command it to expire. sacrifice that I made with my body expire, expire, expire in Jesus name we pray my father crucify my flesh let me be a sacrifice for you in the name of Jesus. Crucify my flesh. Let me be a sacrifice for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this with a tone of finality. My angels of breakthrough take position in all the earth. Can I hear you saying this with a tone of finality? Say it again. And recover my possession. In the name of Jesus, let them take positions. They must take positions. I will recover your breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
a voice that has no respect for the gates of hell you will shout this after me loud and clear dragon of darkness a sign against my lot can you say this loud and clear you know the bible said the lords are falling to me in goodly places there is a portion for your life and a location from heaven whether you get the allocation or not is another story. It is that allocation we're crying for now. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Yeah! In the name of Jesus, deal with the dragon. The dragon has died. In Jesus' name we pray. Please pray this very well. There is physical decay, spiritual decay, financial decay, all kinds of decays. Decay! Disappear! Now! In the name of Jesus! Deal with the case. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. So whatever has troubled me in the past, can you say that loud and clear? Be converted to blessing. In the name of Jesus, whatever has troubled me in the past, be converted to blessings. Be converted to blessings. In Jesus' name we pray I want you to pray this prayer and pray it from your heart say every Judas a sign against my prosperity scatter in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray say so anything in my life can you say that loud and clear that is stealing my uncommon breakthroughs clear away in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray so by the power in the blood of Jesus oh God arise away from me where there is no way in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus Oh God, make a way for me where there is no way. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, chains of darkness. Tie me down to the same spot. In the 
name of Jesus break the chains of darkness and it's tie you down to the same spot break the chain break the chain in the name of Jesus Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I move forward by fire. No power shall pull me down. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. No power shall pull me down. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you raise up your two hands to the heavens and shout this loud and clear? Say it with a loud voice. Overcoming power. Can you say that loud and clear? Dominion prosperity. Overshadow my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it loud and clear. Jesus name we pray shout this loud and clear oh God Allah by your power move upon my life in the name of Jesus begin to declare it now Basenta kaya bo shendera bo kopola karabo santa. Daribo soponde kaya bo shendera bo kopola bakanta rabo santa. Desentende kaya bo shendera bo kola baraba. Pia rika setende kaya ba. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Say shame pass over me. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Command shame to pass over you. Shame, pass over me. I am not your candidate. Pass over, pass over. Pass over me. In Jesus' name we pray. My blessings in captivity. Allah, look at me now. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening now. Yes. Let the blessings look at you now. In Jesus' name we pray. So every power scattering my success. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is a prayer that has to be prayed with utmost seriousness. This next one. Every curse of my father's house. Every curse of my mother's house. Walking against my prosperity. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? A 
I'm sure you can say it louder than that. I'm sure you can see shout it even louder than that. I'm sure you can even shout it louder than that. Curses. Break them. Break them by the power and the blood of Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have any love for your destiny at all, pray this prayer with boiling anger and with holy madness. Say this the way I'm going to say my word. What stopped my father will not stop me. <laughs> you don't understand. Me. Amen. It was what stopped Judah that stopped David that stopped Solomon. The same sexual immorality stopped them. What stop my father will not stop me in the name of Jesus. That's right. Ancestors will not stop me in the name of Jesus. loud and clear. I dip my head in the blood of Jesus. It's an important prayer. Can you say that loud and clear? Say it again! Then you now say, I dip my legs in the blood of Jesus. Keep my head in the blood of Jesus. I keep my legs in the blood of Jesus. Let's say put them out and begin to say it. My head, my legs, I dip them in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. your voice goes away. But <laughs> the Bible does are destroyed. You made a good bargain. Power of praying without results. Can you shout this loud and clear? Power! In the name of Jesus. Command the power of prayer without results to die. In the name of Jesus. Power of prayer without results. I must pray to get results. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Masika pola kaya bo shendera bo kolaba. Ba panta la kasanta. Riba sapanda kaya bo shente ya bo Aha. Jesus, name we pray. 
Say leakage power assigned to my life. Can you say that loud and clear? Somebody needs to shout this with only anger. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Do seke pete la kaya bo shente raba. Bama kampende ke te sepe la kaya bo shente raba. Daribo sepende ke yaba. Mana kantanda kaya bo shente la baka. Deal with the leakage powers. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Masika Pola Kaya Boshente Rabo Kontaraba. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your two hands of the heavenless now. Anointing for breakthroughs. Call upon my heart. In the name of Jesus fall upon my hands in the name of Jesus those hands let them receive the touch of the fire of God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Jesus name we pray. This is a prayer that many have prayed. They prayed it like Jacob. And as they prayed it like Jacob, the miracle that happened to Jacob began to happen in their life. Say, every principality assigned to my breakthroughs. Can you say this loud and clear? I bury you today in the name of Jesus. Você catala coia você. The manner in which you pray those prayers is the manner in which you sing these songs of praises to the Lord for answered prayers. I have a father who will never, never fail. I have a father who will never, never fail. Jesus is my father. He will never, never fail. Rock of ages, never, ever. I have a father. Oh yes, oh yes, I have a father. Oh yes, oh yes. Have a father. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Ah, 
agbara olorun po agbara olorun po o la na sori o fun o wo di jere agbara yes agbara agbara Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your children unto your holy hands. That beginning from now on, the God of the whole world and the God of new things shall enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. Wherever good roads have been blocked, they shall be opened unto you in the name of Jesus. The kind of breakthroughs you have never experienced before. Receive the anointing to experience it now. I decree by the decree of heavens that every power standing by to love you to scorn shall be disgraced. I decree by the decree of heavens that any power that has militating against your breakthrough shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not, possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. I decree that men and women, they will compete to favor you. Any meeting held against your life shall be completely scattered. And this year, the rise of this year, shall be days of testimonies for you. Tragedy shall not move close to your camp. Infirmity shall be far away from you. And you shall have joy and gladness. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We are here tonight for a special visitation of the Almighty. Both in the personal lives of those that are here and in this institution. There is going to be a new wave of the power of God. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Right there where you are, I want you to pay close attention to the few things we're going to do here tonight. Because these few minutes will change your destiny forever. But before we do any other thing, all eyes closed. As an urgent assignment, the Lord asked me to do immediately before we go on before it becomes too late. If you are that person and you are in this meeting tonight and you feel as if somebody has taken your brain away, 
as if the whole of your brain system is now empty, as if nothing is working there. Please, before we just go on, before the enemy concludes your agenda, find a way to the altar here so that we can pray with you before we go on. Because it's, you feel as if somebody just took your brain out. You are here. You, you know what I'm talking about. Just find a way to this altar, be on your knees. Let's quickly deal with that before the enemy concludes anything for you. All of us, we close our eyes. And we're going to raise up our voices like fire and like thunder, especially those of us at the frontier. Say this after me loud and clear. Every agenda, Every agenda of the enemy, of the enemy to, waste my life, to waste my life die, die. in the name of Jesus. We put your mouth and pray like that. Every agenda of the enemy to waste my life die. Masikaya bosapia di katena. There's guys of power of God. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, lay your hands upon these heads. Let every good thing the enemy has siphoned from this head be returned right now. Let the hand of fire come upon that head. And let your brain be restored. Let your memory be restored. In the name of Jesus. Let that be silence now. I can see an operation taking place. The power of God is going from head to head. Particularly those of you at the frontier. Yes. That's the fire. It's burning in the head. That's the fire. That's the fire. It's burning in the head. That's right. That's right. The evil hand that has been laid on your head. Let that evil hand be dashed to pieces. Those of you at the front, shake that head vigorously now. Shake your head vigorously. Shake it. That's right. Shake it. That's right. Shake it. Aha. Yes. Every operation of marine powers upon the head be broken now. Now lay your hands upon these your children. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this evening. We praise the holy name for bringing us here. What a mighty God we serve. We thank you for what you did here on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and what you have been doing here today, and what you are going to do here today. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, minister to us by your power. Amen. Lay your hands upon your people. Amen. And by the time we finish from here, let your glory fill our lives. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shout a loud hallelujah. I'll let you to shake hands with at least four persons. So you are welcome here in Jesus' name. Jesus is going to bless you tonight. I welcome in Jesus' name. Now look for somebody you are not familiar with. Introduce yourself to the person. And say the person you are blessed in Jesus' name. But you are blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Now turn to your friend. Say, my friend. Every obstacle on your way to greatness this year. Every obstacle on your way to greatness. Shall die. In the name of Jesus. Say to your friend. Turn to another person. Turn to another person. Say the same thing. Turn to another person and say the same thing. Shout a loud hallelujah. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Amen. Now, I'd like you to listen very carefully to the few words I want to say here. This message is for so many of us gathered here tonight. I believe you are not here by chance. God brought you here for a purpose. And I believe that that purpose will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. The words I want to speak now and the ministration that will follow is targeted towards one thing. And that's what I call the battle against the wasters. The battle against the wasters. The battle against the wasters. In Nahum chapter 2 verse 2, now, if you if you can't see your Bible, don't worry. I'll read it from here. Now, who is in the Old Testament? Now, who? Chapter two. Verse two. For the Lord hath turned away the excellency of Jacob as the excellency of Israel. Why? For the emptiers have emptied them out and marred their vine branches. There is a power known as the emptier. They wait for you to fill up what you want to fill up and then they empty the person. It is a waster. If you go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16 says, Behold, I've created the smith that blew the coals in the fire, and I bring out forth an instrument for his work, and I've created the waster to destroy. There is a power known as the waster. And the purpose of that power is to waste. To be quite honest with you, if you ask me for one single demon troubling Nigeria, I will say it is this one. Wasters. Talents are being wasted. Lives are being wasted. Opportunities are being wasted. Money is being wasted. Many things are being wasted. The agenda of the waster is a terrible one. And many people are being caged by it. Now in Revelation chapter 12 verse 12. Revelation 12, 12 says, Therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Why? For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that the earth but a short time. The devil is now fighting a last desperate battle. And you know, when a man becomes desperate, desperation introduces some extra energy. It's like a man who is sinking in the water and is getting desperate to go out. His desperation will introduce extra energy. The devil is working over time now and he has changed his gear to number five. And things are happening at such a terrible rate that may be unbelievable to you. I've not been in this country for a while, but well, I was somewhere in Europe, and I phoned somebody in Nigeria. Immediately the phone rang, the person took the phone, and the first thing the person said was, Blood of Jesus! <laughs> uh, 
I said, Madam, any problem? I said, is that I said, yes, sir. I said, but why did you scream? I said, sir, sir. I said, they are using phone to kill people here now. That was the first, he said, was, when I said hello, instead of hello, what I had was blood of Jesus. There is a rage of the wasters going on. If you allow yourself to be wasted, they will gladly do it. Many people have been sent to higher institutions to better their lives, to improve their destiny, and to move forward in life. But instead of them to get facilities, power, knowledge here to move them forward, they have come in to be wasted. And let me be honest with you, there are students in the campuses who are not students. There are agents of darkness pretending to be students living amongst you. Their agenda is to destroy. Their agenda is to capture people, spoil their lives, make sure they don't achieve what they want to achieve, and they get destroyed. In the early 70s, many churches started in Nigeria. Many of these churches, they teach people all kinds of things. They teach them how to name something and claim it and possess it. But they didn't teach them about their foundation. They didn't teach them that every man has a battle to fight. They didn't teach them that since God himself has enemy, you will have enemies. Because the Bible says, let God arise and let all his enemies scatter. So if God has enemies, who are you? They say you don't have. In fact, for you to stand up and say you don't have an enemy means that you're an idiot of unimaginable magnitude. So if you to say, well, I don't have any enemy, nobody is troubling me. I don't need to pray against any power troubling me. What you are saying is that the devil has given you a red card to depart from the field of play. That you are no longer a threat to the enemy. But immediately you begin to live your life the way God wants you to live it. Immediately you begin to move the way God wants you to move it. There will be a rage against you. Uh, some people say, I don't know why they are fighting me. I haven't done anything wrong. You don't have to do anything wrong. Immediately you are doing the right things and you are pursuing your destiny, there will be rage against your life. There is something called envious witchcraft. You don't have to do anything. Just out of pure, simple envy, the enemy will be after you. I want you to understand that your coming here tonight has a purpose. There is a rage of the wasters these days, and it's wasting so many, including young lives. We went to one campus for a crusade, and after the crusade, some people got born again. One fellow was at that crusade, a young boy of 19. I was ministering. He was sitting at the front holding a padlock. He was just locking padlock as I was talking. He was trying to lock my voice. Hey, lock, 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 lock. I continued talking. After finish, I said, Mr. Ma, you can see that that thing you are looking at has no power. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? He did. He now came for prayers. As we started praying for him, I noticed that he was busy pulling away his trousers. He was busy attacking the trousers with aggression. And it was almost going to, we were holding him, it was almost going to hurt those who were holding him because he was tearing away at the trousers. Eventually, I said, let, let's, let him open the trousers. By the time he opened his trousers, beloved, I'm not telling you stories. I don't tell stories. By the time he opened his trousers, by the time we look at his manhood, his penis, on top of that penis was the head of a serpent. It wasn't an ordinary head of manhood again. There was a serpent with a tiny little tongue twitching there. We were looking at it. He was looking at it. We started praying again. The more we prayed, the more he screamed until we anointed that thing that the thing became normal again. And I said, come. Uh, how many guests have you slept with in the campus? Ah. <laughs> they said, well, um, as of a... Uh, <laughs> so as of two weeks ago, I put it at, at the next meet of 27. <laughs> Amen. 
Shout hallelujah. Now tell me, a lady has been sent to the campus to go and better her life. But now she's sleeping with a serpent. She will leave the campus and her life will be upside down. Upside down. Eventually, there are many churches now, when you go there on Sunday, all they do is to dance and display their clothes. You dress anyhow, they are, you are welcome. Right. Those people, they are still coming to pray. Maybe, maybe now. Just like we said in the 70s, that those people are still coming to pray. They didn't believe us. They are busy praying now. Because the enemy has just moved in and has caused a lot of things. Many lives are being wasted. Wasted completely. And many things are being spoiled by the enemy. A waste is worse than a loss. Because loss, well, it's gone. But this one, you already had it, but somebody wasted it. What does it mean to waste? To waste means to render desolate. To waste means to put something to poor use. To waste means to render something profitless. You could have a certificate in your hand, but you could have the certificate wasted even before you got it. So it's already profitless. Find out so many people have certificates that they cannot work with. To waste means to lie unused. To waste means to make something worthless. To waste means to convert something to refuse. To waste is to reject. Reject the thing. To waste means to apply a useful thing to a useless purpose. And just using the life of the person in a useless manner. To waste means to squander. To waste means to damage senselessly. Some years back, I got a strange letter. I was in England at that time. I got a strange letter from a prison yard. And uh, that's, that's, that's my first time at a prison yard. So I went to visit the person that wrote me. I was surprised to see so many Nigerians in jail. And these are not uneducated Nigerians. Doctors, dentists, lawyers, all of them in jail. What did this one do? This one carried drugs. What did that one do? That one did this. What did that one do? It's fraud. What did this one? This one is a prostitute. What did this one do? All in foreign jails. And we so much spoiled our reputation overseas that sometimes when you even get there and say, I'm a pastor, I say, Pastor, come on, they'll search you to your pants. The other time I was going to minister in one of our churches in America and somebody stopped me, the immigration officer stopped me and said, what, what do you want to come and do? I said, I'm a pastor, I'm coming to minister in our churches. And he said, you're a pastor? I said, okay, if you're a pastor, read John 3.16. That shows you the level to which things have gone. To waste means to consume something thoughtlessly, not, not, not thinking at all. You, just, you consume the thing without any thought at all. To waste means to squander, squander the thing. To waste means to dispose something as useless, to render something unemployed, to render it useless. There are many things that people waste in life. But if you must waste everything, that is a particular thing you cannot waste. If you waste that one, it's a serious trouble. You can waste your time. They say a, a great fools waste money, but greatest fool waste time. You can waste your time. You can waste your money. A lot of people waste their money every day. You can waste your family. You can waste your opportunities. You can waste your talent. Can waste your health, can waste your abilities, you can waste your property, you can even waste your anointing if you like. But well, there's one thing you must not waste you must not waste your life and your destiny. If you waste those two things, you are finished completely. It will have been better if the person was not born. There are five major wasters. The first waster is you. You can decide to waste your life. You can decide to waste your life. That is, you know that something is bad. You know it's not good for you. 
for some for some reason you keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it so you are the one responsible you are the architect of your own destruction you could waste yourself and a lot of people are doing that every day wasting themselves wasting themselves many years back they brought a boy to us 1994 he went to a party at the party he met a girl called Funke. he never met this girl before but very beautiful girl they were together they drank they ate they committed immorality they did all kinds of things and after the at the end of the party around 2 a.m he escorted this girl home and he said by tomorrow 11 o'clock i'll come and collect you again they both agreed by next day 11 o'clock this brother was by the house knocking the door he met the first woman and said madam i would like to see funka the woman said eh, can you repeat what you said so i said i want to see funka said, funka ah. so she called other women say hey women in the house come 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 there's somebody here is asking for funka the man was the boy was not the boy didn't know what was going on but all the women came and said you you saw funka he said yes when he said last night at where a party said describe her he described her i said yes that's funka and i said ah young man go and look after yourself funka died three years ago <laughs> it was from that place he fell ill and they brought him for prayers beloved there are strange beings amongst us. If you are the best player in the football team, you know what they do is that they will mark you. They mark you. They may have three defenders who will follow you about. If you move here, they bring you down. Move that, they bring you down. That means it's a marked man. If you have a colorful destiny, you are a marked man. You have a colorful destiny, you are a marked woman. So they've marked you. So once they've marked you, they're looking for a way to derail you, to derail you. Many women who will have been a blessing to our generation, to, our, uh, to the church of God, to, the, to life in general, to the whole world, the enemy marked them. And by the time they are 15, 16, 17, 18, they will sleep with their enemy and get pregnant. And that spoils everything. Some will not sleep with their enemies, but they will abort. And immediately you are bought, the blood of the baby cries against you every day in heaven. And once you are bought, frustration begins to follow you about. Until you repent, do deliverance, and cut it off, and you stop that kind of activity. A, a marked, a marked person. Once you have been marked, you can be sure the whole of hellfire will be pursue you here and there and see where to catch you. But if you remain straight with the Lord, you cannot be caught. So you can decide, like that boy, to waste yourself. I was at the campus crusade years and years back. Uh, you know, campus people are funny people, university students. Wonderful praise worship, powerful singing. And as they handed the microphone over to me, all of a sudden there was a prophecy somewhere at the back. The prophecy said, there is one boy here there is one brother here and there is one sister here they have just finished committing fornication and they are headed they are inside this crusade now if they don't come so that my son who wants to minister tonight can pray for them they will die within seven days hey. there was perfect silence if you drop a pin, you could hear. All the heat just went down. It was they poured cold water on everybody. I was embarrassed too. But while the eyes were closed, I saw a brother crawling to the front. And I saw another sister crawling after him. So it was true. They came. I was surprised. And I said, ah, brother, uh, what happened? Then what that university boy said shocked me. He said, uh, I was forced. They forced me to eat. I said, I, I said they forced you. Are you saying you were raped? <laughs> man, a man telling me he was forced. 
But that's not the end of the story. It's not the end of the story. But by the time I will, I now began to pray for them, and I saw what had gone wrong. That sister was a marked sister. A sister who was meant to be a prophetess unto the Most High. They pushed this enemy to her to pollute her. And I don't think she recovered from that. You can waste yourself. Number two, your enemy can waste you. And that is happening every day. Enemies wasting people, wasting them, wasting them, wasting them. While we were in the secondary school, we had a very brilliant student in our class. He was so brilliant, we used to call him Lai Wuwe. Lai Wuwe means without looking at the book. Lai Wuwe was so bright that in mathematics class, anytime the teacher was working something on the blackboard, I said, what is the logarithm of so, so, and so? We turned to him and said, Lai Wuwe, and he would read it as 0 0.8973 this. And as the teacher continued, and what's the cosine and the tangent? Lie away. He, he had memorized the four figure table. <laughs> when, when school certificate was school certificate, Lie away had seven A's. He went for A levels, four A's. And instantly, he did this uh, Cambridge Oxford A level two, four A's, four straight A's. He won a scholarship abroad. The day that Laiwewe was going to the airport to go and do his course, the family called a party. They celebrated. They rejoiced. But on their way to the airport, this junior sister of Laiwewe bent to his ears and said, eh, Brother, let me tell you something. Take one between your study abroad and your life. Like we thought maybe it was because they served too much beer at the send off party and the girl was drunk. He traveled. Again, when he got to England, he had all the white boys beating hands down. And again, first class. Five days to the graduation ceremony. Like we went to the swimming pool. He was an excellent swimmer, no doubt. Excellent swimmer. He went to this diving board. This that thing they used to bounce upon before they dive down. Like we had been swimming for years, he was the best swimmer even in the school. He won prizes. Only God knew what happened that day. Like we were dying from the diving board and, I, and he missed the waters. And he smashed his head on hard concrete. The head of Like we went to one direction, his brain fell off and came to another direction. Lai Wei was brought home dead. They put the brain in the cell of him bag. Brought him back home. When they brought him to the airport, it was this junior sister rolling on the floor and crying, oh, ah, ah you the wicked that have done this, blah, 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 blah. Years later, I think it was three years ago, I saw this junior sister at our prayer city giving testimony. She had surrendered her life to Jesus. She was the one that killed the brother. That she's now born again. And the mystery of her faith is that God will forgive her. So, life away has been wasted. That brain. But the person who wasted life away is around now. Saying, I'm born again. Close your eyes. Any power... I want to waste my life. My life. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Pastor Abu Santa. It is important for you to pray. Why is he coming back to pray that prayer very well? 
So you can waste yourself. The enemy can waste you. Three, your friends can waste you. Many of us have unfriendly friends who teach us bad things. And some people will not be in the terrible states they are now if they didn't listen to some funny, funny lecture from their friends. Funny, funny lecture from their friends. A girl came to me crying the other time. Say, hey, my friend said that my breasts are too small. I said, and so what? Say, it says because uh, I'm a virgin. I said, and so what? Say, they say, uh, if I begin to, if I disvagin myself and uh, I begin to sleep with men, the breast will become large. I'm getting embarrassed. These breasts are too small. It's a friend giving the lecture. So I said, no, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them, but they're laughing at me, sir. They're, they're, they're laughing at me. They're laughing at me. The next time I saw her, she was in no mood to laugh then because she already had HIV. No mood to laugh. Her friends had advised her so that in order to uh, balloon her breast, <laughs> she should start sleeping with me. So she started and took the wrong one. And that's it. She's not fighting for large breasts now. She's fighting for her life. So your friends can waste you. Any friend that you have that is not adding to your life, leave them. If you have a friend who is subtracting from you instead of adding to you, leave them. You cannot score 100% in mathematics by moving with a friend who scores zero. When you move with the wise, you become wise. You move with the foolish, you become foolish. It's simple. And they say, show me your friends. <laughs> Tell you the kind of person uh, you are. They did some research in England a long time ago about very bright students. They found that many of the bright students don't have too many friends. And that many of those first class people, they look like introverts. They hardly don't talk to anybody. You just talk to their books. So that's so it's one thing for you to waste yourself. It's another thing for the enemy to waste you. It's another thing for your friends to waste you. Number four, the devil can waste you. The Bible says the devil walketh about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Why does the devil have to walk about seeking whom he may devour? Because the devil knows he cannot devour everybody. So he has to seek for those. That he can devour. And I tell you, he finds them easily to devour people. Just finishes them off and, and does that. Devours them and you don't see them anymore. When I was doing my PhD, we, we, we went abroad as poor students. Very poor students. We didn't have too much money. But I was a brother, Ezekiel. Ezekiel came to the hostel one day and he was rejoicing. And he said, hey, my days of suffering are over. I said, what happened? He said, don't worry. I just watch me. Very soon, Ezekiel had a car. With the car. Where will you get money to buy a car? So Ezekiel had a car. Ezekiel was changing his suits, changing his dress, changing everything. I wonder, oh, what has happened to Ezekiel? We didn't know that Ezekiel, who was already married in Nigeria, saw a white girl in a, in a pub, in a bar, and he told the white girl he was not married. And the white girl began to sponsor his education right from that moment. The one day, the wife of Ezekiel wrote a letter from and waited for Ezekiel to come and said, excuse me, you told me you are not married. Who wrote this letter? Uh, Ezekiel said, uh, no, uh, you know, our culture is different from your culture. See, where I come from, when a woman likes you, they write this kind of letter. It's a love letter. The white woman was not convinced. She took the letter and gave it to another Nigerian. I said, if somebody... You are a Nigerian. If somebody writes this kind of letter to you, what does it mean? Ah, the Nigerian says, it means the person is married at home. <laughs> so the white lady got a gun, shot Ezekiel dead, PhD student in economics, and then shot herself. She killed Ezekiel and killed herself. That's all. 
The devil wasted the physical. Then, number five, God himself can waste you. God wasted Sodom and Gomorrah. When he spoke to them, he didn't want to hear. So he wasted them. So many people in the Bible, God just wasted them because what he created them for, they didn't do it, and they were becoming a liability to the Almighty. So he said, let them be wasted. And that's it. They were wasted. Jonah was almost wasted. If you're a good reader of the Bible. God said, go to Nineveh. He said, no. I go to Tashish. Okay. If not for the prayer, he started praying inside the fish. And the dry fast, the first dry fast that he had, it would have been wasted. I pray that you will not be wasted in Jesus' name. Amen. Many people in the Bible who should have been useful were wasted. Many have been wasted now. But when the spirit of wastage steps in, there's some small, small signs you can use to know whether it's already operating in your life. This which is where we are going before we start praying now. If you begin to find yourself eating in the dream, the waste is at work. Because that food you are eating is poison. And it will create spiritual and physical weakness for you. If you find that any time you see a woman, your body will be shaking. Body will be shaking, shaking, shaking. And the laboratory of your heart is filled with lust. The waste is already at work. Unless you do something very quickly. If you have made yourself a dustbin for collecting alcohol, the wastage is around. Because alcohol will waste you. Smoking drugs are ah, <laughs> serious wastage. Completely, the person will be completely wasted. And I pray that you will not be wasted in Jesus' name. I think we were, I think 1993, a woman brought her son to me. This son has been in America for 18 years, I think, but he didn't achieve anything. So the mother forced him to come home for prayers. So the mother brought him to me. Say, yes, can I help you? Say, yes, man of God, not, nothing is working in America. Nothing is working in America. I say, yes, okay. How about schooling? Say, it's not working. Work, not working. <laughs> Nothing is working. You married, now that is not working as well. Okay. Okay, let us pray. Immediately I close my eyes and I want to start praying. The Lord said, no, don't pray for this man. Ask him to go and bring a list of all the women, women he had slept with in America. So I said, okay, Mr. Man, we're not praying now. Go and bring a list of all the women you have slept with. You have covenants to break with each of them. Bring the list here. Then we'll start from there. Say, is that what you require? I say, yes, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and he went off. Now, if you're a wayward man, at least you're really, really wayward, then maybe when you come, you come with a piece of paper. Containing three or four names. By the way, if you are, if you are not married, you have slept with three men, three, more than one man, two men, three men, and you are not married, you are slept with all those kind of people, you need deliverance. Serious one. If you have gone beyond three, you need overhauling. <laughs> because the Bible says, every sin we commit, we commit without our body. But that one, you commit with your body. And the Lord says that any thing that has to do with fornication and adultery, the Lord said he will personally supervise the punishment. It's not the devil now who will supervise. It's God himself. Because you are spoiling his temple, you are polluting it. He will personally supervise your punishment. And they say God's case, no appeal. If it's the devil troubling you, you can call your pastor and say, I bind you in Jesus' name. Leave them alone. And they will flee. But if it's God troubling your life, <laughs> God have mercy on you. Amen. Amen. By the time this American guy will come on the second day, he came with a higher education notebook. (laughs) 
So when he brought the notebook, I thought, well, this man is new in Nigeria. Maybe he didn't, he didn't want to buy a piece of paper. That's why he brought it. But then, the whole book was filled up. And he gave it to me and said, Pastor, those are the ones that I could remember. So I said, eh. Are you saying nothing is working in America? Nothing will work. <laughs> nothing will work. For that man, the wastage is already at work. If you notice unexplainable hatred, and that people don't just like you, no favor, the wastage is at work. You hate long prayer. Ah. There is wastage at work. There is something in you that doesn't like praying. You prefer to sing, to dance, to listen to music than to pray. There is something inside of you that hates prayer. And you must deal with it. If you have been having suicidal feelings, like taking your own life, is the wastage. If you find that even as old as you are, you don't understand why you are still bedwetting, wastage. If you find that objects are moving about in your body and you don't know what they are, you go to the hospital, they can't see anything moving about. It is a wasting spirit. It's already moving about. If you find that sometimes you sleep and you are being pressed down, down, and you have to call Jesus, 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 or you can't call anything until you wake up, the wasters are at work. If you find that before you achieve anything good, you have to struggle and struggle and fight and fight and fight. What you will get, what else you get, the kind of certificate that else you get effortless, you have to struggle and sweat and sweat. The waster is at work. You find yourself swimming in the dream, wasters are at work. You find yourself with dead relatives in the dream, wasters are at work. You find yourself having sex in the dream, terrible wasters are at work. Because it means they give you a spirit husband or they give you a spirit wife and there will be trouble later. You find yourself being pursued in the dream when it starts at work. You find that you're always sick, especially when examinations is close, is close, wasters at work. Academic stagnancy, wasters at work. You find yourself you're always going from one accident to the other, one accident to the other, the wasters at work. You find that anywhere you go. They will accuse you wrongly. Wasters are at work. You find that your daddy is a polygamist. And you are the only person in that family that is in that institution. <laughs> Wasters are at work already. Or you are the only son and your mother is the last wife. Ah. <laughs> Wasters are at work. Where you find that everything, you, all your inputs, all your efforts fail to get you success, wasters at work. You're always losing your money, losing good things, and you're gradually being dispossessed, wasters at work. The earlier you understand what I'm saying now, the better for you. Because it may be too late for you to understand things. And when it's too late for you to understand, and you start doing the wrong thing, the, the right thing at the wrong time, then you get into a very serious mess. I, I spent some part of my youth in a place called Akure. Uh, right there in the marketplace in Akure, there is a madman there. We call not understand. If you go to the marketplace and say, Lion of Judah, they taught us mathematics today, I don't understand. And immediately this madman hears what you have said. His madness clears off. He will now tell you, is it trigonometry? Is it algebra? Is it arithmetic? Is it geometry? And if you tell him the, the one that you did, the madman will, with his finger on the soil, he will explain it to you in a way that will make your teacher look foolish, stupid. If they teach you history, I don't understand. You go to Lion of Judah, the Michael's place. I say, My Lion of Judah, they taught us history today. I don't understand. We say, Is it world history? Is it African history? Is it European history? When you mention it, the way we explain it, your teacher will look stupid. And once Lion of Judah grabs the mouth organ, he can play any music on the mouth organ. 
Lion of Judah. It was from the mouth of Lion of Judah, I first of all add two expressions. These two expressions. Lion of Judah does not talk about Christianity. It doesn't talk about Islam. If, if instead of him to say Islam, he will say Arabization. Instead of him to say Christianity, he will say Jewinization. Well, from his mouth, madman. I had those things. But the same Lion of Judah now, if you give him a plate of rice, he will pour the rice down in the sand. He will lick this stew at the bottom of the plate. He will pack the rice with stones back into the plate and he will begin to eat. Here you find the brain of a professor wasted in the marketplace. So the earlier you know these things, the better. And if you say, I see lifetime, I'm still young, I want to enjoy myself, please, I beg you, pay a visit to the mortuary. If you pay a visit to the mortuary, by the time they bring out 100 dead people, you can hardly find two with gray hair. Hardly. Find two with gray hair. A lot of young people are dying like houseflies, including pastors. Dying like houseflies. In fact, to be quite honest with you, the number of pastors having HIV is increasing now. This is the blunt truth. So you make up your mind what you want to do. You say, how can I deliver myself from the wasters? That's why Jesus came. That's why he came, so that we will not be wasted. So you need to ask yourself a question today. Serious question. And the answer, the answer you give to that question will speak a lot for how you are going to pray now. If you lack knowledge of your purpose in life, you are living a wasted life. If your life is an experiment, you are trying this, you are trying that, you are trying that, it's a wasted life. If you are preaching below God's maximum for your life, it's a wasted life. If you are losing unrepeatable opportunities, life is being wasted. If you are blinded from knowing the secret of success, life is being wasted. If you die before your time, life is being wasted. If you allow heaven to transfer your assignment, your life has been wasted. If you allow heavens to replace you with stone, life is wasted. If you allow yourself to be used by the devil to test new weapons, your life is being wasted. If you, are, if you sell off your virtue on the altar of sex, life is being wasted. Many sisters need to sit down and find out how they lost their virginity because you have formed a covenant with whoever did it. And you need to pray some prayers so that the Lord can set you free. If you are pursuing the wrong profession, you are wasting your life. If you are being bombarded by all kinds of evil thoughts, life is being wasted. Jesus came into the world and the life of Jesus can be divided into three parts. His birth, when he was born. When Jesus was born, only a handful of shepherds witnessed it. The birth of Jesus, which sliced our calendar into two, had more animal witnesses than human beings. Angels came and glory came down. The Bible did not even record the names of the shepherds who were there. It was his quiet affair. The death of Jesus, his birth, his death. The death of Jesus, when Jesus died, angels stayed away. They stayed away that day. God the Father himself turned his back away. They ridiculed the Son of God on the cross and said, he trusted in God, let him deliver him if he trusted in him. They made fun of him. They said, you are delivering others, come down from the cross. Large crowds watch the trial, the verdict, and the crucifixion, and the death. Unlike the bath, when he was born, very few people, just angels and a few shepherds. But when he was going to die, a lot of people witnessed it. They were there at the trial, they were there all the time. His disciples ran away, one even abandoned his clothes and ran away naked, and all kinds of things happened that time. Many people were there. His resurrection, that's the third part of his life. Only a couple of witnesses and Roman guards were there. 
Of these three events, the most surprising miracle is not the birth of Jesus. For celestial beings go in and out of the earth. We see celestial beings all the time. Jacob wrestled with an angel. Abraham talked to a visitor from heaven. So celestial beings do come to the earth. So that's not the miracle. It is not the most surprising miracle. It's not the resurrection. For if you read your Bible, quite a few human beings have been resurrected before in the Bible. E.g. Lazarus. But the day the Son of God himself died on planet Earth, nothing like that had happened before or will happen again. Nothing like that has happened before or will happen again. That day, nature himself went into convulsion. There was darkness at unusual hours. The ground shook. The tombs cracked open. The sky went black. The day death died. Satanic powers were completely defeated. Why did Jesus go through all this? So that you and I will not waste our lives. When I, I finished from the University of Lagos many years back and by the grace of God I came out with the first class. So immediately I came out with the first class I had this troublesome uncle who was always harassing my life. And, uh, you see, uh, they are the first person in our family to make first class. Don't allow them to kill you. There are many witches. Let me fortify you. I will help you. So you can become strong. I was already born again that time. He worried my life so much. Every day was coming to cry. I did he don't die. And I said, okay, I'll follow you. So I followed him. He took me to one baba like that. It's at Akoka there. We entered into the house. There were cobwebs all over the place. The man had no chair. It was, he had only, his only furniture was his bed that he was sitting upon. And he sat there. He had his hand heavily bandaged. I don't know what happened to his hand. He was eating yams, boiled yam with palm oil and salt. As I sat before this man looking at him, I said, <laughs> This is the man that wants to fortify me. So I started praying. So, oh God, send my uncle out of this place so that I can talk to this man. God answered the prayer. My uncle said, hey, do you, uh, where is your toilet? The man said at the back. Immediately my uncle went out. I, I said, Mr. Man, look at me straight in the eye. He said, you're a foolish man. <laughs> said, you want to fortify me. Ordinary eggs you cannot buy to fry and put on your yam. You are using palm oil to eat yam in this place. And look at your roof, cobwebs. Look at you, no chair, nothing. See, you're a foolish man. You better stop deceiving yourself and surrender your life to Jesus. Before I finish, my uncle came in. I kept quiet. <laughs> so immediately my uncle sat and the man said, take this boy away from me. He's <laughs> <laughs> too stubborn. Our juju will not work. Take him away from me. But that, that you, you can laugh because they did that before me. I was able to reject it. But there are many of us here that our parents go to strange places on our behalf. Your fathers in the village may go to the idol every morning and say, well, I'm here to offer sacrifice on behalf of my child in school in Lagos. And you don't know anything. You don't know that somebody is handing you over to some evil powers every day. And those powers are wasting powers. What do you do today? You need to surrender your life to Jesus. That's the first thing. I'm not asking whether you go to church or you don't go to church. No, you need a personal encounter with Jesus. The second thing you need to do is that you need to repent from every known sin. And the third thing you need to do is you need to wage war against these wasters. Tonight, the power of God is here to set his people free. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. This is not the night of the only sin in my life that will prevent me from being blessed tonight. Forgive me. Amen. Now, we're 
want to pray some prayers. The prayers will be seven in number. But some of those prayers may have part one, part two, part three. But they're going to be seven in number. Let me tell you what will begin to happen immediately we begin to pray now. Number one. There are some who have been caged a long time. The cage will be broken. Yeah. Number two. There are many sisters here whose virtue is presently under the waters. As we pray these prayers, the virtues will be released. Yeah. Number three, there are some people here that the enemy has completely blinded from seeing the greatness of their lives. You, can't, you are a great person, but you never saw it. As you pray this prayer, the Lord will open your eyes. Yeah. Number four, there are some people all their lives, they have always been either below or average. But the prayers we are going to pray tonight will move them from that position upwards. <laughs> so that they too will be regarded amongst the great ones. <laughs> as we pray this prayer, if I mention your case and ask you to come forward, don't be shy. Find your way forward because... <laughs> Uh, like blind Bartimaeus, if blind Bartimaeus did not shout that day, he would have died a blind man. Because Jesus never passed through that place again. He was on his way to the cross to die. So if he had kept quiet, that's it. And you know Jesus was just passing. Jesus did not go to blind Bartimaeus. Just, Jesus was just going his way. But it was the man that attracted the attention of Jesus. So don't joke with the opportunity you have here tonight. If you pray at this meeting tonight, and your voice goes away, and you receive your breakthrough, you have made a good bargain. But if you become a gentleman, a gentlewoman, while the Bible says, the violent take it by force, and the enemy is able to go away with a victory, it will be very, very sad. Very, very sad. Very sad. The Lord is bringing the picture of a sister to me now. That sister, you are presently going about with a married man whose wife is a witch. You are going about with a married man and the wife of that man is a witch. The wife has located you in the spirit and if you do not take some urgent action here tonight, you may not last this month. It's a serious matter. So, if you are the lady, just report yourself to any usher close to you so that they can bring you forward for prayers. Before we go further, you are moving about with a married man now. The wife of that man is a witch and she's already programming death into your life. If you, are in that, if you are the person, just talk to any usher close to you who will bring you here for prayers. I want you to say this loud and clear, louder than anyone around you. This is not the time to joke. This is the time to cry to the heavenlies. This is the time to insist that you must fulfill your destiny. Every power of my father's house that is challenging my life your time is up. Can I hear you saying this loud and clear? I'm sure you can all do better than this.
Mastica poia boscente la botolaba. Spirito di Limundod. is taking place now on the lives of persons here who have been manipulated by witchcraft powers. That's right. Be released. Be released completely. Amen. If you are in this meeting tonight and you know that your problem is what is known as spirit husband, spirit wife, you're always having this sexual dream, sexual dream, sexual dreams always, and you like the Lord to deliver you, just find your way to the altar here and be on your knees. As you are coming forward, those who want to be delivered from that kind of bondage, everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every power that wants to waste my life, what are you waiting for? Can I hear you shout to loud and clear? Dad! In the name of Jesus! Mastika Poya Boshentera Bokola Baraba. Ribos upon the Kaya Boshentera Bokolaba. Aha. 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 Believe. 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 From the group of the spirit husband. Believe. 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 Aha. Somebody of that brother over there. Yes. Masika poya bo shentera bo kolaba. Aha, 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 aha. Believe, believe. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. I pull off the wedding rings of the spirit husband. And whatsoever the spirit of has deposited into your body right now, push them out. That's right. Let's push them out. The plantation of spirit wife, spirit husband. Push them out. Push them out. Push them out. Push them out. That's right. Yes. That's right. The hand of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that spirit of is broken. The operation is still going on. Something is being taken out from the womb of somebody here. Something has been taken out from the breast. Something has been taken out from the stomach. Yes. That's the fire of God is going from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Yes, that's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. Yes, be released from the grip of the enemy. Lord, I commit these your children unto your holy hands. I command every yoke of spirit of and spirit of to be broken in the name of Jesus. As from today, you will not see this oppression anymore. 
The fire of God will roast to ashes. Every power troubling your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on your head now. This is a very serious prayer. Because your head is a symbol of your destiny and a symbol of your glory. Every embargo of my glory. Your time is up. Can you say this loud and clear? Jesus. been having terrible dreams just lay your hands on your face now and make sure it covers your eyes if you have been having terrible dreams right there where you are the power of God is going to come upon you and the yoke of that evil dream shall be broken that's right that's the power of God it's going from person to person Yes, the witchcraft powers and the powers of the oppressor that have killed you for years. Right there where you are, they are releasing you now. Just believe, 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 in the name of Jesus. Every power from the waters that has been troubling anyone here as from now on be delivered from their grief in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There are ten persons here tonight. And the enemy has planted some materials in your body. But there is an angel of God by your side. Pulling off those evil plantations. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you right there where you are. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. That's right. Just. 
Nummer 11. That's enough is enough. You have survived for too long. That's right. Number 9. And that's number 10. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As you pray this next prayer, if you are here in this meeting and you know sometimes when you wake up, you find scratches all over your body. And you don't know where those scratches are coming from. Just find a way to the altar too and be on your knees. You wake up and find scratches all over your body. Just find a way to the altar here and be on your knees. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every witchcraft power assigned against my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? Make it louder than anyone around you. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Destroy the powers tonight, 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 tonight. This morning we have two sermons. I'm starting with the first sermon now. Then I go to the next sermon later. Listen very carefully to this first sermon, which will drive us into some violent and merciless prayers. This first sermon is titled, Waste Them Before They Waste You. The first waster in the Bible is God Almighty Himself. And why did God decide to waste? Because if he did not waste, those people will waste something. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16. Isaiah 54 verse 16. Are we there? If you are there, say yes. Say, behold, I have created the smith that blow the coals in the fire, and that bring forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. I have created the waster to destroy. I got a letter from a new convert into the mountain of fire and miracles ministry. I'm going to read that letter to you now. From a new convert into this ministry. Some years ago, while I was in the world, a friend of mine came to me and he said, I should help him to get the virtue of his wife to be buried. Because the woman has a lot more money than him. And he felt that the woman was becoming proud. Somebody's husband wants the virtue of his wife buried. Because the woman had more money. Which is stupidity and foolishness really. A man does not have money, his wife has money, the money belongs to him. A woman sees a snake, a man sees a snake. The important thing is for the snake to die. There is poverty. Whether it's wife that can kill poverty. Whether it's husband that can keep poverty. The important thing is for poverty to do what? To die. So I took my friend to a native doctor. And the native doctor said, we should get the water the woman used in bathing. And the native doctor added some fetish materials to her bathing water. The woman did not know that her bath water was being collected. The native doctor added some fetish materials to the bath water. And now asked us to go and bury it in a place in Gombe State. So they travel all the way from Lagos to Gombe State to go and bury the bathwater of a woman at Gombe State. 
The devil is wickedly wicked and badly bad. Barely two weeks after this, all the wealth of the woman went down. I repented some time ago. And as of the time I'm writing this letter, I saw the woman in my dream crying after me. And another person holding a key, which I wanted to collect for the woman, but the man refused to give me the key. Sir, what can I do? Listen, very carefully. A long time ago in this Lagos, there was a man called Jesus of Oyimbo. In 1964, Jesus of Oyimbo said he is the Holy Spirit and will not die. 84, he died. But before he died, he had deceived so many people. As I'm talking to you now, we have children and wives of Jesus Oyimbo in MFM. They are now born again, but their father had wasted other people's children. There was a time in this Lagos, I was a Jesus of Agege, and he confused and deceived so many people. After some time, he said he's now born again. His children also are in MFM now. But meanwhile, he had wasted people. These people, with their strange powers, waste people. Later, they will become born again. Meanwhile, who that was wasted had been wasted. You must have heard me several times sharing the story of Lai Wowe. Lai Wowe, a very brilliant student, highly intelligent. His lowest mark in mathematics was 100%. And if you give him six problems to solve, and you say solve four, Lai Wowe will solve the four in the book, then the extra, extra two that you didn't ask him to do in the margin. Very brilliant job. By the time he finished his school certificate, in those days, when school certificate was school certificate, not now, where you can pick up the past question from the woman selling Akara at Tegyo Show, he had six straight A's. A throughout. He went for his A level, he gave four A's, and he got a scholarship to travel abroad. The day that they were going to take him to the airport, the family organized a big party. As the party was going to an end, the younger sister of Lai Wuwe came to Lai Wuwe and said, pick one between this your study you are going to do and your life. Lai Wuwe just asked her to shut up. He believed that they have served too much alcohol at the party, that the girl was drunk. Why do we call him Lai Wuwe? The books we're supposed to read in from five, he had finished reading from three. And he answers questions as if it's an encyclopedia. He traveled abroad. Again, there he came out with first class. He had all the white boys beaten, hands down. Two weeks to his graduation, Lai Wei went to the swimming pool. And Lai Wei was an excellent swimmer. He was an excellent swimmer. He climbed on this sister, this thing you jump on, the diving board. The one you jump on and jump into the water for some strange reasons. Only God knew what happened that day. Lai Wei Wei dived downwards. He missed the water. He smashed his head on hard concrete. His head broke. The brain fell out. So the head went to one section, his brain went to another place. Lai Wei Wei was repackaged back to Nigeria without a head. They went to receive his corpse and everybody was crying. The junior sister was, the younger sister was rolling on the floor. That was an obituary that the wicked had done their worst. But the story is that some years back, at the prayer city, I saw somebody at the front giving testimony that she's repenting from witchcraft. By the time I would look at the face of that person, it was Lai Wei's younger sister. Meanwhile, Lai Wei has been wasted. Rise up on your feet, beloved. All eyes closed. It will be a tragedy if you keep quiet here this morning. It will be a tragedy if you allow the enemy to waste you. Powers of my father's house are signed to waste my life. Duh! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Yes, Makatende Kerabo Shenterabakantia. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. We are here for serious business. Masitende Kerabo Shenteraba. Yes.
Jesus name we pray the brothers of Joseph say, let us throw him into this pit and see what becomes of his dreams let us throw him there and see what becomes of his dream every power that hates my existence can you roar like thunder there is somebody who needs to share this loud and clear I bury you now in the name of Jesus that's right In Jesus name we pray Powers assigned to waste my destiny Be wasted Can I hear you running like thunder fire in the name of Jesus powers are signed to waste my destiny something is happening here this morning Jesus name we pray uh, is a sister here you have not started praying you, not started praying. you better adjust that your head gear very well you need this prayer seriously many of us are looking for the enemies outside but the enemy is already inside can you shout this loud and clear the bible says as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away and they shall run out of their close places strangers in my camp are signed against my progress you are a liar there in the name of Jesus Thou power of God in the name of Jesus Kappa Satanda Kaya Mashanda Jesus then we pray <laughs> lastly before you sit down it is a tragedy when the enemy is watching you collecting your materials and you do not know amen you will now declare this with violence declare it with all the anger in your spirit Declare it mercilessly, violently. Declare it in a way that the gates of hell will know that you are declaring something here. Declare it in such a way that everyone will know that you mean business. That you mean business. Powers of domestic wickedness. Can I hear your voice roaring like thunder? Is that the loudest of voice can carry you here this morning? Da! In the name of Jesus, kill the powers. The power of God, in the name of Jesus, move.
ajá, 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 ajá. In Jesus name we pray. <laughs> God specifically bless some people here this morning. Just for the purpose of this prayer, we are praying now. I want to congratulate such people. Thank you, Jesus. Shout a loud hallelujah. Let's have a seat. That's the end of the first sermon. Now listen to me even more carefully than that first one. Candidates of spiritual deception. Candidates of spiritual deception. Candidates of spiritual deception. Sisters, what did I say just now? Brothers, let me hear you. What does it mean to deceive? To deceive means to cheat. To trick a person. To defraud. To double cross. To cheat is to dupe. To deceive is to falsify. Falsify. Or to fake. To deceive is to fool a person. To deceive is to outwit a person. To deceive is to take advantage of a person. To deceive is to mislead. Latin. To intentionally mislead. Latin. To deceive is to persuade somebody falsely. To deceive is to cause somebody to believe what is not true. To deceive is to lead someone astray. To deceive is to give a false impression. To deceive is to be unfaithful. Deception is a terrible thing. And because deception is a terrible thing, Jesus gave plenty of warnings against deceptions. Jesus made it a abundantly clear that false manifestations will be ushered in at the end of this age. And there are plenty of them around now. False manifestations. Lying spirits. Fake spirits. Jesus made that one very, very clear. In Matthew chapter 24, Matthew 24, Verse 4. Deception is a wicked thing. Deception is a bad thing. Jesus warned us, serious warning, that towards the end, end of the age, there will be plenty of false manifestations. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. It doesn't matter whether you are president, you are prime minister of any country, you could be deceived. Verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise. It didn't say may rise. It said shall rise. And shall deceive many. It didn't say may deceive many. It didn't say shall deceive few. They shall deceive many. Beloved, these warnings are not to be taken lightly. To take them lightly is to put your soul in danger. Plenty of Christians are fond of going from there to here, from here to there, from this money to that matter, from this baba to that baba, from that place to that place. You are just collecting dust with your head. And those women who are going from place to place, Baba, pray for me. Baba, pray for me. See vision. You are just collecting arrows with your rapper. And by the time the arrows will begin to manifest, you'll be surprised what you'll be going through. That time, deliverance may not help. Jesus warned us thoroughly. Deception, not sickness. Deception, not poverty. 
Deception, not bad government, is the greatest danger at the end of the age. Greatest danger at the end of the age. Even right now, when you say politician, you can be sure that what you are talking about is deception. Unless we pray for divine intervention. Anyone who claims that he or she can never, never be deceived. He's already deceived. Jesus says so. Our hearts are incapable of discerning truth on their own. In Proverbs chapter 28, verse 26. Proverbs 28, verse 26. Our hearts lack capability to discern truth on their own. Proverbs 28, 26. He that trusted in his own heart is a fool. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Only fools trust their own heart. Whatever our heart tells us is unreliable. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Please try and understand what I'm saying here this morning. Signs and wonders and miracles does not guarantee or determine truth. Signs and wonders and miracles. They do not guarantee or determine truth. Because signs and wonders, miracles are happening somewhere, does not mean the truth is there. The Bible says, by their fruit ye shall know them. Signs and wonders don't determine the truth. Truth is determined by the word of God. Once you place what is happening somewhere under the balance of scripture and is wrong, then it's not of God. True signs attest the truth. Lying signs attest lies. Unfortunately, many Christians assume that every supernatural sign must be from God. No, forgetting that Satan can perform signs and wonders. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, I read from verse 9. Thessalonians chapter 2, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but that had pleasure in unrighteousness. Satan can perform lying signs and wonders. At the court of Pharaoh, Moses threw down his rod, it became a snake. The magicians of Pharaoh did the same thing. Until at the time they could not catch up Moses again. So Satan can give people power to perform certain miracles. This is a serious matter. How can a man take a woman who is not his wife? To the side of the river at night. And you take sponge. You say you are betting for her for deliverance. What kind of bet is that? Where is that in the Bible? How can a prophet tell a girl. Who has been failing YEC exam. That look. I, uh, if you want to pass your YEC exam. I need to do for you a special deliverance. And the special deliverance is that. He's going to pour anointing oil. On his own penis and sleep with her. And the lady agreed. But that year, she failed like no man's business. How can, where is that in the Bible? How can somebody come to television? I am apostle so, so and so. I have seven wives. I want to marry number eight and the power is increasing. And somebody sat down in that church and said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Where is that in the Bible? Anything that anybody is doing, whether it's apostle, whatever name is, it calls itself, once you weigh it by the word of God and it cannot stand in the word of God, is the devil. It's not of God at all. Somebody say, well, this anointing oil is 5,000 naira. This one is for those who want to become millionaire. This anointing oil is 500 naira. That one is for those who want to become a thousandaire. Now come and buy. Where is that in the Bible? The Bible says, freely are you giving. Freely you give. Deception is a cruel act. Deception is a lie reduced to practice. Unfortunately, truth does not change. 
but majority don't believe in the truth. Deception is when somebody is promising to build a bridge where there is no river. Deception is sometimes what you call wicked silence. The most wicked lies are sometimes told in silence. Did you do it or didn't you do it? It's not talking. Didn't say yes, didn't say no. Say deception. If the devil had come personally without any disguise, without any mask, to our first parents, Adam and Eve, he would not have deceived them. But he came masked, came in deception. Unfortunately, the mind of the sons of men are more programmed to believe lies than truth. There was one pastor in this ministry. One day he said he was going to the mountain to pray. And as he was praying at the mountain, somebody tapped him at the back and said, You are a man of God, aren't you? I said, yes. Where are you walking? I said, I'm a pastor in Mountain of Fire. The man said, Don't say the Lord. You are not a pastor. You are a general overseer. Therefore, resign. Go and start a church. And he came back. He resigned from there. Went off. The next time I will see him, he was wearing nappy like a baby. Because blood was just pouring out of his body. A man. He had received an arrow. Because if God did not send you somewhere and you go, there is no protection. Every arrow fired there, the person will just be collecting it. That's what they ask you to do it. Deceit is hiding one thing in the heart and speaking another thing. All human beings we are born sincere in our heart. But most human beings they die as deceivers. A lying spirit is the brother of deception. And a very crafty spirit indeed. So when we talk about deception, deception is making something look like one thing when it is really something else. It, it looks like it, but it's not it, actually. A brother was dragged by his mother to a, a prophet. I said, in that your church, you are going to, you are just reading Bible, reading Bible, reading Bible. You take everything, read the Bible, you, you need prayer. If you stay here, you will not get, make progress. Let's go. The brother said the mother dragged him there. And the Baba was praying. Serious prayer. He was praying in Yoruba. And at intervals in the prayer, he will shout, Hele Dao! Hele Dao! Hele da, in English, is uh, the creator. So the brother, the brother was hearing Hele Dao, Hele Dao. You thought, well, mom must be a Christian. At least he's calling Hele Dao. After some time, he found some things were moving about in his body like tiny hands. And those tiny hands were going to penetrate into his brain. At that level, he quickly began to speak in tongues. And the Holy Spirit says, son, haven't you noticed that this man has prayed for 10 minutes and he has never mentioned the name of Jesus? So if you don't run out of here, you become a madman by the time you leave. He ran out, but it was a bit late. Those things moved about in his body for five years. Deception can be attained by saying things that are not true. Deception can be achieved by leaving out critical information is very sad. Unfortunately, when people repeat the same lies over and over again, over and over again, they actually begin to believe the lies. This is a serious problem in this age. Whether you are educated or not does not matter. There is a lot of educated literates around. Professors in worldly subjects who score zero in the book of God. These days, there are plenty of religious fakes, plenty of professional charlatans, plenty of prophetic frauds, plenty of counterfeit Christians, counterfeit pastors. And they market their commodities in shining plates, decorated with smooth persuasion and impressive appearance. They are masters of deceit. They serve their deception food camouflaged by logical sounding words. It was many years ago here. A woman brought her daughter after they had got into trouble at Babich. She took her daughter to this prophet at Babich to bathe for her because the girl wanted to get married. The ceremony was in the night, 12 midnight at Babich. 
But as the prophet was bathing this lady naked, a particular creature came out of the sea and came towards them, grabbed the lady, and was dragging the lady away into the sea. The prophet knew that if that lady was dragged away, he would be in trouble because he was the one who took her to Babbage. The girl thought the prophet would begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, release her. It is written. This is what the Bible says. Let her go. But to her amazement, the man began chronic incantations. After serious incantation, the creature released the lady and they left. Because then the mother brought her. She told me, see, the smooth way the man spoke the incantations showed that he was not a prophet. There are many like that too. And then when you carry your head there and they lay hands on your head and they say they prophesy upon your head and your head is the symbol of your destiny. It may be the reason things are so tough now. Bring sponge! Bring sponge! Bring sponge! You took sponge to church. Where is that in the Bible? So they gather the sponge and they transfer your virtues. This is a very serious matter that they've done, they've done a lot of terrible things to people who are now struggling to get out, struggling to get out, struggling to get out. Deception. Deception. Many years back too, this woman took her baby to one church for dedication. Dedication. And in that church, you don't bring, you don't bring, you don't bring names from home. It's the person who is prophesying who will give names. So they brought this baby in. And the prophet began to prophesy. I don't say the Lord. This is the name of this baby. And that name is written in the book of Daniel. Chapter 28. It's there. It's there. The father who knew the Bible a little bit. Say, prophet, prophet. The book of Daniel is not up to 28 chapters. And now you are saying chapter 28. The prophet said, yes, yes, yes. It's the book of Daniel in heaven. Not this one in your hand. And the strange thing. The man believed it. And gave his child a terrible name which affected the child negatively later. If you want to make a counterfeit 1,000 naira, you don't use a yellow color. You won't cut your paper in triangular shape because that will not deceive anybody. So deception comes in convincing fashions. It will wear the robe of authenticity. It will be supported by credentials that look similar. And those who are spiritually gullible will swallow it. Plenty of old errors in new dress. Plenty of spirits that our forefathers fought are now coming back and calling themselves prophets. And plenty of people are being caged. They will go and camp people inside the church and not allow people's wives to go home, their children to go home. It is deception. They ask people to go and throw their clothes into the river in order to be delivered from familiar spirits. It's deception. They put incision on secret parts of people. Incisions. Where does the Bible say prophets of God should be making incision on people's bodies? Holy perfumes. Sarasobia. Where is that in the Bible? Apostles and prophets with multiple wives. He is an apostle. All the members of the choir, there is wife. Bathing in flowing waters. They are all deception. There is even a, a speechless prayer meeting, a speechless church. They don't talk. You just come and sit and you don't talk. Where is that in the Bible? The Bible says, when they raised up their voices, the place where they were was shaking together. If they, the apostles came there and kept quiet, nothing will shake. Multiple crosses on the neck. All the calling angelic names in prayer is deception. Praying naked is deception. All the candle and lamp prayer is deception. Deliverance with us whip is deception. All this secret use of psalm. There is no secret use of psalm anywhere. The psalm is the psalm. It's here. And then when you read it, they will say you start speaking certain strange words and you are calling it. And you are bringing strange spirits to your house. The six and seven book of Moses. Moses never wrote any six or seven book. They are all magical books. I know people who write these books and I'm mad. All the cemetery prayers is deception. 
Anywhere you go to, maybe you're looking for fruit of the womb, you're looking for something, and the man of God says, remove your clothes. I want to anoint the whole of your body. It's a lie. All the babish riverside prayer is all deception. All the matchmaking prophecies is all deception. All the food prescriptions. The Holy Ghost says you must not eat banana. The Holy Ghost says you must not drink gari. The Holy Ghost says you must not drink it. It's all lies. It's all lies. All going to church and after the service, everybody will be sharing uh, banana, and sharing oranges, and sharing sugar cane. It's all initiation ceremonies. Altars in the home. Dedicate a chair in your house as altar. Refuse to shave or have your bed because you want to connect God. It's all lies. A prophet is committing fornication. He is entering the church to pray, but he is binding women who are doing menstruation from entering, say, because they are dirty. Who is dirty? Deception. Many of us have either ignorantly got into this. This money is a money of deliverance. Many they were in such places before. And that spirit that is using them there, that used to shake people like butterfly, was shaking you then. It means there is something in you that is magnetizing them. Who are the candidates of spiritual deception? There is a certain frame you must be for you to be deceived. Number one, those who are naturally crooked and insincere. Those who are not straightforward. If you are naturally crooked and insincere, you will be deceived. It is never on record that anybody who is sincerely looking for God and you are a good person that will be misled. No. God will respect that your sincerity. If you are not a straightforward person, it is then you follow a rebellious pastor. It is then you follow people who are doing strange things. It means you are naturally crooked and insincere. You are not straightforward. So the first candidate of deception are those ones who are naturally crooked and insincere. Two, those who are biblically illiterate. They don't want to read the Bible. They refuse to read the Bible. They don't understand the Bible. I'm looking forward to that day. And I believe that God will strengthen us here. That we're going to be able to split our money Sunday schools into classes of 10, 15, 10, 15 people so that it's not a mass study. So the teacher can know those who are reading their Bible, those who are not reading it. Neglecting to study the Bible will set you up for deception. It sets up for deception. And it's a very, very sad thing. Sad. Three, spiritual ignorance. When you are, you are an, an ignoramus in the spirit realm, it will divert you anywhere. Candidate number four, those who rely on emotions and sentiments. Instead of you to go and seek for God, you say, the pastor of that church, where is he from? I say, it's also so and so place. I won't go there. I'm looking for somebody from our village. If the pastor is from our town now, we go. Reliance on emotion and sentiment. Number five. Refusal to look at Jesus as the author and finisher of your faith. Refusal to look at Jesus as the author and finisher of your faith. You're only looking to human beings, human beings, human beings. And when they fail, you'll be surprised. There are some people, they don't care about the character and behavior of their leaders. They do not check by their fruits, you shall know them. They just take them for a year, it's a man of God, let him do what he wants. Candidate number six. There are those who accept miracles as the only guarantee for truth. Anywhere they can receive miracles, that's where the truth is, whether it doesn't matter, the lifestyle of the people there. This is a very sad situation. A friend of mine told me that... Uh, uh, his son was conversing. They took his son to a church. The man of God there rang bell, rang bell, poured water on the boy, and the boy stopped conversing. So my friend became a member of that church. But my friend said one day at Oyibo, at the bus stop, the conductor was asking this uh, pastor for, for money for transport. And the pastor said, I'm not going to pay anything, but that's what I want to pay. That he was even offering to help the pastor pay, but that to his amazement, the pastor held his own bubba that he was wearing. He tore it. Tore his own clothes. Ran into the shop of somebody uh, doing uh, 
rewired and took a bottle, broke it, and was coming to attack bus conductor. Pastor, by their fruits, you shall know them. By their fruits, you shall know them. By their fruits, you shall know them. I've seen a pastor who got so angry. Somebody has spoiled his video player. Radio mechanic spoiled his video player. And he said, bring this thing now. And bring it the way I gave it to you. If not, Shango will break your head today. Bring it now. So when you see a person like that, by their foot, you shall know them. So if you accept those things blindly, you get into deception. The seven candidates for deception are those who are seeking Jesus the baker. You just want his miracles. You don't want his discipline. They forget that suffering is a reality of life. God uses it to shape us. Anyone who expects or promises only good things is a false prophet. Candidate number eight. Those who are being troubled by the evil power of their father's house. When somebody has been troubled by the evil power of his father's house, they will push you away from the right place and push you to the wrong place. Now, those who are under curses, if you have offended somebody and he you a curse on you, you always go to the wrong place and do the wrong things. The tenth candidate are those who are proud. Very proud. They don't want to take correction. They believe they know it all. They are susceptible to deception. Candidate number 11 are those who hate the truth. They prefer those who will tell them lies. They don't take the truth seriously. And the last group of candidates are those who do not heed the warnings of Jesus. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 13 this is what Jesus said about the last days. Scripture is very clear. 2 Timothy 3, 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Deceiving and being deceived. Let's rise up for prayer. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. The moment of truth has come. Many of us, for we knew the truth, we have been misled. Many of us have eaten what we should not eat. Many of us have allowed people who should not touch us to lay their hands on our head. And many of our parents, they have taken us to places we should not even have stepped into. Some have gone to prophets for solution. They end up being sexually violated by the prophet. Many have gone to strange places, to strange gatherings. Don't deceive yourself by believing that those past associations will not have an effect on your future. That's one of the reasons the Lord is bringing this message. This is a very serious matter. All eyes closed. As we pray this first prayer, if you're in this meeting this morning, there was a time you had to go and throw your clothes or your property into a, into a river. Just find a way to the altar, be on your knees. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. This is not a day to joke. This is a day for serious prayer. Those of you at the altar here, pray with reckless abandon. Pray with all the strength that you have. Even if you are not at the altar here, Pray the way you've never prayed before. Pray with all your heart. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Demoting yokes. Break! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to break the yoke. Masekatenda yaboshenda rabat. 
commanding the mountain yokes to be broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray uh-huh. we're getting close getting really really close shout this the way I'm going to shout my own virtues stolen from my life <laughs> hey. what a can I hear the sisters roaring like thunder brothers let your voice roar like thunder come back now in the name of Jesus that's right Yes, yes, today is today. Recover all, recover all, recover all, recover, 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 recover all, recover all, recover all, recover all, recover all, recover all. Jesus, them we pray. This third prayer, immediately we start. Some people will begin to experience their heaven that has been closed will become open. They will experience open heaven. Satanic anointing affecting my life. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Jesus name we pray Aha. any problem introduced into my life by parental mistakes can you shout this loud and clear in the name of Jesus Bakata satanda kaya bo shende raba. Riala bo katende kesente. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I pray for your children at the altar here. At every consequence of throwing their clothes into the flowing stream. In the name which is above all names. Jesus Christ. Let the consequences be broken now. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 As we pray this next prayer here, if you have ever had to carry a sacrifice on your head to go and deposit anywhere, find a way through the altar too and be on your knees with this your head you carried sacrifice anywhere find a way to the altar and be on your knees everybody will shout this loud and clear with a voice that roars like thunder arrows fired into my destiny Black fire! 
in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar here, shake your head vigorously. Shake it vigorously. That's right. Aha. Something is happening. You can't stay. You can't stay again. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Enough is enough. Father, let your anointing fall upon your children here. Let every yoke of the enemy upon their lives be broken. Let them experience the touch and power of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from today. Every yoke brought to you by this sacrifice, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You go back to your seat rejoicing now. Go back to your seat rejoicing now. As many people as want the breakthrough power of the Lord before this month runs to a close. I want them to pray this prayer, not allowing the voice of anyone to be louder than your own. You want a breakthrough before this month runs to an end. You will shout this loud and clear. Wickedness of the wicked. A sign against my life. Expire. In the name of Jesus. of the wicked are sent against my life. Expire! In Jesus' name we pray.
in this program. God must have a purpose for bringing you here. Can you shout this loud and clear? Pause! Chasing white out of my hands. This is a serious prayer. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? What are you waiting for? Death! In the name of Jesus! Somebody is breaking through with his prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. This second one, I want you to lose your temper. Lose it in the Holy Ghost. Battles of Egypt. Can you shout it now? Fighting my destiny. In the name of 
Jesus. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. And somebody will pray this prayer. <laughs> By the time you say it three times, there will be a shift in the spiritual realm. Powers! Diverting my present blessing. And future blessings. Can I hear you shouting this? Diverting my present blessing. And my future blessings. Shout it again! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. All the evil diversion. Powers diverting your current blessing. Diverting your future blessings. They cannot stand. They cannot stand. They cannot stand. They cannot stand. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this with boiling anger. Strange powers reporting me to wicked kings. Can you shout it loud? Hey, somebody needs to shout this prayer. No, 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 no. What are you waiting for? Da! In the name of Jesus. Yes. That is how to pray. Yes. Bakaya Boshentera. Command the kings to die in the name of Jesus. Yes, in Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Father, thank you because you have promised to dispatch your special angels here. For the next series of prayers, we're going to pray. Father, I'm praying. For as many as who pray this prayer from the heart, that they will have divine visitation. In the name of Jesus, can you shout this loud and clear? Problems assigned to disconnect me from my destiny. Expire! In the name of Jesus. Yes. You cannot disconnect me from my destiny. You cannot disconnect me from my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> this next one. Say every battle against my sunshine. 
Sisters, can you shout it? Sisters, is that the ladders who can shout up? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Backfire! In the name of Jesus! The battle against my sunshine! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are a student here, you are studying for something. This next prayer, make sure your hand is on your head. As you are praying it. Every chain. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. The chains must be broken. The chains must be broken. They must be broken. They must be broken. They must be broken. They must be broken. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Makate seten de keya boshenda. Ribo sopon de keya boshente raba. Nakaya boshente raba. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Satanic umbrella. Covering my glory. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. It's a please, a please, a please, a please, a please. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says the next expectation of the creature. They're waiting for the manifestation. The sons of God. Shout your name the loudest you can shout it. And say, receive divine manifestation. You will shout your name loud. At this, you are addressing yourself. You will now shout on your own head. Receive divine manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Receive divine manifestation. In Jesus' name we pray. Please. Don't mention just your first name. Mention your full name. See, I am going to pray my own. Daniel Olukoya. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive divine manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. What a wonderful night to be here. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' 
Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer is three times. If you are afraid, don't pray it. Because the manifestation will start immediately this service closes. Say this with only hatred. Demonic magician. Hired to pull me down. Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Sister, open your mouth and pray it. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the third time. Open your mouth and pray. I wish you could see what is going on. Say, angels of war. Say that loud and clear. Pursue those who are holding what belongs to me. And recover them for me. Angels of war. Pursue those holding what belongs to me and recover them for me by fire. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. You are breaking through, you are breaking through. That's why Jesus brought you here. Aha, 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 aha. name we pray documents of darkness keeping my information can you say that again catch fire in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer is also for three times. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours. Powers! Cursing my future. Please don't joke with this prayer. Can I hear you shouting it loud? What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Bakapote seteni kaya boshanda. Ribo soponda kaya bosha. Makantenda ribo sopo. Lali katende rabosoto. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and shout it again. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your mana water. We are still praying. We'll bring out the mana water now. We need it at this point. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. Let your Spirit move upon this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water defeat, destroy every evil veil in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of power, the water of strength, the water of glory. It is written, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Let that resurrection power flow into this water in the name of Jesus. Let the restoration power flow into this water in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Pour a little bit of that water on your palm. A little bit on your palm. On your palm. Thank you, Jesus. Father, this water that has been poured on the palm now. Makapi la kayabushande. Ribo la katendela. Let them cease to be ordinary water. Let them become the fire of the God of Elijah. Let them be a prophetic action against every veil of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Use the water to wipe your face now. Keep wiping it. Don't stop until I ask you to stop. Yes. Wipe it, wipe it, wipe it off. The cloud of darkness. The aura of darkness. The veil of darkness. Be shifted away. Be shifted away. Catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. See what is happening. That's right. The invisible cloud pushing you away from your breakthroughs has been shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. Silence now. Yes. Silence. The arrows of peppery body. Fire is coming upon that body to defeat the peppery arrows. As the first person, 
second person, third person. Silence. 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 Three persons here. One on the gallery at the back. Two down below. The personal rain that the enemy is sending upon your head is going right back to the senders. Thank you, Jesus. That rage of satanic birds in your environment, the rage of the evil bird that comes at midnight, has expired today in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You will now shout this louder than anyone around you. Shout it with fire and with power. Inherited veil of darkness. Your time is up. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Inheritance veil of darkness. Catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are. Take this prophetic action with a voice louder than anyone around you. If you know that you shall laugh last over all your enemies, begin to laugh your enemies to scorn now. <laughs> laugh them to scorn in the name of Jesus. Laugh them to scorn in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Love them to scorn in the name of Jesus. Louder, 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 louder. Love them to scorn in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies, beloved. And you declare this loud and clear. Every conspiracy against my life in the heavenlies. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Begin to scatter the conspiracies. Every conspiracy against my life in the heavenlies. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Don say this does not concern me. I think you should pray it with holy anger. Every power, Every power. circulating my name for evil. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Any power circulating my name for evil. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I someone here this morning. Today is your first day here. Household wickedness have conspired together and they have donated you. Although you are standing there on your feet, 
But you are not really there. You have already been donated. But thank God you are here this morning. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil dedication is broken completely. <laughs> That's right. Say this again loud and clear. I shall be a victor. Not a victim. In the name of Jesus. Declare it. I shall be a victor. And not a victim. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Our Lord and our God. We thank you for this wonderful morning. And we thank you for the wonderful things you will do here this morning. Accept our thanks in Jesus. This morning, open our understanding. Help us to war a good warfare. And by the time we close from this service, let men and women see your glory upon our lives. And let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And listen very carefully to this very short message. Because today it's a serious prayer meeting. But listen to this very short exhortation, which is titled Speak Evil of No Man. Speak Evil of No Man. And let's read some scriptures. In Titus chapter 3, I read verse 1 and 2. Titus chapter 3, 1 to 2. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers. To obey magistrates. To be ready to every good work. To speak evil of no man. To be no brawlers, but gentle. Showing all meekness unto all men. To speak evil of no man. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the heirs. Let no corrupt communication proceed out out of your mouth. The book of Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 2 from verse 10. Second Peter 2 from 10 to 12. But chiefly, them that walk after the flesh in the loss of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels which are greater in power and might, Bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. They are going to perish because of the amount those people there. In James chapter 4 now, James chapter 4 verse 11 Bible says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. James chapter 4 verse 11. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not the doer of the law, but a judge. In these four scriptures that we've read, the commandment is loud and clear. Speak evil of no man. The commandment is loud and clear in those four passages. Let me make a few statements to you about the words we speak. Just a few statements about the words we speak. Number one, the signal, the major signal of self-control is mouth control. The major signal of self-control is mouth control. When you cannot control your mouth, 
It is obvious you cannot control your life. Neither can you discipline yourself. Says thou a man who is loose with his mouth? Or show me a man who is loose with his mouth. Then I will show you a man who is not disciplined and who cannot be holy. Number two. Statements about words. It is dangerous to speak when you cannot improve on your silence. When you are already silent and your silence is already doing well. What you are going to say, unless it will improve on that silence, you don't speak it at all. You know, we're in a period of prayer, and I want all of us to get the mighty blessings of God in this prayer program. That is, there is no use in speaking unless you can improve on your silence. Three, the biggest mouths always have the least to say. When the mouth is too big, too loud, you just talk, 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 talk. They have little to say. This is why God does not use talkatives. Because God himself is a secret keeper. Statement number four. It is wiser for you to choose what you say than for you to say what you choose. It's wiser for you to choose what you say than to just say what you choose. Try and understand that one too. Number statement number five that I want to make here this morning. There are great talkers who talk, talk, talk. They are usually little doers. Great talkers are usually little doers. They talk great, but they do little. Six. Evil words cut more deeply than a sword. Evil words cut more deeply than a sword. Words may not break somebody's bones, but they can break the heart. Break somebody's heart. That's why we have to be very, very careful what we say. Statement number seven. Speech, they say, is silver. But silence is golden. Speech is silver. Silence is golden. Sometimes by just keeping quiet, you save your life a lot of trouble. Eight. Written words can be erased. But spoken words cannot be erased. It's already gone. It's like you throw feather into the wind. You won't be able to gather it together. Written words can be erased. But spoken words cannot be erased. Statement number nine. In the use of words, quality is more important than quantity. Quality is more important than quantity. These are statements about words that I want you to know. And the last statement I want to make is this. Overproduction or multiplication of words indicates poverty of thought. Multiplication of words is, is a sign of poverty of thought. That's why the Bible makes it loud and clear. Speak evil of no man. We are to speak evil of no man. Please listen to me very, very carefully. Whether the men are good or bad does not matter. God says you have no right to speak evil of another person. Sometimes when you grab our newspapers in this country, sometimes I'm shocked at what some people say against leaders, against pastors, against all kinds of people. Many of us, unfortunately, we are already convicted in the court of heaven for evil speaking. Many mouths in heaven are listed as mouths that broadcast for the devil. If heaven was to make the list available to you, the list of those who do evil speaking, you will be shocked at the kinds of names and at the volume of names you will find there. Sometimes a small thing can spoil a big thing. That muzzle in the middle of our mouth, as small as it is, can wreck the whole of somebody's life. One day, we were traveling to Ibadan. We were traveling in a new car. And the kind of driver they gave to me, a government driver, is a kind of driver who believes that it is not good for any vehicle to be at his front. So that means he overtakes anything, anybody, any car, any bike, anything at his front. 
and he was speeding seriously. And when I'm in a vehicle and you're speeding, I don't really bother myself because I know I will not die in a vehicle accident. We overtook so many vehicles, trailers, wrecked cars, Okada. Anytime he saw a vehicle at the front, he overtakes. All of a sudden, rain began to fall. As the rain started, he switched on his wiper. The wiper did not work. So we had to slow down. Because now he could not even see his front again. He was now going slowly. Slowly. All of a sudden, to my own sadness, all the vehicles we overtook, the trailers, the Okada, the Volkswagen, they were just driving past. Why? They had a wiper. We didn't have one. Eventually, we had to stop because the rain became heavier. So, that new vehicle with just a bad wiper could not move because the wiper was not functioning. A small thing like a mouth can hinder fantastic breakthroughs for people. The Lord has asked me to warn you that most people speak evil things about what they know and what they don't even know. They speak evil of things about which they don't even understand. This is a very serious matter. And I want you to understand this. I was here, or was it two years ago? Somebody was crying there, let me see the Joe. Let the Joe pray for me. I want to make a restitution. Because the angels of God were now pursuing him. What was his problem? He said he saw one pastor marrying one woman. He said the pastor was very short. The woman was very tall. He said, ah, look at this funny sister. He went to marry this short pastor. And he went home. And right from that day, the angels were pursuing him. Who asked him to comment? Nobody. So it's amazing how so many people jump into conclusion about other people's matter without knowing the details. Many of us need to cry to heavens for forgiveness and also do deliverance of the mouth. You may be saying the truth, but the manner of saying it may be completely evil. It is very sad that many of us run into this sin continually. And evil speaking has become the major ingredient in most speaking. If you are here and you delight in repeating the sin, the mistake, the tragedy of another person, you are guilty of evil speaking. If you are here and you are talking against somebody behind their back, you are backbiting, you are guilty of evil speaking. This commandment is a commandment people have trampled upon and it has caused us a lot of trouble. Beloved, watch your words or you may be digging up trouble for yourself. I've met quite a number of people. They say, you see me, I don't take nonsense. I say things as they are. I don't fear anybody. You are guilty of evil speaking. Guilty of evil speaking. The road to heaven is very narrow. Very narrow. It will not embrace you when your lips speak evil. If you think you can just open your mouth and say anything to anybody, anytime, the way you like it, hey, you will not be able to sing with angels in heaven. You think you can just open your mouth and talk about other people's wives, other people's children, calling others witches and wizards, yeah. gossiping about others, talking and saying, you see, you see, see your, your friend, see your friend. Speaking against your leaders, whether political or spiritual, singing with angels in heaven would be impossible. This is a sin most believers commit every day, every day. And we need to repent from it. If we don't want the enemy to hinder our breakthroughs. Those things that you are telling your husband at home, which is gossip by biting about other people, is evil speaking. Those backbiting agenda, they are evil speaking. And all those things you don't know anything about. And somebody told you. And the person who told you said somebody told him. And I want to say somebody told him. And then you are now saying it as if you, it is true. Evil speaking. There are consequences. Terrible consequences of evil speaking. Number one, unanswered prayers. That's why I say sometimes a very small thing can spoil a big thing. Unanswered prayers. You pray, 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 pray. But as far as heaven is concerned, your name has been listed as part of as one of those who speak evil against others. Some people, where they are living, 
they will carry out an evil analysis of all the tenants. You see that one at the front door. He has three wives. And only three wives are witches. You see the door that follows. That one's a stupid, foolish bachelor. Drinking palm wine. You see that one that follows. There's a woman that's living there. She's so short that you can hardly see her head. You see that one there? He is carrying out an evil analysis of the oh, whole yeah. house. You are guilty of evil speaking. If the same mouth now goes to the altar of prayer, immediately you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, heavens will bang the telephone on your ears. And no! This is an evil mouth. You don't want to listen to this one. Number two consequence is that evil speaking stops divine favor. It stops divine favor. Number three, evil speaking will give a bad life and bad days. Look at 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. 1 Peter 3, 10. It's good for you to open to that scripture. 1 Peter 3, 10. So for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. For he that will love life and you want to see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. So one consequence of evil speaking is bad life, bad days. For the fourth consequence of evil speaking you magnetize sorrow and misfortune unto yourself. The more evil you speak about anyone. Five. Blockage from heaven. Heaven will just block the person out. Because you say, Father, in the name of Jesus. He says, Sorry. We don't listen to satanic broadcasting station here. Because you're using your mouth to broadcast something for evil. Six. If you are guilty of evil speaking, the Bible says the person will not be established. In Psalm 140, Psalm 140, verse 11. Psalm 140, verse 11. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. That's what the Bible says. The person will not be established. Seventh consequence, which is a very serious matter. That you may carry unwanted evil load. Load that does not belong to you. Go and carry it with your mouth. You have to be very careful. Number eight, consequence. If you are guilty of evil speaking, you cannot be God's favorite. Can be. Because you are speaking evil of people. Number nine, consequence. That if you are guilty of evil speaking, you will invite spiritual and physical leprosy. Just like Aaron and Miriam, Dathan, Korah, and Abel. Those ones, they were guilty of evil speaking. Tenth consequence. If you are guilty of evil speaking, the person will reap a harvest of evil words. A harvest of very evil words. So you have to be very, very careful. The eleventh consequence of evil speaking is that God will cut the person off. God will just cut the person off. And the person will know what's happening. Look at Psalm 101, verse 5. Psalm 101, verse 5. Whosoever privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him will I cut off. That's what is in the word of God. Do you talk evil behind somebody's back? You are risking being cut off by the Almighty. And the last but not the least, if you are guilty of evil speaking, you put yourself and your family in trouble. You put yourself and your family in trouble. That's why the Bible says it loud and clear. And I'm bringing it to you members of this church as a warning this morning. That speak evil of no man. If you are already guilty of evil speaking, what is the way out? Number one, you need to repent. You need to repent. 
and tell the Lord that I'm sorry for misusing my mouth. I'm sorry for commenting on things that I don't understand. I'm sorry for broadcasting evil information about somebody which I cannot confirm. You need to ask the Lord to forgive you. Two, you must set a watch over your mouth. Set a watch over your mouth. That is, keep your mouth shut until the Holy Spirit in you gets into gear. If the Holy Spirit in you has not started speaking, then keep shut. Set a watch by your mouth. Put a spiritual immigration officer at the door, at the lips of your mouth. Three, lay aside every evil speaking and gossiping. And if you don't want to gossip, then you do not listen to gossips. The reason we still have gossipers is because we have people who are ready to listen. And so, when somebody is saying something to you, this thing that you are saying, can you repeat what you are saying in the presence of so so person? Bye, bye. Say, no, 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 no. I don't, don't say I told you. Tell the person you should go away from me. If not, it will put you in trouble. Lay it aside. The fourth thing to do, put away all evil speaking. When it comes before you, tell the speakers you are not interested. Immediately they begin to talk, you find that it's not a defiant. Say, sorry, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. I'm sorry, that's not why I came here. That's not why I came here. I was at a place some time ago, and they threw some questions at me, expecting me to tell them something negative about the personalities they were discussing. So I said, I'm sorry, I came here to be a blessing. And I want to be a blessing. I'm not here to broadcast evil. So if you are here and you want to be blessed, then I too want to be a blessing. Put it away. Number five, that you should do. Pray always the prayer of the psalmist. The psalmist has one important prayer point. In Psalm 19 verse 14. Psalm 19 verse 14. Let's open to Psalm 19 verse 14 to locate this prayer of the psalmist. Psalm 19 verse 14. Are we there? Let's read it loud and clear. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in that sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Read it again loud and clear. As far as you keep praying that prayer, keep praying that prayer, you watch what comes out of your mouth. I said, but I want to make my point. I want to make my point. The point you will make and you come back and cry later. Why don't you just shut up? Six. You may need to carry out deliverance of your mouth. A lot of people think deliverance is just deliverance from sickness, from demons, from all those things alone. You can do deliverance of your mouth. Especially if your mouth speaks 200 words per minute and most of the words are useless words. Seven. Barricade your life from hell bound friends. Barricade your life from hell bound friends friends. L bound. Friends that are we're dead towards L fire. Barricade your life from them. That's why we speak here. You say you only come across four kinds of people in your life. Number one, you can come across somebody who will add to your life. At least your coming across the person improves your life. Number two, you can come across somebody who will subtract from your life. The day you meet them is the day your tragedy or disaster starts. They will subtract from you. Anybody who gossips to you is subtracting from you. The third kind of person you, you, you will meet is those who leave you the way you are. They don't add to you. They don't subtract to you. They are just there. Then the fourth kind of person you could meet is those who have come to waste you. And there are plenty of them around you should barricade your life from those friends who have come to subtract from you. You should barricade your life from friends who have come to waste you. You should barricade your life from hell-bound friends. Bow down your heads where you are. Below. 
and speak to the Lord. If you have been misusing your mouth, and you have been speaking evil against people, even if it's your boss in the office, you have been speaking evil against them, maybe your husband, maybe your wife, maybe your children, maybe your colleagues, maybe fellow church members, repent before the Lord now and ask him to forgive you so that you will not have a hindrance to your prayers. I give you time to do that. It's very important you do it from your heart. Say, Father, I am sorry for misusing my tongue. Father, I'm sorry for speaking when I should not speak and speaking what I should not speak. Father, I'm sorry for the way in which I've used my tongue. Amen. Let's take our fasting booklet now. Invisible God only wise. loud and clear. Great Father of glory, pure Father 
of life. Thy angels adore thee, all valley their sign. All long will run thy hours to see these only the splendor of light I there be. Oh Jesus, I've promised to serve thee to the end. Quietly now. Oh Jesus, I promise to serve thee Be thou forever near me, be thou Verse 3, quietly. Oh, let me hear this begin in a sense and still. I'm born the storms of power, shows the moments of self-will. Oh, speak to me and show. Speak and make me live, sin thou God, my son. Verse 5, loud and clear. Oh, let me see thy food, my son, then plant my own, my own to follow thee, in thy strength alone oh guide me call me draw me upon me to the end and then he ever see me my savior Let's rise up on our feet as we sing, Yes, I spent in vanity and pride. Yes, I spent in vanity and pride, carrying not my love was crucified. No, he not it was for me either. On Calvary, my sin there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. Then my body so for liberty at Calvary. Verse 4. Oh, the love that drew salvation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty God that God this plan. At Calvary, mercy there was great and grace was free. Man, 
was great and grace was free. Pardon, there was multiplied to me. Yeah, my body so funny, but he had Amen. Which section are we in now? Say it again loud and clear. And what is our memory verse? Mm -hmm. Amen. All eyes closed. We're going to start some prayers now. Again, as those prayers are going on, the power of God will begin to pop out like popcorn. As these prayers are going on, there are people who have infirmities in their body that those infirmities will dry up. There are people here today that the enemies have fired several arrows into aspects of their lives. The intestines, the internal organs have been turned upside down. As you pray this prayers, these miracles will begin to overturn the power of the oppressor. All of a sudden, creative miracles will begin to happen. And there will be replacement of organs in the body. All of a sudden, those that the enemies have programmed problems into their bodies, you will hear a breaking sound and the yoke of the enemy shall be broken to pieces. Get yourself ready now. Immediately those prayers are going on. And you find that there is a condition you brought here that has just disappeared. Just find the way to the altar at that time so that we can pray with you and the problem will not come back. Everybody will say this loud and clear. Every power working against my efficiency that is the power that is not making you to be 100% efficient. Can you say this loud and clear? Make it louder than that, beloved. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Let that be scattering. Masopokoyaboshenterabokoraba. Every power working against my efficiency. Your time is up. Scatter. That's right. Masotekayaboshenterabokoraba. Spirit of the living God. Begin to move now. Mashete sepola kaya bo shente raba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I say plantation of spirit husband in somebody's womb. The power of God is touching that place now. And the plantation is getting smaller and smaller and smaller it has now vanished yes the serpent on the head covering the head like headgear the power of God is falling upon that head and the yoke of the serpent upon the head is broken that's right Aha. say this loud and clear again every secret and open enemy Of my laughter. Can you say this loud and clear? Da! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes. Spirit of the living God. Begin to move. Move. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the power of the touch of God. Receive the fire of the touch of God. Yes, yes, receive the touch of the fire of God. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. An evil swelling on the breast, an evil sore in the body. 
The power of God is falling upon you now. And the yoke of those infirmities are broken to pieces. Yes, that's the electric power of God. It's going from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. From the top of the head to the soles of the feet. From the top of the head to the soles of the feet. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will say this louder than anyone here. Every agent of untimely death. Can you say this with only anger? In my body. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the agent of untimely death. Spirit of the living God. Move. 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 Something is happening over there. Yes. 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 Every agent of untimely death. In my body. Your time is up. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Every agent of untimely death in the body. Your time is up. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. The arrows of fire that used to go through somebody's body. I see somebody is putting the sword of fire through you. It's coming out through the mouth and through the nose. Yes. Say this with holy anger. My arrows of prayer. Arise! Bring shame to my enemies today. Can I hear the sister shouting this loud and clear? I want the sisters to be more aggressive. Sisters, I want you to even shout it loud and loud. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Brothers, shout it loud and loud, sisters. Everybody shouted it loud and loud. In the name of Jesus. Let my arrows of prayer arise. And bring shame to my enemies today. Today, 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 today. Aha, 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 aha. Ma sote Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. There are 12 persons here. Before this next Sunday. The kind of financial breakthrough they've never had before. The Lord is bringing it your way. All that the Lord wants you to do now is to pledge a quarter of it to his work so that the door to that blessing will be released upon your life. Do that now because that the power of God will move and open powerful doors onto your life from unexpected quarters. Thank you, Jesus. I a woman over there. The witchcraft powers have put almost 21 infirmities in your body. It's like you have never known any moment of peace. Those arrows, they are coming out one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. The one in the legs, the one in the womb, the one in the breast, the one in the neck, the one in the head. That's the power of God coming upon you. Enough is enough. Say this loud and clear. Power of fresh Favor. <laughs> How many people want that one? Can you say it loud and clear? Pursue me and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Power of fresh favor. Pursue me and locate me. Masopokoyabo shentera bokolaba. Da sente kayabo shentera bokolaba santa. Yes, yes, something is still happening over there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
In Jesus name we pray. That short prayer we just prayed now has opened many good doors that the enemy has locked against so many people. Thank you, Jesus. The witchcraft attack against your certificates have jobs revoked now. And that certificate will bring you favor from within and from abroad. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody has been healed from witchcraft epilepsy. Somebody has been delivered too from this evil personality that has entered into your body in your sleep. It's coming out of you now. That's right. Yes. Somebody has been delivered from the odor of death. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. Aha. This prayer, please pray it with holy madness. Say, armor of my enemies. The armor. Can you say this loud and clear? Begin to leak. Aha. Can you say this loud and clear? Say it with only anger. In the name of Jesus. Command the armor to begin to leak. In the name of Jesus. They must leak. Today is today. Let the fire of God begin to move. 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 Let the armor leak. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. The enemy has laid an evil hand on the stomach of somebody over there. And you've been having this battle going on inside that stomach. That evil hand, which is from your father's house, has been taken out of that stomach area. And the turbulence in that tummy has now ceased. Thank you, Jesus. Say, so, oh God, arise and break the alliance of the enemy. Can you say this loud and clear? Aha. Make it louder than that. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Let the alliance be broken. In the name of Jesus. Begin to break the alliance of the enemy. Oh God arise. And break the alliance of the enemy. Break it. Break it. Break it. In the name of Jesus. Break the alliance. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo shentera bo koraba santa aba. Ribo kapanda santa aba. Manakatanda rabo sopola kaya bo shente. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Thou rod of sleeplessness. Walking upon this person. Be withdrawn from the head. Be withdrawn from the eyes. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes. Say let the boastings of my enemies. Be turned to shame. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Let the blessings be turned to shame. Let the blessings be turned to shame. In the name of Jesus. Let the blessings be turned to shame. In the name of Jesus. Masopo koya bo shente rabakara bo santa. Riba saponda kanteya. Yes, Holy Ghost fire begin to destroy every plantation of darkness. Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I see somebody over there. God has just done a final barrier of a long time affliction final barrier of that long term affliction. Thank you Jesus. 1,200 persons here this morning who 
have been programmed for uncommon turnaround breakthroughs. But I want you to pray this prayer with holy anger. Lord, the confidence of my enemies be shattered to pieces. In the name of Jesus, shatter the confidence. Shatter it. In the name of Jesus, let the confidence be shattered. Let it be shattered. Let it be shattered. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Makorabo sapanta. Ribo kapanda santa yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. The enemy has put something in somebody's stomach. Thereby ballooning the stomach. Right now, that balloon has been punctured. I want to wait for that to be corrected. That's right. Yes, that ballooning stomach is going down. Aha. This prayer is three hot times. Three hot times. There was a champion of the problems of Mordecai. What happened to that champion of problems? He died in the place of Madeka. There was a champion for the forces of the Philistines. His name was Goliath. What happened to that champion? He died. You will now say this loud and clear. We are praying these three hot times. And as we are praying them, the power of God will begin to move. Oh, champion of my problem! In the name of Jesus. Yes, deal with the champion. Deal with the champion. Deal with the champion. Deal with the champion. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the champion. In the name of Jesus. Mopia Rika Saponda. Ribo Kaponda Santayaba. Da Kaponda Kaponda. Ribo Kaposa Tayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I say, sister here, a strange woman has taken your husband away. By the time you get home from this meeting, the man will be waiting for you at home. For that evil yoke has been broken. Oh, champion of my problem! You are a liar! Damn! In the name of Jesus, you are a liar! Masika Tonda Kayaba. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, champion of my problems. You are a liar. Die. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the third time. This is the third time. Don't negotiate with the enemy. This money is not a money to negotiate. Oh, champion of my problems. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Pia Rikasota. Enough is enough. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is working in the life of somebody. And before, so that the Lord can perfect what he wants to do in your life. He is doing a miracle that is involving reducing your age. So that what they say is not possible for you can be possible. Yes, that's the power of God. is coming upon you. That's the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I commit this your children unto your holy hand. I decree that affliction will not rise again. In the name of Jesus, the miracle that I have received today shall be permanent in your life. I barricade the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You will raise your right hand up to the heavenly. Shout this louder than anyone here. Every strong man of opposition. To my breakthroughs. Can you shout this loud and clear? Damn! In the name 
name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Now let's raise up our two hands to the heavens. As we pray this prayers for uncommon breakthroughs for ourselves. Say this loud and clear. Every power assigned to frustrate me scatter in the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Every foundation of witchcraft in my family line In the name of Jesus, begin to address it. Today is today in office enough. In Jesus' name we pray. I shall not be demoted. I shall go from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I shall not be demoted. I shall go from glory to glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Begin to prophesy on this week. Declaring that it shall favor you. That great and marvelous things shall happen in your life. To the glory of the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I wanted to sing this song louder than anyone around you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah, pray. Oh, yes, pray now. Oh, yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah, praise the, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Praise the King of Kings, Hallelujah. Oh, praise the King of Kings. 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 Kings. The mighty God, the, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you are the Hallelujah. Your hand, your hand, your hand. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you are the Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Shout it loud hallelujah. Let the person who wants the largest touch of God here this morning. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Now raise up your two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Power must change hands in my life, no matter what the devil may say. Power must change hands in my life, no matter what the devil may say. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, how I must change and see my life, no matter what that there will be. 
sing it one more time. Power must change and see my life. No matter what that they who may say. Power must change and see my life. Hallelujah. No matter what that they who may say. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, power must change and see my life. Hallelujah, no matter what the devil may say. Thank you, Jesus. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive. He's alive. Sing it loud and clear. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. Jesus is alive. I forever is alive. Oh yes, he's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever is alive. Oh, he's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever is alive. I love the man of Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost within. I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. I love the man, oh yes, of Galilee. Of Galilee for Hallelujah, he has for give me all my sins and sign the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. Johan, Johan, Johan. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He makes the blind to see. He makes the cripple walk. Hallelujah. Louder, louder. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 oh yes, oh yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, we all are regal. We all are regal. We all are regal. He won't come in. We got. 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 Oh yes, he won't be begun. We got begun. We got begun. Kosagbaran to da biti Jesua. Kosagbaran to da biti Baba. Kosagbaran. To da biti Jesus, abara, abara.
Agbara to jagba. Sing it loud and clear. Cos to da bichi. Cos sambala. Cos sambala. Yes. 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 Agbara. 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 Cos sambala. Cos sambala. Sang 